para, 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 Hi! How you doing? How you diddly doodly dandling? Oh, um, oh my word, have we got an amazing show for you today? Welcome to Joymaker. How are you? I'm Carol, I'm with you for the next five hours. That's Neary over there. That lovely Neary there. He, yeah, there he is. Hello. There he is. Oh gosh, you're wearing those gloves again that make it look like you've just got really weird skin on your hands. Hello. Oh, mate. You really do feel those gloves, don't you? <laughs> I don't know what I do differently to anyone else. I don't know. You just, you've got different hands. <laughs> they, they do look weird. They I? do look very odd. Anyway, uh, you've got Neary. Neary's on camera. He should be on floor. Where's, where's Michael? Taking photographs of stuff for today's show. There we go. So that's where, um, that's where uh, Michael J. Wolf is. Uh, we've got um, Senior... Producer Tom Stewart, there he is, everyone. Ho, oh, there he is, with his new jumper. With his lovely new jumper on. Fiver. Fiver that jumper cost him. Fiver. For a brand new jumper. Pretty cool, hey? Amazing. Amazing balls. So that is senior producer Tom. We've got um, a production manager, Oli. Ho, oh, there he is. Ho, oh, there he is. Um, he's going to be directing the show today um wow what have we got today can i start by showing you this please don't drop it carol please don't drop it. it's a very slippy the banana next to it is out of shot there we go this gee willikers oh my word that is absolutely amazing is it look at all of that love that is 253 base metal connectors, charms, all of the above. Amazing. You've also got, sorry, love, I'm just going to, there we go. Once I've done this, then I'm fine. And I'll, there we go. And I'll just sit here. There we go. Um, yeah, so 253 base metal connectors, charms, all that kind of stuff uh, coming up at 9.45. So we've got things like um, your um, stag's head. Name of a pub that is, isn't it? Oh, pubs. Oh, I miss you. Uh, peace signs. Peace, man. Peace signs. La, 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 lobsters. I know, groovy lobsters. You've also got beautiful shells. We've got angels. Or oh, angel. Or oh, angel. Uh, you've got um, Christmas stockings. We've got stars. We've got Christmas crackers. You've got origami swans. Oh, they're lovely. I really like these ones. Yeah. So basically, um, 253 charms and connectors. And they're all base metal. So it's going to be the most fantastic price point. Two amazing kits. Um, yeah, the abalone, these abalones are coming up at 9 a.m. I love them. Look at the size of them. I know, aren't they gorgeous? So beautiful abalone shell coming up at nine o'clock. The two kits that we've got coming up in the nine are absolutely beautiful. We've got guest designer Fleur with us at 9 a.m. Um, <clears throat> we've got here, look, jadeite kit with, sterling, with a sterling silver clasp and sterling silver jump rings i know amazing and then we've got pretty much the same kit but in gold plated silver i think these jump rings must be gold plated copper are they gold plated copper or gold plated silver we're just going to double check tourmaline i know isn't it beautiful beautiful strand tourmaline gold plated silver clasp which i love uh, and then we're going to do some jump rings as well yeah Okay, so all of that. So yeah, we've, got, we've also got tanzanite coming up. I know, in the 10 o'clock. Look at the tanzanite. 
Look at my tanzanite, look at my tanzanite, hey ho biddly pom, look at my tanzanite. So we've got tanzanite coming up in the 10 o'clock hour, I know. Uh, launching, uh, we are launching triple A tanzanite on Joymaker today with Jake. Jake Thompson's going to be joining us at uh, 10 from 10 till 1. Very, very, very exciting time. Should we get this bad boy going? Bad boys! Oh, what are gonna do? Are those today's Wall of Fames? Yes. You are very organised, Neary. Very efficient, Neary. Here we go. Um, so everything's a song today. No. No, that would just be pain for everyone, wouldn't it? My pink rinse lasted one wash. I washed my hair and it all came out. I know, it's meant to last three to four washes, one wash. So uh, I'm going to do it again tonight. Yeah. Uh, smoky Quartz by Combs. Oh, my word. Well, lovely, lovely strands. Good morning, Carol, you crazy lady. Good morning. Good, good to see. The lockdown hasn't affected you. Still as crazy as ever. Love. Um, I was going to say to you, actually, what kind of simple things are you finding yourself looking forward to? So I was listening to the radio on the way into work today and there was someone, um, Zoe Ball on Radio 2, she was very excited because she's got a new compost bin arriving today. Things that normally wouldn't even tickle your fancy, but she's very excited. Um, someone texting saying they're very excited about a USB cable which they've got arriving within the next two days. So, so let us know what simple things you're looking forward to. I had a click and collect at the local supermarket the other day. I could not have been more excited. It was very exciting driving to the supermarket going, oh, I'm out the house, this is very exciting. Smoky Quartz for 5 95 Think Kiss Cross. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Tom's ordered a jigsaw puzzle. You're going to do a thousand piece jigsaw puzzle. What's the theme of the jigsaw? Harry Potter. Is it a Ravensburger jigsaw? <clears throat> Ravensburger. It's a type of pattern that jigsaws are cut into. With a thousand, it's normally four repeating patterns. Because that's my life. That was really, really interesting. Ollie, have you been looking forward to anything kind of small and normally it wouldn't tickle your what's it? <laughs> Apple green terra jasper, everyone. Oh, are oh, you getting flooring delivered today? You are doing a lot of DIY at the minute, aren't you? <laughs> Amazing. Oh, me and my husband built a bunk bed the other night. That was exciting. Three ninety-five. There we go, my lovelies. Absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> Beautiful. Well done, everybody. So yours today for just three ninety-five. Get involved when you can, either by calling us on our free phone number oh eight hundred six triple four six double five, or get involved on our website jewelrymaker.com. It's simple and easy to get involved. Plus, you're entitled to your, um, oh, you're entitled to your extended 30-day money-back guarantee as well, which is just wonderful. Well done, everybody. Woo, woo. Yeah. Wake up. Well, I've got a cup of tea sitting here with no milk in it. It's not Neary's fault. I should have bought some milk in, to be fair. In fact, I had a bottle of milk in my hand this morning to bring in, but then I realised that the milk was delivered this morning, so then I had to get that milk out of the fridge and then put that down there and then replace it with the other fresh milk, and it was just very confusing, and I, yeah, I know, so I forgot to bring the milk. Sorry, gang. One job, Carol, I know. Half a job, Carol, that's what they call me. <clears throat> Here we go, beautiful. Bezel set, mystic, druzy, oh, baby, baby. Gorgeous quality. Here we go, my lovelies. Are we going to bring the graphics live, Tom? Are you going to bring... There we go. Ooh. R GP15. Uh, Rainbow Agate Druzy Triangular Connector. So it's bezel set. Look, you can see it at the back. Isn't that gorgeous? Such a lovely setting for this. Um, price point wise, this is going to absolutely blow your socks off. All of these items in the 8 o'clock hour are last in stock. So we've only got a few chances, really, of all of these items. So do get them as quickly as you can. Here we go. Here we go, my lovelies. £4.22. That's a very odd price, but we are prepared to go as low as we possibly can do, um, especially during the 8 o'clock hour. Uh, Jennifer in Brizzle. 
says, I'm looking forward to wearing my new supermarket trousers. Currently, I'm only dressed on the top half for work Skypes. <laughs> Please tell me you're wearing something on the bottom half, even if it's just pyjama bottoms, leisure wear, um, rather than, or at least your pants, sitting there in your pants. Um, Sarah, morning, what time is the Jade Light kit on, please? Nine o'clock, love. Just after nine, Sarah, just to let you know. £4.22, well into Tatiana, well into Cynthia, collector, collector, well done. Oh, how lovely. Tell you what I've been doing as well over the last week or so. I've been listening to kind of music that I used to listen to when I was, in, when I was a teenager. And I've really enjoyed it. Kind of thinking back to um, the, some of the music I liked when I was that age. Some of it amazing, and I still love it now. Some of it absolutely terrible. Oh, but uh, there we go. Oh, what album did you download, Ollie? Oh, Urban Hymns, The Verb. Great album. Such a good album. It's such a great, such a great, such a great album. It's one of my favourites. Oh, wow. Brilliant. Um, 8 95 for your ombre onyx graduated faceted rondels. These are gorgeous. I love these burning colours that you get here. Beautiful um, uh, quality. Absolutely gorgeous colours there. Oh, wow. You've got, you've got the songs going around in my head now. Um, 8 95 Well done, everyone. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh yeah, but that, but that, but that's an obvious song to like, isn't it? Don't you think? <laughs> Such a great album. Um, light amethyst faceted slabs, gorgeous. God, look at the slabs you're gonna hear. You could pave your garden with these, nearly. They're, they're enormous. You know how people have paving slabs going across their lawn to the washing line? You could do with your amethyst. <laughs> They're big enough. Oh my word, that would be absolutely incredible. Two chances available. Two chances available. Oh, I've got something on my trousers. What have I got on my trousers? I think it's sticky toffee sauce. <laughs> oh, two chances available. 7 95 Look at the size and they're gorgeous, aren't they? On the strand, you've got um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 of them. Um, two chances available. Tatiana, well done to you. Collector in uh, Greater London, well done to you as well. I think it's sticky toffee sauce. We got the mineral man. Ooh, he's coming up on Monday. <laughs> She's dreadful. <laughs> Such an idiot. <laughs> have you noticed actually going into super talking about supermarkets? Have you noticed going into supermarkets? Yes. The the music that they're playing is very carefully selected. It's quite upbeat, which I think is designed to get people in and out the shop as quickly as possible. <laughs> Seven ninety-five for your multicolour moonstone. 13 chances available. One pound. It's a pound. It's a pound. Uh, it's a pound. There we go, my lovelies. Well done. That's amazing. 98 centimetre strand for a quid. Oh, wow. Amazing. Incredible. 10 chances available. Oh, wow. Wow, look at all these people. Yeah, it's gone. 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 Right, what are we doing now, love? Oh, yeah, I love it. I love these connectors. I'd like to connect them all together. So this one, I'm the mystic, and the other mystic. Don't start taking the mickey out of me. These, look, that and that. Gang. <laughs> I like the way I'm the star by email that you sent out last night. You've uh, you started using the word gang. I love it. Hi, gang. <laughs> Do you know what you'd need to connect these? What would I need, Ollie? Gold jump rings. Oh, if only we had some lovely gold jump rings today. Nine o'clock hour. <laughs> you could connect them to, to some of the big connectors. Gee whiz! <laughs> Whoa! Pat, Pat, what are you done, Pat? These are absolutely, I mean... <sighs> Oh, Pat, Pat, what are you doing, Pat? Oh, gosh, get the tash out of the shop. What are you doing, Neary? 
<laughs> Get the tash out of shots! Hey, they're, they're just too big. 421. There we go, my lovelies. Amazing. <laughs> are you all right, Neary? Bring back Michael. I've seen you stretching and yawning a couple of times today. Did you, are you a bit tired oh, today, lovey? Last two days, I've been good. Oh, no, why not? Oh, you're not sleeping. I didn't sleep at all last night. It's horrible. Is it, is it heat? Is it too hot? Mm. Stuffy, isn't it? <sighs> I need to bring out the fans. But then, of course, you start the fan up and then you get cold. So you can't... It's very difficult to, reg, to regulate. Um, here we go. Bidi, 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 bop, bop. <laughs> Emerald Nuggets. <laughs> Emerald Nuggets. Uh, so 170 carats of your Emerald Plain Nuggets. Oh my. 14.95. Perfect for your Trees of Lives. I can't wait to see Trees of Lives again. Let's see some more Trees of Lives on our, on our, on our Wall of Fame. Come on, gang. Let's do it. 4.95. Well done, my lovelies. Oh, wow, that's a brilliant price point for your emerald. Incredible. Amazing. Love, love that idea. Tom's coming up with ideas at the minute about building trees and, oh, how wonderful. Collector Christiana, well done to you. Collector Susan, Collector Tatiana, well done to you, my lovelies. Please, please do uh, check your baskets out, my lovelies. Sharon in the Ronda, well done to you as well. Collector in Hampshire, well done to you as well, my lovelies. Amazing. Oh. What's, what's up with you today, Tom? You can't get your numbers right, can you? Two hours sleep. So you, so you can't sleep. You were snoring. Did you have a big dinner last night? Did, if you had a big dinner, that's probably why you were snoring. Did you have a couple of beers last night? Two ice creams. So you had a lolly, a lolly and a cornetto. My, my six-year-old eats cornettos. Do you know what? I was very proud of myself last night. I gave them a proper beige dinner last night. Chicken nuggets, waffles and beans. Oh, I love a waffle. <laughs> oh, 9 95 for your gorgeous green gold colour coated druzy. Amazing. Four pounds eleven. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Look at that, everyone. Well done. Four pounds eleven. Oh, that is wonderful. Well done. Yeah, lovely, lovely, lovely. Four pounds eleven for all of that. And I always think back to the days when we had, um, when we used to do Druzy and it was three pieces which looked like little fruit pastels glued to a piece of cardboard and they were 15 quid. Look at these, these are £4.11. Beautiful. Amazing, gorgeous, well done. What is this? This is gorgeous. Ocean Jasper. Oh, I love that. Ocean Jasper Plain Rounds. Oh, wow, that is... Look at the markings you're getting here. Aren't they gorgeous? <laughs> they are stunning. Oh, wow. Gorgeous. Well done. Ocean Jasper Plain Rounds. They are gorgeous. I'd love to see some pearl knotting with these. Lovely, lovely piece to wear in the summer with those gorgeous neutral tones in isn't that just so exciting definitely definitely go for this one and um, if you're looking to wear something in the summer which is going to be nice and light unbelievably versatile 7.95 oh wow look at those gorgeous colors you've got blues you've got um uh, kind of tortoiseshell uh, tones there whites you've got grays greens mustard he's mustard uh there we go he's mustard is he talking about, who's he talking about when he says that? Uh, it was Bricktop in Snatch. He's mustard. Is he talking about Gorgeous George or whatever his name is? Gorgeous George. He's mustard. I can't remember. 
Or is he talking about Brad Pitt? I know, it's such a great movie, isn't it? I love Snatch. Such a great movie. Angel Light. Oh, a lot of people describe this as the blue jadeite. Have a look at it against the jadeite that we've got coming up. Oh, so, so, so tranquil. <gasps> so tranquil. A lot of people asking uh, if they can pre-order the Jadeite kit and the uh, charm bundle. No. No. Can we, can we put the charms on pre-order, perhaps? Oh, what do you reckon? I know we're in the Breakfast Club show, but come on. <clears throat> all right, all right, all right. Uh, 9.95, well done for your Angel Light. Well done, that's sold out. Well done, gorgeous. Angel Light. Jewelry maker, we've got angel light, we've got angel light. It's from um, Dirty Dancing, isn't it? Hungry Eyes. Um, did anyone see on the news uh, the footage of the bear in the, in the lady's house? A bear. It was like two baby bears inside her house in America or Canada. I don't know, it just kind of... Walked into a house. Really cute. <laughs> but uh, yeah, you would not want to be downstairs when that happened. Sold out. Well done. Gone. <gasps> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Shaded sky blue opal. Oh. Look at that, again, such a tranquil, such a tranquil strand. Go on, uh, Tom, what can you do price point wise on this? <laughs> Should be 16 95 not today. You're right there, Neri, with those gloves. A bit uncomfy. 7 95 there you go, my lovelies, well done. Already got interest there, that's really great to see, well done. Just seven pounds, I'd five pounds. Wendy, well done to you, my darling, in the West Midlands. Oh, just fantastic. Well done. Well done to Wendy. I've got a collector there as well. Check your baskets out, my lovelies. Gorgeous. We've got tons coming up today. We've got tanzanite. We've got jadeite. We've got tourmaline. We've got uh, beryl. We've got Swiss blue topaz. We've got uh, Colombian emerald. We've got Thai ruby. Who's eating in there? Savorite garnet. Savorite garnet. <laughs> Graduated, <laughs> faceted rondels. Look at these beauties. Under 50 quid. There's only one available. We're not done. We're going to go lower. Here we go. Amazing. 23.95. Gorgeous. Well done, everyone, for 12 and a half carats of your Zavrite garnet. Gorgeous quality. Well done. Christiana, it could go to you or it could go to collector in Lancashire. <gasps> One chance. Gorgeous. Well done. Let's go to... Oh, oh. Serpentine, texture like sun. Look at that, isn't that gorgeous? Beautiful serpentine cubes. Gorgeous. Oh, 6 .95. goodness me, it's an amazing deal. We never, ever, ever do serpentine. One pound! Oh, goodness me, that's amazing, it's a quid! Oh, that is awesome. Well done. I don't know, Ollie's just talking about he's doing come dine with me with his family and he's doing tapas on Saturday. He's going to do some garlic prawns, some seasoned fries. Just do patatas bravas. Oh, but mind you, you're doing a Spanish omelette. That, that has potato in. So you have to cut the potatoes up quite finely. Loads of egg. And don't turn it over too early. Amazing. Gorgeous. Well done. No, th no there's no cheese. It's just egg. Um... Onion and potato, I think. <laughs> Gorgeous. 
What else could you do? You could you do deep fried kind of anchovies or white bait or something, couldn't you? You could do, what else could you do? Deep fried chilies, green chilies. What else do they, what else tapas -y kind of stuff? Sticky beef. Oh, that sounds good. Oh, I love fish pie. You're going to make fish pie, are you? Okay, here's, here's, a good, here's a good couple of ingredients for your fish pie. Um, so you need fish, obviously, different types of fish. You need boiled eggs in your fish pie. Boiled egg, boil some eggs, cut them into kind of quarters or maybe, yeah, quarters. B boil like um, uh, three eggs, cut them into quarters, put them in the pie. Spinach as well, you have to have spinach. Potato on top, obviously, yeah. No, mussels, white fish, bit of <sighs> amazing. Multicolour agate puffy ovals. Gorgeous, here we go, beautiful ovals, a 7.95. Oh, amazing, well done, under eight pounds for your gorgeous multicolour agate. Oh yeah, here's Mikey B, morning all. What about chorizo sausage <gasps> with the egg and potato? Oh my word, yes. So get, oh, yes, yes. So get to th those mini chorizos. You can get them from the supermarket if you're going to be going. That is obviously, it needs to be essential. Uh, but the mini, yeah. I love chorizo too. Love it. It's so flavoursome and so fatty and just delicious. You know when you go to when you go to like a restaurant and you order mini chorizos and you stab it with a cocktail stick. It's hotter than the sun, but you just eat it anyway. What is this? This is absolutely gorgeous. Rose gold uh, plated sterling silver hoop pendant with a pearl. Ah, <gasps> look at that. Oh my word, isn't that beautiful? You've got a beautiful Cabixiconia in there and the beautiful, what a lovely, lovely pen. It's so different. Two available. Yeah, it's really different this is. Joe, Tatiana, Wendy. Oh, Mandy's got one. Well done to you, my lovely. Gorgeous. Well done, everyone. That's a lovely piece. Oh, essential threading pack. This is the most essential thing you will need when you're making your jewellery because otherwise you're just going to have a pile of gemstones. <laughs> <laughs> so you've got here so Tom was saying he wanted to get a Doctor Who jigsaw and uh, his girlfriend Jen said no let's go something that we both like yeah it's called compromise Tom that's what being in a relationship is all about compromise compromise like um, yeah anyway oh gee whiz there we go Okay, so essential threading pack. You've got your elastic uh, for making um, stretchy rings, stretchy bracelets. You've got your beading thread for making your beaded jewellery. And then, of course, you've got your monofilament, which is like a very, very fine, clear fishing wow. line, which is... Oh, 21 available. <laughs> yeah! You're going to need these when you come to make your pieces of jewellery. You're going to absolutely need them. You get a big, big, big amount of your threading material, but you are going to need it. Collector, uh, well done, has got four. Neil and Linda's got two. Zara, Collector, uh, Rhonda, uh, Mary, Zorin, Lynn, Donna, Penny, Liz, Anonymous, Coraline. Pretty much gone. Pretty much gone. Well done, my lovelies. <laughs> Lapis lazuli like graduated faceted pairs. Oh wow. <clears throat> Oh, wow. They are gorgeous, aren't they? They are so lustreful. <gasps> All the way from Afghanistan, Saraseng. Best place to get your lapis from. Oh, wow, that is absolutely stunning, isn't it? 18 pounds and 95 pence. 
Well done, my lovelies. Gorgeous. Keep going. Keep coming through for all these incredible items. We're going to be joined by Fleur in just a few moments, um, uh, in, about, in about 30 minutes. Uh, we've got her gorgeous jadeite kit, we've got a tourmaline kit, we've got the whole shebang. Well done to Tatiana, Glenda, Anonymous, Emma, Jackie! Well done to you as well. Gorgeous. Oh my gosh, stop, stop it with your sleep talk. People bragging, oh, blah, blah, oh, I sleep until... I sleep until 11. 11! I get up when the puppy gets up. What time do you get up, Neary? Um, usually about seven. About seven? Yeah. God, that's nice. That is seven. Seven. Seven sounds delicious. Yes. So, yes. Ten years ago, seven was like, oh no, that's the middle of the night. What time's the dog get up? The dog starts woofing at about five to six. Yeah. I go down, let him out. Well, I went downstairs this morning to literally Armageddon in the utility room and then let him out and then had to clean it and do all that kind of jazz. It was just <laughs> vile. Anyway, <gasps> 3 95 for your rainbow-coated, crackled, multicolour quartz. What have you been excited about? Um, little things, little things that you've been excited about that you wouldn't normally get excited about, but because we're all in these weird, strange times, it's now the big event of the week. Let me know. Anything from you, um, um, Ollie? Anything that you're excited about? I, I was excited to go and do a click and collect the other day from the supermarket. Very exciting times. What about, uh, what about you, uh, Tom? Neary? Um, well, I was excited to get, I bought a two pack of joggers, like exercising joggers. Really? Yeah, and they, they came yesterday, and one fits perfectly, and one is miles too small, but they're the same size. <laughs> so I'm really confused what to do. Oh no. So Neary bought a two pack of jogging bottoms for uh, uh, doing exercise, and um, one pair fits in beautifully, the other pair is far too small and they're both the same size. So, well, I, yeah, I got my husband a couple of t-shirts for his birthday. One, and they're both the same size, one fits in beautifully, the other one's really big. If it's a multi pack, so what do you do? Do you send them both back? Do you send them both back? Ah, that's a good point, actually. And get the size up and then hope. Would your girlfriend be interested in um, inheriting the smaller pair? She tried them on and she was a bit meh about it all, so... Oh, so maybe not. Yeah. What is this? Silver Moonstone. Oh, my words! <gasps> Look at this! I get me really love Moonstone. Da -da -da. Wow. Absolutely gorgeous. Eight ninety five. Oh, wow. That is a great deal for you today. <gasps> Beautiful silvery tones. You're going to get a bike tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Five chances available. There's some good bikes at my local bike shop, which is a, a big brand. No, because I looked online. They've got some decent deals. Yes. I said it was a national, a big company. There is, there is another bike shop in all... Fine. Do you know what? Oh, they're being so rude. There's also another bike shop in a, in a, in a village called Alderminster. And it's called the Charity Bike Shop. Yes, they're all used. The Charity Bike Shop in Alderminster. I believe they're open. I don't know. There might not be. Also, go on some of your websites. Go on some of your, your, your websites. Spock. Or schlop, as my, as my husband calls it. <laughs> schlop. <laughs> Spock. You can get bikes on there. I got a bike from there for my, for my four-year-old. They're really good. 
One chance available, 39 And so long as you can do it socially distanced um, and it's local to you, you're not driving to, I don't know, Aberdeen to go and get it, it's all all right, I think, isn't it? I don't know. I mean, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not up to speed with all the legal implications and, and, and things like that, unfortunately, but uh, anyway, but uh, check, check, check the government website. There we go. Yeah, it's a really good bike shop. Charity, charity bike shop. Okay, where are we going now, love? Oh, gosh. Gee whiz. Hi, Michael. Hi. There he is. Okay, here we go. So, multicolour gemstones. Here they are. <laughs> Nearly literally sprinting away from the camera there. I can't, can't, uh, can't wait to uh, walk away. Off he goes. Clearly enjoys being on cameras as much as I thought he did. Multicolour gemstones, graduated plain rondelles. Amazing. What gemstones have we got here? Carnelian, moonstone, praseolite, praenite, aquamarine, opal, aventurine. Oh, Tom, literally, I'm going to get so cross with you in a minute. Shush. Here's your amazing deal. Six ninety nine. There we go, my lovelies. Oh, Michael. Good gloves, Michael. Good gloves. 11, 10 chances available now, my lovelies. Well done. <laughs> Nine opportunities. Only 6 99 What's I collect some glosses here? Maureen, Christina, Anne, Maureen, Anne, Ruby, Anonymous, Collector. Woo! Amazing. Biddy, 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 bop, 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 biddy, 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 bop, bop. <clears throat> oh. 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 Wow. Oh my gosh. Look at those incredible colors. Amazing. Look at that gorgeous lavender essence. Isn't that beautiful? Amazing. Isn't that gorgeous? We've had some brilliant deals, Michael. We've even done some deals for a pound. For a pound? For a pound. Nearly shouted at a pound. Yeah. He was really good. The way he projected his voice and yeah, it was amazing. 18 pounds and four pence. Oh my word. Look at that. Gee whiz, that's a big labradorite. Cool. Wowzers. Trousers. Amazing. 18 pounds and four pence. Four available. Tatiana, well unto you, my lovely. Oh, wow. Collector and Kent, well unto you as well. Ooh, brill. Well done, everyone. Gorgeous. <laughs> Here we go. More labradorite. Ba -da -da -ba. Be -be -da -ba -dum -bum -ba -dum -ba. <laughs> oh, bless you. Good on tight. <laughs> Labrador graduated. <laughs> Plain ovals. Oh, these are gorgeous, aren't they? Amazing. You all sorry? Beautiful. <laughs> 21. 21. I'm laughing at your song, Ollie. Oh, it's funny. Twenty-one pounds and ninety-five pence. Well done. Gorgeous. Look at that. Let's get that price point down. Let's get it down. Here we go. Seven pounds thirty pence. Look at that. Isn't that great? Oh wow, beautiful Labrador essence there. Oh, I love these organic nuggets that you get to. Neil and Linda, collector Tatiana, Cynthia. Well done, she was well. Oh, Brill Collector, well done to you as well. Gorgeous. Michael, have you been excited about kind of smaller things than you would normally be excited about because of the lockdown? So we've had um, people excited about... Um, uh, Neri was quite excited about receiving two pairs of jogging bottoms, a multi-pack. He was quite excited about that. two pairs of jogging bottoms? Yeah, one pair fits and one pair doesn't, and it's a multi-pack. <laughs> 
which is so odd. Um, what, anything that you've been particularly excited about, which you normally would like a ton of compost arriving, or...? Nothing uh, really arriving. I mean, it's been nice to... I've boxed in my pipes in my, in my bathroom. Wow! And... You like, boxed in your pipes? Boxed my pipes, and I've told it in. And the acoustics are even better. It's amazing. So you really? Can, yeah. I also had a conversation with my next door neighbour about uh, my singing in the bathroom. <laughs> 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 and they love it. <laughs> they love your singing? I really, really try hard. <laughs> Do bathroom. you? I, I always try my hardest. What does Kirsty think? What does your lovely wife think of your... What does your lovely wife think of your singing? Does well, she like, was, endure uh, it? I was um, rehearsing for a song that me and Vicky Gordon are doing. Oh, really? Well, yeah, Vicky Carroll. Vicky Carroll, yeah. Vicky Carroll. Uh, on YouTube, we've got a, a, two songs that we do. Oh. And um, Kirst just looked at me saying, Will you please stop it? Stop it! Oh, lovely. Yeah, we're doing Islands in the Stream. Oh. And Shallow as well. Oh my word, amazing. Morning, Carolyn crew. Uh, I'm resting my ankle after hurting it, moving a sack of potatoes. Back's okay though. Well, that'll learn you, won't it? Sack of potatoes. Sack of spuds. So you're doing islands in the stream, so you're presumably Kenny. Yeah. Amazing. Oh, they're so difficult on that. They are unbelievably they're difficult. Very, very odd. Very, very odd. Not as odd as the, as, as, as the, as the ones in... Um... song it is. <laughs> 6 95 for this. Pink crazy lace agate puffy rectangles. And I wish you love. Lynn well into it. Well, I just love well done everyone. It's a quarter at the one. Oh yeah. Here we go. Next strand. Na, 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 na. Here we go. Grey coated clear quartz. 270 carats. $12.95. Amazing. $12.95. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Amazing. Here we go. Let's get that price point down. <laughs> 3 95. Well done. Collector in West Yorkshire, well done to you, well done to Hazel, well done to Collector in Lancashire. So you're doing islands in the stream and you're doing shallow. That's a good one. Angela, Mandy, Susan, Gaynor, Sandra. Well done to Susan. 3 95. Well done. That's pretty much gone. Here we go. Oh, look at these! <laughs> Multicolour onyx graduated rondelles. Oh, you've got them in these lovely teal colours, cobalt blues, and beautiful aquary tones as well. Gorgeous. <clears throat> Isn't that gorgeous? 110 carats of your multicolour onyx. Aren't they gorgeous? Should be 1995. Let's get that price point down. Here we go. <laughs> £3.95 pence today, aren't they gorgeous? Oh, we've got some great show ideas. Are you planning on doing that next Sunday or Friday? Perfect. Amazing. Amazing. 395, Bertha, Maureen, Hazel, uh, Collector, more. Oh, wow, there's loads of people coming through for that. Uh, yeah, we've got Simon with us next Friday. That's going to be exciting. Mm. Oh, hello. <laughs> Wheels of turquoise. I know. They're uh, really nice. Don't you get it? They're wheels and they're really nice. <laughs> 
Sarah, I got excited opening a tub of ice cream last night. In fact, opening any new food is exciting. <laughs> You're, absolutely... <laughs> You're absolutely right. Oh, Yvonne says, uh, dancing around my kitchen in time to Carol's uh, La Bamba, Amba song. Yay, morning off. Yvonne, are you ready? I got me really La Bamba, da 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 da, da me really La Bamba. It comes in all shapes and all sizes. I got me really La Bamba, da da da, ba da da ba da ba ba. I love Amba. <laughs> <laughs> Stick it up, you jump up. <laughs> I don't know that. Dendrite agate faceted rounds. Oh, baby. <clears throat> oh, wow, look at that. Beautiful dendrite agate faceted rounds. Aren't they gorgeous? I love a bit of dendrite agate. Beautiful black and white gemstone, but there's so much more to it. You've got light shade, you've got different clarities, you've got translucency, you've got opaque qualities. It's just such a beautiful uh, gemstone with so much depth. I love it. Should be 1995. Let's get that price point down. <laughs> Five ninety-five for you today. Well done, Wendy. Wendy, <clears throat> gorgeous. Well done to you, my darling. Gorgeous. Well done. More people come through. Sharon, Helen, Jennifer, Virginia, Sally, Ann. Well done to you as well. Gorgeous. Well done, Angela. Angela in Cornwall. Oh, lovely Cornwall. I love Cornwall. Oh, beautiful. Well done, everybody. Tatiana, Danny, well done to you as well. Loads of people coming through. Well done. Ten opportunities remaining now. Look at those gorgeous, gorgeous dendritic inclusions. Aren't they gorgeous? <clears throat> beautiful. Gorgeous. Well done. More people coming through. Beautiful. Right. What are we doing now, love? Oh, wow. What is this? Is this... Chrysocolla? Wow! That is beautiful. Reminds me of a malachite kind of colour, actually. Is it? Graduated tumbles. Yeah, it's not tumbles, is it? Oh, there we go. Wow. Look at those gorgeous, gorgeous colours and shapes you're going to be getting there. Peruvian Chrysocola. 95 pounds. Down to... <laughs> One quid! That's brilliant. These are so beautiful, so big. 11 by 9 to 17 by 14. Oh, only two chances. Gorgeous, well done. 34, Michael, same age as us. I reckon we could pass for 34. No, no, for me. <laughs> you could pass for 34. No, you definitely couldn't. No way. No way. No way. No way. Maybe when my hair grows. <laughs> <laughs> oh, love. It's looking good. Thanks. It's getting there. <laughs> Marble agate. These are marvellous. Yeah. That's good. That's good. Mar Fourteen ninety-five. There you are, my lovelies. Send in any pet photos, studio at jewelrymaker.com. There we go. $3.95 for your marble agate 14 mil rounds. These are gorgeous. Well done, Toyin, Deborah, Mandy, Neil and Linda, Collector, Joe, Francis, Wendy, Emma, Angela, Collector. Oh, wow. Well done, everybody. There's loads of people coming through. Oh, beautiful. Gorgeous, well done. 
Let's go to the Wall of Fame and see some of your incredible pieces. Ba 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 bidi 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 ba 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 ba. Eight hundred and ninety. This is from Amanda James. Hi all at JM. Here's my entry to the Wall of Fame. I made a pendant weaving bare copper wire wire wire. <laughs> bare copper wire around an agate puffy square from JM. I added a few bicone crystals for interest. Hope you're all well. Star 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 star. Stay safe. Amanda. Thanks, sweetie. Mm -hmm. Ooh, 889. Look at this. Beauty from Bridget. Bridget Byers from Brinabal. Gosh, that's a proper alliteration name. Bridget Byers from Brinabal. Uh, hi, please find uh, my entry for this week's Wall of Fame. It's a chainmail necklace and bracelet using rose gold and silver jump rings and a moonstone and a labradorite connector. They are gorgeous, Bridget. Everything is from Jewelry Maker. Uh, good luck to everyone in the draw. I think that's absolutely gorgeous. Stay safe, Bridget. Isn't that beautiful? Gorgeous. Oh, wow. Oh, this is... Oh, wow, so much work in this. This is from Diane. Good morning, everyone. Hope you're all uh, well. Um, here's my entry to the Wall of Fame, a sun catcher slash wind chime made by Rosary Linking Gems and Beads from my leftover gems and, um, and beads. It makes a lovely twinkly sound and funny enough catches the sun. Thank you all for being so fab, Diane. Diane, that's a lovely thing to have in your garden. I love the idea of that. How lovely. Or maybe in your window, actually. Two more. 887. Oh, now, what's that gem? That's really beautiful. Mandy Alexander, happy belated birthday to all at JM. Wishing you a fab week of celebrations. Um, I managed to grab a few things using birthday money I was given. It's my birthday on the 13th. Oh, same, same day as my husband. Although I'm not sure. Does it count during lockdown? Yes, I know exactly what you mean, Mandy. My um, entry for the Wall of Fame is a wire work piece inspired by the fabulous Laura Bynings Infinity Pendant DVD. Um, good luck to all of us who entered into this week's draw. But I'm keeping my fingers crossed for a win so that it would be a fantastic birthday present. That's from Mandy. Thank you, darling. That's gorgeous. And last but not least, 886. Beautiful moonstone jewelry here. Molly in Belfast. Hi, all. Please find attached my entry to the Wall of Fame. A suite of Ethiopian opal uh, and uh, pears and nuggets, all set into gold plated sterling silver. All items from JM, of course. Thanks again to all involved in keeping us entertained and for the great service and value. Good health to all from Molly. Thank you so much, sweetheart. Lovely, lovely entries today. Don't go anywhere. We've got abalone coming up after the break and we've got two kits. We've got a jadeite kit with sterling silver jump rings and we've got a beautiful tourmaline kit as well. Beautiful kits, gorgeous jewellery. We're going to be joined by guest designer Fleur and we're an hour away from being joined by Jake where we've got AAA Tanzanite we're launching today. We've got um, uh, Indian Ruby, we've got Colombian Emerald, we've got, oh my, where we've got loads. We've got loads of Amethyst as well. Don't go anywhere. We will see you in a couple of moments for this incredible star by Don't Go Anywhere. Join me at 10 o'clock every morning live on YouTube. Simply go to Primal Living's channel and you'll see our new Food Bank Show. Now the Food Bank Show is basically what it says on the tin. We're trying to raise money for food banks across the UK that more than ever need our support. At the same time, in every show, I'll be joined by doctors and nutritionists that are going to help us reshape the food that we eat. Because maybe there's a bit of a silver lining for our health right now. All of the restaurants are shut. The McDonald's, the Subway, the Greggs, they're all closed. So we've got to change our eating habits anyway. But with the advice of the world's leading doctors and the world's leading nutritionists, I'm going to help you reshape the food that you're consuming and hopefully boost your immune system to get through this very difficult time. Buying with Jewelry Maker online couldn't be easier. Just head over to our website, jewelrymaker.com, and click on the register link. Simply fill in the required fields and you can shop 24 7. You'll also be privy to a faster checkout and personalized offers. 
Jewelry Maker, your one-stop shop for all your jewelry making needs. Hi, Alex the Mineral Man here. Hope you're all keeping well. Um, I'll be with you on Monday the 18th of May at 10 a.m. with lots of new lovely crystals and some considered purchases. So we'll look forward to seeing you then. At Jewelry Maker, we're always looking at ways to provide you with a fantastic shopping experience. With this in mind, selected items throughout the day will be put on display and made available for pre-order. When the presenter informs you that the pre-order service is available on an item, this is your chance to put it into your basket online or speak to one of our brilliant customer service team members and be one of the first to secure your purchase. Don't want to miss a Jewelry Maker show? Then download our app for Android and Apple devices by searching Jewelry Maker in your relevant app store. Stay with Jewelry Maker wherever you go. Don't miss out on our amazing deals, inspiration, demonstrations, and of course, all the fun. Create, wear, share on the go with Jewelry Maker. <laughs> Jewelry Maker have an extensive range of DVDs for all abilities. Each of our mediums has an introductory DVD to help you get started. If you're already an experienced jewelry maker, we have a collection of projects and more advanced DVDs to take your designs to the next level. So visit our website for more information. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share. Hi, my name's Jake and I'm Gemporia's Gemstone Investor. What does that mean? It means I'm the one who has to navigate the pitfalls and the opportunities that the ever-changing gemstone market puts in place. Over the past decade, I've had some amazing tutors teach me all of the secrets of this most ancient trade. The gemstone trade used to be all about secrecy. The few with the knowledge exploiting those without. Well, I want to blow that wide open in a new type of show where we lift the veil on all of that secrecy and put you in the driving seat with insider trader knowledge. So join me on Thursdays as we launch a new type of show and explore the ever-changing gemstone market. Don't worry, I'll be there and I'll be your gem guide. Love Jewelry Maker but don't have an account? You can now purchase items on the Jewelry Maker website through our guest checkout. To do so, select the products you wish to purchase and head over to the shopping basket. Simply enter your email address and select Continue as Guest below. After this, the checkout process is simple. Select your quantity and delivery option and then check out securely. Enter your billing details in either a credit card or PayPal account and proceed to payment. From here, you still have the option to create an account if you wish, making shopping online easier for you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share.
you doing? Star by 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 star. I think I prefer the old star by sting. Can, can we can we bring that back? Oh, I got the bully of a penguin. No? Can we do that? Can we bring that back? Possibly. I don't I don't like that star by yeah. one. It's a bit dramatic, isn't it? It's not really jewelry maker. We're not dramatic here. And we're not, are we? Anyway, who cares? Uh, beautiful star by itchy nose, stop touching your face. Um. <laughs> ah. Yes, exactly. If only. Uh, so, um, oh. Look at this. Oh, wow. Look at this. Beautiful, beautiful abalone. Oh my word, that is absolutely gorgeous. These are so big and beautiful, but you know what? They're unbelievably light. Um, two, four, so you've got six of them on here. They are absolutely stunning, aren't they? They've got the most beautiful array of colour going through them. They're just gorgeous, aren't they? They're beautiful. They've got such a beautiful tone. An entire rainbow of colour going through these. They're beautiful. I love that kind of mother of pearl, that kind of pearlescence that you get going through these. They're absolutely beautiful. Um, um, it, it's gorgeous quality that you're going to be getting here. You've basically got two halves of an abalone shell, which have been which have been adhered together and what that does is it gives you a beautiful hollow bead so it's very very light but extraordinarily light. I mean look at the size of that extraordinarily large beautiful quality seven on the strand <laughs> oof goodness me let's get that price point in shall we should be 39.95 there are loads of interest already that's great to see well done we're going to take that price point down though aren't we Tom Come on, let's do an amazing star by price for you today. How do you fancy getting these for under £30 today? Enjoy, everyone. £24.95. Amazing. Gorgeous. Get involved when you can. Yeah, they are absolutely gigantic, aren't they? Well done. Annette, Collector, Sue, Brenda, Susan. Oh, wow. Karen, well done. Oh, yeah, they're beautiful, aren't they? £24.95 is a great, great deal today uh, for your incredible abalone shells. Use them as individuals. Use them in a really lovely layered piece. I mean, it doesn't really matter whether you use more than one of them in a piece because, of course, they're very, very light. Although they're really big, they're really beautiful and light. So if you wanted to... Um, use all of them in one piece of jewellery don't be worried that it's going to weigh you down because it because it won't they're very very light indeed sharon well don't you collector ella karen oh wow there's loads of people coming through brenda well don't you as well <clears throat> great great deal for you today well done got some amazing deals coming up in this hour just to let you know as well we've got our jadeite kit our tourmaline kit and we've got strands of jadeite as well it's going to be absolutely brill um Keep coming through for all of these incredible items. We've got so much to get through in this hour. Check your baskets out. These findings are on pre-order. They're coming up at 9.45. Oh, my word. Look at the size of these. 253 base metal charms. You've got lobsters, floral, oh, whoops, floral kind of centerpieces. Uh, what's that? Uh, bells, silver bells, so great for wedding day pieces. I love this. Ferris wheel. How gorgeous is that? Beautiful Ferris wheels. Um, you've got, what else? Oh, lovely. Um, horses off a carousel. Oh, how gorgeous. These are just such lovely, lovely pieces, aren't they? You've got seahorses, origami swans in gold colour and silver colour Christmas crackers Christmas stockings oh lovely roses you've got all sorts so that's coming up at 9 45 amazing we've got guest designer Flair with us today hello hey. <coughs> hello how are you lovely I'm good are you very well thank you looking gorgeous today my lovely Oh, I had to get up extra, especially early, to trowel on the makeup. 
Oh yeah, literally applying it with a trowel. It's just, it's just. Oh hello. It's just, it's just, it's just one of those things, isn't it? it, it you kind of get out of practice, don't you? Yes. <laughs> it's my problem is now trying to cover up my roots. Oh my <laughs> word! So, oh, what are you doing, Tom? Right, get, just leave Fleur's face alone. There we go. I know, covering your roots up. Yeah, so I, I put like a pink rinse through my hair last week, which I really loved. And it's meant to last three to four washes. It lasted one wash. And then just came out. One wash. One the wash. Uh, so that was that slightly disappointing. Can I ask how, um, how's Carol, uh, Fleur? Carol's on Broad Lane. She, I think she had a nice time. Explain, um, explain about Carol, because this is hilarious. So we had a, a supermarket delivery yeah. and the guy brought the stuff in and then gave me the, um, the piece of paper that tells you what you've ordered. And I looked at the piece of paper and I looked at my shopping and my shopping was right, but the piece of paper was wrong. And then I got insanely jealous because Carol on Broad Lane, Carol with an E, um, had <clears throat> three bottles of whiskey, two bottles of brandy and two bottles of vodka. And I was like... Carol. I need to go and find this Carol. You, you I need to she's find Carol. A party. She, she would have had the most amazing. Um, <laughs> and I tell you what, she had a right load of Tesco points from it. Did she? Yeah. Did she yeah. really? Yeah. I just love it. I think it's amazing. Three, but just the three bottles of whiskey. Just the three. <laughs> I'm hoping that's not a weekly shop. <laughs> Let's hope not. Goodness me! Can you imagine if it is? <laughs> I mean, that is worrying times. There, was, there, was, there wasn't much food on there. There was just, quite a lot of just, drink. Just a lot of alcohol. Oh, my word. Maybe it's a, maybe it's a birthday. I feel sorry for the uh, recycling... Um, uh, well, I feel sorry for the bin men today. Empty my recycling <laughs> bin today. They're going to need a bigger, uh, a bigger forklift to uh, lift it up. But anyway. Um, oh, my word. Hello, Jake. Jake's here, Good creeping morning, into the city. Oh, it's very early. I was trying to be very subtle. I was trying to be subtle. Sorry. <laughs> oh, I didn't hear a thing. Um, so, yeah, J J Jake's here already. Why not? Um, right, OK, Fleur. Gorgeous kits today, hey? Beautiful kits. This morning, jade Fleur. one is stunning. <laughs> Jake's saying good morning to you, Fleur. Oh, good morning, Jake. There he is. Oh, he's bought pictures with him. He's bought all sorts. He's got all sorts. Looking very official. Okay, so jadeite, stunning silver jump ring, stunning silver clasp. This is like your dream kit, surely. <laughs> what have you made? Fleur, what have you made? Fleur, what have you yes. made? Oh, sorry, I couldn't. Can you hear me, Fleur? The gallery, I couldn't hear you, Carol. Sorry. What have you made? I've made. Oh, it, the sun's in. It's so lovely and sunny here. So I've made this beautiful um, sweet pea necklace. Oh. So sweet pea and jadeite. That's exactly what I was hoping you'd have made. Something really delicate like that. Oh, that is yeah, gorgeous, so Fleur. Every individual little bit. Um, I did add some 0.6 wire just to do those wrap loops. Yeah. I did a really simple pair of earrings, but I think they're really beautiful. I don't know if you can see with the sun. Let me try and get them out of the sun. Oh, the sun's really bright here. Oh, that, stop, stop, stop. Oh, that, yeah, they are gorgeous. What weave have you used there? Is it Sweet Pea again, or is it a different... No, it's just a simple one-in-one -one chain. They are stunning. Just a one-in-one -one chain with um, with the jadeite at the bottom. Yeah. So I've made that, and then I, I, you can't give me jadeite and sterling silver, <laughs> and I not make one of my essential yeah, perfect stretchy bracelets. So let me just take that off. So all I've used with this one is I've just put a little crimp cover at the back there, yeah. but stunning. You can see just a lovely, lovely bracelet with the with the little jump rings in between. That's so really... it, went, it went a really long way. I've got three, four pieces of jewellery. It's gorgeous, Fleur. Really, really lovely. When I saw this kit today, I thought, obviously, I thought Fleur would definitely have done some chainmail, but I thought, I really hope it's something kind of um, uh, uh, with, with little capsules of, of chainmail and lovely and delicate, which is exactly what you've done. That necklace is stunning. It's just lovely, isn't it? And it's, do you know, the, the clasp that comes in the kit is beautiful as well. Yeah. It's got a really beautiful clasp in the kit. It's just dead simple. It's uncomplicated. It's, it's just a really beautiful sterling silver clasp, isn't it? Yeah. Now, yeah. the jadeites that you're going to be getting here, great size on these. The jadeites are six mil rounds. Beautiful, consistent colour going all the way through. 
uh, the kit. Genuine natural Burmese jadeite with your sterling silver clasp. I mean, that's a lovely kit just on its own. But then, of course, you've got the addition of um, your sterling silver jump rings. Now, the jump rings that you've got here are a mix of three mil and four mil in a diameter jump rings. It looks yeah. like you're going to be getting a hundred in each size. Now, yeah. what, what, what kind of weaves instantly come into your mind when, you, when you've got these kind of size jump rings, Flair? So I wanted to do a weave that was quite um, like a unit based weave so that I could spread them out. Because like you say, yes. they're so they're so beautiful with that jadeite. I didn't want to overpower the jadeite with the chain mail and Absolutely. vice versa. Yeah. So just unit weaves straight away came to mind. So things like your Byzantine units, these sweet pea units, you know, you could have done little units of Jen's pin linkage. It's just, yes. you know, it's, it's one of those kits where I think it doesn't really matter what you make, but it's just going to look beautiful, whatever you make. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'd absolutely agree with that. Now, um, it, it is a beautiful, simple kit. We haven't added in kind of any kind of strange kind of curveballs or anything with this one. It's just a really dead simple kit. I think you've got so many opportunities here to add to this if you wanted to. I'm thinking about the beautiful six mil rounds of amber that we've been doing over our birthday celebration. These would look amazing with the, um, with the jadeite, I think, wouldn't they? They definitely <laughs> would, yeah. Oh, gorgeous. $44.95 for the entire kit. That, You've got... That is a great price because... I mean, Isn't it? When you're looking at a bracelet like this, uh, you know, a jadeite and sterling silver bracelet, yeah. you could charge, you know, at least £35 for this, oh, if not sure. more. Yeah. You know, then you've got your simple earrings, you know. Mm. So, I mean, that for me is more than the kit, you know, for those two items together. And I... I all that I've added is two um, head pins, two shepherd hook, uh, a pair of shepherd hooks and a crib bead. Yeah. So I've not added lots into it. And then you've got all of this beautiful necklace that's yeah. left over, which, you know, it's, it's got to be, you know, if I was to sell this, this necklace, yes. it would probably be about between 140 and 160 pounds yeah. because that jadeite's on there as well. Definitely. And do you know what's interesting? I mean, I think that's a fantastic price for that necklace. It's not going to take a huge amount of time to make because, of course, you're just making these little kind of capsules and then uh, these little units, as you say, uh, yeah. and, then, and then you add the um, uh, jadeite in between. For me, this is a great stash builder kit. You've got your sterling silver jump rings, which we very, very seldom have in stock, especially in these lovely little sizes. You've got the clasp and you've got the jadeite there. For me, that is, I mean, that that's 20 quid for the, you know, at least 20 pounds for the jadeite. And then, of course, you've got all of your sterling silver jump rings, 200 of them yeah. in total. And you've got the clasp as well. It's yeah. brilliant. It's a very, very limited edition kit. I've only got 32. It's pretty much, well, I would say three quarters of the stock has already gone. I've got a couple of multi bidders as well. I would be thinking about what else I could add to this kit. I don't know if you've seen those gorgeous ombre strands of amber that we've been doing over our birthday celebrations, but I would be adding yeah. amber to this. Maybe some lovely pearls as well. Maybe some of the yeah. incredible South Sea pearls we've had over the last, um, yeah. over the last couple of weeks as well. Um, so for like me, that. it would definitely be pearls. I've been putting pearls with this because this is my favourite colour of jadeite. Yes. I absolutely love this colour of jadeite. And it goes so beautifully with a gorgeous natural white pearl or a cream pearl. And the colour of this jadeite, actually, the strand you're getting here, the colour is so consistent. We can do multicolour jadeite, um, you know, jadeite of kind of different varying uh, degrees of saturation. This is your really beautiful, delicate, tranquil, um, um, uh, fresh uh, green that you're going to be getting here. It's absolutely beautiful. And it's so impressive that the entire strand has got that colour and quality going through it. Yeah. Gorgeous. It is. Well done. That has pretty much gone. Now, we've got an additional jadeite strand. Um, we've what, what, well, we've got a couple of additional pieces. This is one of those multicolour strands where you're going to be getting some really exciting colours. I mean, I know you love the, the lighter colours of jadeite. I, I really like the darker colours. Mm -hmm. um, it's just literally a matter of, of, of opinion and kind of what your personal preference is. Look at this strand. It's, it's, it's what gorgeous. speaks to you, isn't it? It's what, For sure. I mean, but on, on that strand, you can see some amazing... Um, examples of colours that jadeite is for it is found in naturally mm. um, and, and I think that is that is the beauty of a strand like this is that you can see which is your favourite colours definitely from there. <clears throat> I, th I think we price the kit really well as well because I think you've got a, um, 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 a kit for the kind of price point where it will allow you to add other strands onto this kit other strands of jadeite onto this kit and 
Jadeite jewellery is very much like pearl jewellery. It really is. Um, it really, you know, they can command really quite um, considered price points. To be able to bring you this incredible strand today for under £20 is amazing. But we're actually going to take it lower. Shan, Carolyn, Sandra, Jackie, Collector, Sharon, Collector, Collector, Heather, well done. All the way down. How many of this one have we got, Tom? 36 available. It's £12.95. That is a brilliant think, price point for eight mil rounds. That's incredible. Do you know what's really important to always remember as well with Jadeite jewellery is that the top ten selling piece, uh, the highest top ten is, um, pieces of jewellery that's ever been sold, nine of them were diamonds and only one of them was Jadeite. And it had a very small ruby in the clasp. It's the Woolworths necklace. It's the heiress of Woolworths. Mm. It's, it's her necklace. And it's a beaded necklace. It's the only piece which is not diamonds that's in that top telling oh, top wow. ten selling um jewelry oh. pieces well there you go i mean that's i mean that's just i mean that's just that's just proven kind of the quality and the value of jada that one's pretty much gone let's do this smaller strand smaller multicolor rounds four mil rounds of your multicolor jada i'm going to pop it with the kit strand as well so you can see what they look like together that is just gorgeous you see i'm instantly thinking um the necklace that you've made you could then put a little four mil jadeite either side of the six mil uh, jadeite, couldn't you? That that'd be really lovely. Yeah, to do little trios of them as well. Yeah, yeah and that would make your um, your chainmail go a lot further as well because obviously you're taking more space up yeah. with your jadeite. Yeah, for sure. Even um, even if you just did it around the central kind of five. Uh, little units of jadeite, it would be it would be more than enough. Um, Seven ninety five. Goodness me, that's a low price. Wow, Tom, that's incredibly low. How have you done that? That's my, amazing. Um, my, t I know we say this a lot of the time, but my ten mil bracelet that I wear all the time. Yeah. That strand, when they very first came to jewelry make it, was either sixty nine ninety five or seventy nine ninety five. They were ten mil rounds, and they're Chinese. They're not Burmese. Yeah, you see, this is, it. this is it. You've got something so, so, so special here. Amazing. Well done, everyone. That's 7 95 That one's about to sell out. This next kit is ridiculous. This is one of the best strands of tourmaline I think we have ever had, Fleur. The you know, clarity um, I, and the colour. I, when I saw this tourmaline, it's got the most amazing oh. colours on there. I got both of the, the kits out and I looked at both of them. I, I Both of my strands, oh. I have chrome tourmalines with absolute beautiful clarity. Check out this kit. Now, Tom, I just want to double check with you. What am I getting in this kit? I've got the tourmaline. I've got what I think is one of the nicest gold-plated silver toggle clasps we've ever done. I love it. Isn't that beautiful? I love that clasp, don't you, Fleur? It's beautiful. It reminded me of a quite, quite a nautical um, design. Yeah, sure. As well as like a sunburst as well. Yeah, absolutely. Isn't it just gorgeous? So you've got your yellow gold-plated sterling silver clasp. Now... You're also getting jump rings. The jump rings you're getting are gold-plated um, copper. They're three mil, four mil, and five mil in a diameter. Gold-plated copper, three, four, and five mil in a diameter jump rings. You're getting 600 jump rings in total. Now, I know that when you make pieces to sell, Fleur, you do tend to use your precious metal jump rings. But I think yeah. for the purposes of if you're A, just starting out doing a chain mill, B, if you want to sell your pieces, but you want to be able to sell them for really very, very affordable prices, I would go for gold plated or precious metal plated copper. Yeah. They've got yeah. really lovely um, malleability on them, but they're still very strong, aren't they? They are. And do you know what? Gold plating is really making a resurgence. Um, gold mm. as in like a, a jewellery colour. Mm. I mean, rose gold has had sort of like the monopoly for a long time now. Absolutely. But gold is coming back. I've been, I've been the gold, lots more gold um, items than I have been um, in the last six months. I am amazed at the price we can do this kit for because when I've been looking at this kit this morning, I've been looking at it, I've been looking at the price and I've been thinking, how on earth can we do this? So gold-plated silver, gold-plated copper. Oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. Oh, wow. 
There we oh, go. Oh, that's beautiful, Fleur. What? Oh, wow, look at the twisted. We've, you've done yeah, it at the top. So, oh, my word. So I did the twist on the side, and then the um, the demo is on these little diamonds here. But look, I mean, that, that tourmaline in the middle there, you can't really see it, but that is as red as a as a ruby. Yeah, as a ruby. Yeah, definitely. It really is. And then I made a pair, if I just put, put that down a second, um, I made a matching. Oh, I love those. Oh, wow, Fleur. This kit. And look at this one. I mean, I was I was going to ask you, Carol, have you ever seen a purple spinel like that? It's not. I mean, I know it, we do get uh, sorry, purple tourmaline. Purple tourmaline. It's not some of it. It's not something that we tend to do. The the variety of colour you are getting on this strand here. Michael's showing is just there, kind of like a purpley one. But look at the blues, the bi colours, the clarity you're getting in some of these. It's about such an interesting strand. Sometimes when we bring you multicolour tourmaline, it's a strand of kind of pink and kind of browns. What I love about this, you've got every single colour of the rainbow and that's what tourmaline should be. Legend has I'm it. Try and get close because can you see that, that chrome tourmaline there? Oh that is astonishing, look at that. This, this was the second sample so this is the one that I haven't used but you can see just the variety of colours. Oh it's beautiful. And again you know that, that, that chrome tourmaline there yeah. is so for me, that, that, that should be set within sort of like platinum. It's, it's absolutely beautiful. And not only that, Flo, I don't know whether on your strand, if you've got any with these gorgeous moments of clarity with like these rutilated inclusions going through them. And this one here is absolutely off the scale. They're, 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 they're just incredible. This kit's 18, I, I, 18 I did 99. have some that almost like had like a cat's eye um, phenomena yes. about them. Yeah, 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 like, you're like, absolutely like right. Like the silks inside. So, so yeah, but I, I had some as well that were, I mean, this one, I don't know if you can see it very well, but that one is like a, it's, it's like gold. It's, it looks like a golden beryl. Yes. Oh, doesn't it? Just, gosh, look at the, um, there's almost like a chatoincy going through there. That's amazing. Yeah. Oh, I've it's got just, one of those It's, it's well. just the most beautiful, beautiful strand. Yeah. And, and very well compl complemented with the gold jump rings as well. Isn't it just? Isn't it just? Now, this kit, eighteen ninety nine, and it's pretty much oh. sold out. We only had 60-odd. I know. Isn't that just incredible? <laughs> Is that the price? S yeah. eighteen ninety nine. It's pretty much I sold out. I wouldn't even sell those earrings for that. I know. I know. I know, and, and, and I think, and I think the, the most surprising thing is, for eighteen ninety nine, I'd expect to get, if it was a strand of tourmaline, I'd expect to get a strand of chips. I, would, I was yeah. not expecting to get literally one of the finest, because we see a lot of tourmaline on Jewelry Maker, but this is, this is definitely one of the finest strands we have ever had. How much would that class be by itself? What we, I mean, I, I think that class by itself has got eight, nine to be pounds, maybe? sort of like six ninety five. dollars Morning all. Tourmaline is stunning. I got mine. Oh, well done, lovely Amanda in Devon. I've got so many people who are still coming through to get this kit. I've got about four or five of this kit left. Loads of multi-bidders. Huge congratulations. I've got a collector in Middlesex who's just bought four of this kit. It is absolutely phenomenal. 600 jump rings in yellow gold-plated copper, a yellow gold-plated sterling silver clasp, and one of the best strands of tourmaline we've ever done for under £19. That's a proper jewellery maker price. That's amazing. Now, I've got a couple of books to do. We've got this incredible 253 bundle. Uh, we are going to play some of your demo as well during this hour. We're going to be launching Triple A Tanzanite on Jewelry Maker wow. today, Fleur. Wow. Honestly, it's incredible. We've got Indian Ruby. We've got Colombian Emerald. There's your Triple A um, um, uh, 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 Tanzanite. Amazing. Did you see any of the pearls that we had last Friday, by the way? Did I see what, sorry? Any of the pearls that we had on with Charlie last Friday? Yes, they were lovely, weren't they? They were beautiful pearls. Honestly, some of the best prices I've ever seen in my entire life. Yeah. I was absolutely bowled over. It was, it was amazing. It was such a great, fun show. Um, right, I've got a metal, metal jewellery workshop book. I haven't seen this one before. This is a nice one. Okay, let, let's have a look at this. Dive into metal jewellery making, it says here. Now, you do love your metal work, don't you, Fleur? You know, I absolutely it's... do love my metal work. It's, mm. um, it's probably one of my... The chainmail is what I, what I do to sort of like relax, and I, I love my chainmail because it's got the patterns, but metal work is something that I've always wanted to do since I was a little girl because 
I just I'm, I'm fascinated what you can do with metal yes. how you can move metal and it doesn't break and it's very forgiving and what you can actually make with it I mean the picture on the front of the book is just beautiful isn't it um, yes. and then you can see inside just all the different techniques that you can actually use with metal do you know what's interesting as well? Um, just over half of the book, I would say, is all about kind of projects and different things like that. But actually, a big chunk of the book is taken up on what you're going to need, how, how you're going to be working with your metal, kind of different ways of setting your metal, you know, whether you're going to be setting it with gemstones, different tools that you're going to need. It really is. It covers all bases, I think, this book. It's absolutely fantastic, isn't it? It is. I don't think I've got this one. I must get this one. Oh, there you go. Preparing metal, it says, and then it talks about different um, wire and sheet gauges as well. That's a really useful chart. I'd probably photocopy that and laminate it. Have it on my, um, have it, you know, near your workspace if you do do a lot of wire work or or metal work. You've got a whole section here about different ways of bending wire and preparing your uh, metal as well before you work with it. It's a brilliant book. Um, now, price point wise for this, oh look, there's a whole section on kind of filing. Filing and abrading metals. Oh, wow, fantastic. This book has previously been to 12 95 Not bad. On the Jungle website, it's, it's how much, sorry? 9 23 Today, on Jewelry Maker, we're going to do it for this price. For what? 4 95 For a book. For a book. An actual that's not, book. That, that's not one tutorial. That's no. a whole book. A whole book, Fleur. Wow. That's amazing. That's absolutely incredible. That's brilliant. That's yeah. a great price. Where can you learn something? Like, like all that knowledge in there for four pounds five. Absolutely. This is an entire kind of medium, isn't it? Um, the jeweler's dozen daily use hand, um, hand tools that you will reach for with every time you create jewellery, from jeweler's saws to clamps, pliers, hammers, shears, drills and, and um, fly, uh, files. Um, eight hands-on exercises showing you how exactly how to apply basic techniques like bending and shaping wire, uh, punching and drilling holes, texturing metal um, sheet, and much more. 12 step-by-step -step projects for making wearable works of art, bracelets, pendants, earrings, and more that express your creativity, talent, and personal taste. How lovely. What a great book. Do you know, um, great, great today's book. quite a special day as well, Carol. Go on, lovely. Um, today, four years ago, probably about this time, we nearly killed each other with a Dremel. Well, I've seen it, was, it pop up it on my Dremelgate Facebook history today. Four years ago. Dremelgate. That was, um, yeah. We literally, I, I feared for my life that day, Fleur. I think, I th I've never seen Kerry move so fast to duck behind the camera when she thought that the piece of acrylic was going to take her head off. I think what it was, I think we had the Dremel in the piece of acrylic. I turned it on and then I lifted it up and the piece of acrylic just started spinning, didn't it? Yeah, and then he got he got wedged, didn't he? It wouldn't come out. <laughs> what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and get a clip of it and put it on my Facebook page later for oh anybody that didn't see the original Dremel Gate because gates. it was hilarious. It was one of the funniest things ever. Um, that <laughs> and the fireball that we've had. Oh, dear me. All sorts. Ignore twelve ninety five. Um, uh, it is going to be £4.95. pence. Anyone who comes through to get this four ninety five, that's a great deal. Well done, everyone. Right, Fleur, we're going to play a little portion of your um, uh, demo. Thank you so much. You've done lovely, lovely pieces. We, you know, it's just, it's just, it's just always great to have you on the show. When are you next with us, Lavie? Um, ne the twentieth, I think. Is that next Tuesday or next Wednesday? Wednesday. That's next Wednesday. Next Wednesday. Oh, fantastic. Uh, well, we'll see you next Wednesday, Fleur. Thank you so much, Lavie. Thank you. Thank Thanks, you. Darling. Take care. That's a love. Bye. Bye. Um, isn't she awesome? Isn't she fantastic? I knew she was going to make, I mean, she always makes winning jewellery, but I knew today, those kits, they are dream kits for any guest designer, anyone who's into your chain mail, or you just want to make a lovely chain and just a lovely one-in-one -one chain like she did with those lovely J-Dot earrings. It's an absolute gift, uh, both of these gorgeous kits. Now, We've got um, uh, Fleur's demo, which we're going to be playing a little bit of in just a few moments. I've got this coming up at 9.45. A pack of 253 charms. Love this. Connectors. They're beautiful. 
absolutely gorgeous connectors star connectors christmas crackers they're all base metals uh lotus flowers it's all on pre-order little end caps well they're quite big actually uh origami swan um you've got charms you've got connectors holly leaves some nice Christmassy bits in here which are really lovely if you want to get kind of really ultra prepared uh what's this one? Oh, this is a lovely um unicorn i love this one i love these kind of geometric ones that we do got geometric um stag's head geometric um uh, uh reindeer sorry uh, not reindeer um uh, unicorn as well so that's all going to be coming up at 9 45. We've also got the Tanzanite. We're going to be launching AAA Tanzanite on Jewelry Maker today. I've got two examples of the Tanzanite right here. We've also got Amethyst coming up. We've got Indian um, uh, Ruby. We've got Colombian Emerald. We've got all sorts coming up. Let's play a little bit of Fleur's demo, shall we? Um, and then we'll come back and we'll do the uh, Gorgeous Star Buy, which, of course, is this enormous, enormous mega deal of base metal findings. Don't go anywhere. We'll see you in a sec. Hello, guest designer Fleur here. Um, today I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful sweet pea chainmail weave. So in the kit, you're going to get all your sterling silver jump rings and some beautiful jadeites. The only thing that I've added is a little bit of 0.6 wire just to be able to create these uh, little rosary links on the jadeite. So I'm just going to bring one of these into focus a little bit just so you can see a little bit closer what they're going to look like. I'll just focus that for you. There we go. So there you can see the beautiful little units that are your sweet pea and how they've been attached together. Okay. So I'm going to use the large demo jump rings for, for this, but just so you're aware, they are the wrong size. So the aspect ratio is completely wrong. So it is a little bit difficult to show you exactly how um, how it sort of like works, but hopefully you'll be able to talk through it and you'll be able to hear and see um, exactly where the next jump ring's going, even if the large jump rings don't look as tight as these ones, okay? So we're going to need two pairs of pliers. I always tend to favor my chain nose, uh, my bent nose, sorry, and my chisel nose. But as long as your pliers are smooth on the inside and not your round nose pliers, you'll be absolutely fine. Okay, so bringing across my large jump rings, I'm just going to zoom out just a little bit. There we go. So, what I've got is I've got three closed jump rings and I've got five. Uh, sorry, three closed jump rings, three open jump rings, and then a couple of small three mil jump rings as well. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my four mil jump ring and I'm my open one, and I'm going to add on all three of the closed four mil jump rings and close that up. Okay, now at this point, if you want to, you can attach in your, your little jump ring. So I'm just going to do that now, just so I don't forget. So this is how we're going to connect to the jadeite, this little jump ring here. Okay, so chainmail, uh, sorry, um, sweet pea can be a continuous weave, but we're going to use it in segments today. So the first jump ring that's, that was open, I'm going to keep that as a horizontal jump ring, and these three are going to become vertical jump rings. Okay, so our portrait jump rings are vertical, our landscape jump ring, horizontal. Okay. So taking our first open jump ring, again a four mil jump ring, we're going to route this is going to go, it's going to go through jump ring number one, through jump ring number three, and then through jump ring number two, okay? And it's still going to sit in a landscape position. So I'm going to pick up knot number one, pick up number three. Now using my, my forefinger, I'm just going to push forward jump ring number two. Now this very first one is always more tricky to put in place because it's not actually held, um, the, the formation has not been held by any of the jump rings, okay? But this first jump ring really helps because the second one goes in a lot easier. So I'm just going to do that again for you. So just open up those jump rings, taking my open jump ring, pick up jump ring number one, over the top of jump ring number two, pick up jump ring number three, 
push forward jump ring number two and there it's connected so you can see it's it forms that that kind of lovely almost like a an arrow with jump ring number two pointing forward okay and close that up now this is very similar to how we construct our um, full Persian. So with full Persian, what we do on one side, we do on the other. We're going to do exactly the same here. So we can see we've got that formation now being made. So we've got one, three, and two. What we're going to do now is we're going to turn our work over. Now, because that first jump ring's gone in place, we've actually formed the correct sequence now because that black jump ring is holding everything in place so one and three are further back and number two is pointing forward it just won't balance on my finger there we go you, you get the gist of where it's going to go okay so that's our formation one three two so taking our next open jump ring again go through jump ring number one through jump ring number three and then do it through jump ring number two and close. And there you've got your two jump rings in place for your sweeper unit. So now to attach this into our necklace, what we need to do is we're going to attach a small jump ring, a three mil jump ring, onto jump ring number two, but it's going to sit in the middle of those two port, uh, those two landscape jump rings that we've just added in. Okay, so I'm just going to open, open that up. Okay, now the other thing to make sure is that this little jump ring at the end is also in the middle. So the little jump ring that we added to start with. Okay, so you can see that's now sitting in the middle there. What we're going to do now is going to go through and attach this. Now in the correct sizes. It will be back here, but just so you can see, it's going to go through there and attach. Okay. And that's how your sweet pea unit is going to look. So remember to put the one jump ring in to start with, then flip your work over. Always making sure you flip your work over so that you can then do the same on the top as it is on the bottom. Now it is a little bit more fiddly this this weave just because the jump rings are a little bit smaller if I bring in now the correct size and just show you the formation that it's sitting in so we can see I'm just going to zoom in a little bit just bear with me while I uh, focus it for you So what we have, that was the beginning, that one's the end. So we can see here now how we've got jump ring number two facing forward, jump ring number one and three is here. This is where we first attached it and that's the little jump ring that's sitting in the middle. And then we went through jump ring number two but making sure it's sat in the middle of those two horizontal jump rings that we added in. Okay, I'll just put my hand behind it so you can see it a little bit easier. Okay, so that is your sweet pea unit. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to pop a few photos um, that are quite up close just so you can see um, the detail in the sweet pea unit in a photograph. And I'm also going to put a couple of photos of what else I made with the kit. So I made a beautiful stretchy bracelet with the jade eye and the um, little three mil jump rings. The only thing I added to that was a crimp cover just to cover the knot. And then I did just some simple one in one chain earrings um, with the jade eye at the bottom. And all I added to that was uh, two head pins and two pairs of shepherd hooks. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you do have any problems, just get in contact with me, JM Guest Designer Fleur Hastings on Facebook. Thank you. What a gorgeous demo. Um, isn't she amazing? She's brill. Oh, wow. 
Thank you for watching. Oh my word, Fleur Hastings, you are amazing. Isn't that great? Um, so that was awesome. Kits are almost sold out. Well done. Right. Here's the thing. This is amazing. Yeah, this is absolutely epic. Tom, thank you very, very much for putting this together. Um, thank you very much for photographing it, uh, Michael, I would have thought. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, I mean, just an absolute nightmare to make and photograph. But wow. Um, at this moment in time, we're, we're bundling as much as we can to basically give you savings. Um, this is the biggest bundle of uh, base metal um, charms and connectors that I've ever seen in my life. It is absolutely gigantic. You are getting a total here of two hundred and fifty three charms connectors bun um, um, uh, bundled together it is absolutely amazing um <clears throat> here's the list it's just a small list oh my word just a small list yeah so that is what we're talking about here now these are all kind of gold or silver uh, sorry gold colored base metal you've got silver colored base metal some of them are silver plated base metal but they've all got a base metal just to let you know they're not it's not copper it'll probably be brass something like that um there's a whole host of ones that really stand out for me i love these these are absolutely gorgeous make a lovely centerpiece for a necklace which you can dangle gemstones from you could be really quite economical with these and this could be obviously the main the main focal um, um uh, piece um in that in that suite of jewelry you're getting a whole load of these. Look, you're getting five of these ones. They're gorgeous, aren't they? You've got, I mean, great in interior design projects as well. You've got these enormous, enormous teardrop-shaped um, chandelier pieces. They're gorgeous. I mean, that, you could use those um, um, in a, in, obviously in an interior design project. You could use them as a lovely centerpiece for a necklace, maybe. They're gorgeous. So you're getting three of those. You're then going to be getting five of, uh, sorry, six of these ones here, which are the same, but smaller. Aren't they gorgeous? You could make earrings out of those. I mean, they'd be so cool. Okay. You're then going to be getting this floral one here. Really like that. That's really, really nice with, with like a lovely Tudor rose in the middle. Beautiful. You've then got these enormous kind of mandala style pieces here, which are connectors. They look great. Getting a load of those, five of those. Okay. You're then going to be getting all of these. Now, they include things like these end caps for your really thick um, uh, kumihimo pieces and really thick macrame pieces. Or you could put a gemstone inside there if you wanted to. Really, really lovely end cap you're going to be getting there. So you're getting a pack of those. You're then going to be getting a pack of, um, I'll do some more of the silver colour ones. Um, wedding bells in silver colour. Really, really lovely wedding bells. You've then got these Ferris wheels here, which I love. So you're getting a pack of these beautiful Ferris wheels. Um, really lovely, all about kind of, you know, creating memories, you know, charm bracelets. How lovely. And doing it so inexpensively using these. I've got a pack of lobsters. Hang on. There we go. So a pack of lovely lobsters. Lovely lobsters. Uh, you've then got shells. Gorgeous. You've got beautiful butterflies. So you've got your butterflies and your lobsters. You've got your seahorses. These are nice. Oh, he's upside down. Hang on. Seahorses. Okay. Christmas crackers. Oh, no. Are these Christmas crackers? What are these? Oh, no. These are snowmen. Snow people. There we go. So you've got your snowmen. You've got your um, carousel horses on a merry-go-round. They're beautiful, aren't they? Aren't they gorgeous? You've got lovely roses. Mary Poppins. Oh, you've got beautiful roses. Beautiful. You've got your... Oh, I'm just going through the silver coloured ones. Oh, these are my favourite. Uh, gingerbread men. Love a gingerbread man. That boy come from Paddens. Uh, so you've got your lovely gingerbread men. And then you've got an origami shape, um, style swan beautiful okay then let's move on to the goldie ones so goldie ones you're then going to be getting peace signs these are gorgeous love those so lovely peace signs yeah lovely on a wish style bracelet stags heads or reindeer heads okay beautiful angels all right angel beautiful angels 
There they are with the lovely wings. Um, snowmen again. Never eat yellow snow, just to let you know. <laughs> uh, bells again. Lovely golden bells this time. Great for Christmas, great for weddings. Golden wedding anniversaries, maybe. And uh, you've got lovely, um, oh, I love this one. I love these kind of geometric designs. Uh, beautiful running unicorn. Hello. Prancing unicorn. Uh, Christmas stockings. Getting loads of these. Uh, what's this one? Uh, an origami goose or swan again. Beautiful. Okie dokie. Christmas crackers. So exciting. I love all of these. Lovely Christmas crackers. Hang on. Don't you dare rush me. Carousel uh, horses again. Mary Poppins. Oh, I need to watch Mary Poppins again. Get my Mary Poppins fix. Uh, no, the first one. I mean, I like the, the returns, but um, Emily Blunt's a bit plummy. But she's very, well, she's very, very good, but anyway. North Star. Um, candy canes. Candy canes. Beautiful. Sorry. There we, there we go. Candy canes. Holly leaves. Okay, and I've got one more nearie. Sorry. Okay, one more. Um, you've got these beautiful... Where did that one go? That one in there. There we go. You've got these beautiful North Star uh, charms. So basically, you've got everything. You've got Christmas-inspired things. You've got nature-inspired things. You've got celebration-inspired things. You've got wedding-inspired things. You've got all these decorative damask pieces. You've got so much going on. If you wanted to buy all these individually, it would cost you this much. £223.45. pence. But I don't want to buy them individually. I want to get them all in... Oh, no. I want to get them all in one go. And I want to give all of these to my kids to work with and just say, go, go. I've got a load of Eslon. I've got a load of Eslon. And I could just say, just go, girls. Just have fun. Do whatever you want with these. All of these today normally would be 69 95 Forget about that price. For 253 pieces... That works out to 28 pence per piece. 28p. But we're going to do something ridiculous. And when I say ridiculous, we're going to go lower than we should be going. We're going to be going lower than these have ever been. Because the whole point of putting all this together and photographing it and bundling it and spending hours and hours and hours putting bundles like this together is to sell them. We want them all to go. Now, I have got, in total, 110 chances available. I am not going to bring this back to air again. I am not going to sit here giving you 10 minutes of going through every single one of these only to bring it back again. I want them all to go. And that is the lowest price ever. 29 95 Well done. 253 pieces. You are getting all of this. You're covered by that one PMP of 3 95 These are absolutely flying out the door. You're getting 253 pieces, which makes each one of these 12 pence. Even this, even your lovely candy canes, 12p, 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 12p. This is going to reignite your mojo. A lot of people saying that, you know, they're feeling a little bit deflated at the minute. They've lost their, they've lost their inspiration. This is going to give uh, this is going to give you that mojo. And can I just say as well? Can I just say as well? If you're looking perhaps at these ones here, and you're looking at the largest ones, and you're thinking, do you know what? I'm probably not going to use those charms. I'm probably going to end up giving those away. That for twenty nine ninety five is an absolute steal. It is a stash builder. That for twenty nine ninety five is amazing. But then you've got another over two hundred. Of all of these, that is the best deal I can offer you. They've been bought to air before for about 50 quid. For me, I want them all to go. I've got 110 of these. It takes the team a long time to photograph them. It takes them a long time to set this up. It takes them a long time to make bundles like this. And I'm not going to sit here for 10 minutes going through all of these just to bring it back to air again. I want them all to go. I want them all to go. I've got no intention of ever bringing this back to air again. So the price has got to be right. So today, 29 95 They're absolutely flying out the door. Loads of multi-bidders coming through to get these. Oh, my word. People buying twos and threes. So Alison in, Alison in Bristol has just bought three of these. So you are going to be getting over 700 pieces. 
That is going to keep you busy. That is going to keep you busy, my love. Well done, everybody. What a great deal. So for £60, you could get two packs of these with over 500 pieces in for every charm bracelet, for every charm uh, bracelet for every charm anklet for every christening and birthday present for every wish star bracelet for every napkin ring for every christmas decoration for every little charm present absolutely amazing you've got to go for it you've got here now, do you know what, ollie it's a really good point actually the peace signs that i've got here literally just tipped all of these out for all these peace signs here you're going to be getting okay two four six eight ten so there's ten peace signs yeah get some eslon make a little lark's head knot here and a lark's head knot on the other side do a little sliding um, knot on the back sell that for a fiver a fiver even if it's as even if it's a little actually let's say two pounds two pounds that's twenty pounds and you've still got another 243 of these to use. Do you understand what, what, how, what an amazing deal this is? It's absolutely ridiculous. And please, 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 I just need to, I, we have no intention of ever bringing this back to air ever again, because it is a nightmare to bring to air. It's a nightmare for our amazing warehouse team to go and pick one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. To go thirty-one. To go to thirty-one different locations in our warehouse and go, right, a pack of those. And a pack of the thirty-one locations they've got to go to within in our in, in our warehouse to package just one of these i don't want to put them through that again so the way that we the way that we can ensure that they don't have to do that again is to take this so low so that they all completely sell out and then we never have to bring it back to air again because this is a complete nightmare to bundle it's a nightmare to photograph it's a nightmare to pick it's a nightmare to ship but my word you are getting a serious deal this is a definite mega collection isn't it 253 base metal collection for under 30 quid we we did sit down and we thought you know what what is going to ensure that all of these go today all 110 of these go today i've still got more people coming through on the web and the phone lines that's great to see well done and we thought right it's been sold at 50 before, but maybe 40 have gone. That's not low enough. I want all 110 to go. So let's take it a little bit lower. What, should we take it down to, oh, I don't know, 35 quid? Oh, it doesn't have the right sound to it. 29.95, you're paying 12 pence per component. It, I mean, yeah, I, as a member of staff, I can't buy this for that price. I can't pay 12 pence, but look at all of those. And don't forget you're covered by one P&P of just three pounds and 95 pence but this is the best deal we can offer you i can't buy it for this price at a as a as a member of staff here it is absolutely ridiculous you don't need me to tell you we are losing hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of pounds but if all of these sell out and when they all do sell out we are freeing up 31 locations in our warehouse for all of the new stuff we've got coming into stock over the next few months wow an amazing deal and honestly this is one of those deals where i say if you don't you know honestly you're, you're looking at this and even considering it just get it just get it because you will absolutely reap the benefits you will be thanking your lucky stars that you came through to get this and took advantage of such a great deal now coming up in the next hour we've got jake we've got tanzanite we've got oh my word triple a tanzanite coming up in the next hour blue sapphire colombian emerald indian uh, ruby as well gorgeous ruby necklaces iolite zavarite garnet amethyst um uh, black opal we've got everything deal of the day have a look at this sterling silver sliding class bracelet with plush diamond in that is amazing so that is your incredible deal of the day it's going to be coming up in about an hour's time we've got jake joining us in the next couple of moments please if you're even thinking about this deal just get it you've got an extended 30-day money-back guarantee that is the kind of deal you cannot afford to miss out on don't go anywhere we'll see you in a couple of minutes
If you have a question or query for Jewellery Maker, then contact our call centre on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Email help at jewelrymaker.com or drop us a message on our Facebook page. Buying with Jewelry Maker online couldn't be easier. Just head over to our website, jewelrymaker.com, and click on the register link. Simply fill in the required fields and you can shop 24 7. You'll also be privy to a faster checkout and personalized offers. Jewelry Maker, your one stop shop for all your jewelry making needs. The Jewelry Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewelry designer. Each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their account, and the runner-up receives £50. If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jewelrymaker.com, or you can post your photos to Jewelry Maker Studio, Ivy House, Henley Road, Studley, B80, 7DU, and make sure you don't forget your customer number. Get making and good luck. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Hi, Alex the Mineral Man here. Hope you're all keeping well. Um, I'll be with you on Monday the 18th of May at 10am with lots of new lovely crystals and some considered purchases. So we'll look forward to seeing you then. Hi, my name's Jake and I'm Gemporia's Gemstone Investor. What does that mean? It means I'm the one who has to navigate the pitfalls and the opportunities that the ever-changing gemstone market puts in place. Over the past decade, I've had some amazing tutors teach me all of the secrets of this most ancient trade. The gemstone trade used to be all about secrecy. The few with the knowledge exploiting those without. Well, I wanna blow that wide open in a new type of show where we lift the veil on all of that secrecy and put you in the driving seat with insider trader knowledge. So join me on Thursdays as we launch a new type of show and explore the ever-changing gemstone market. Don't worry, I'll be there and I'll be your gem guide. At Jewelry Maker, we're always looking at ways to provide you with a fantastic shopping experience. With this in mind, selected items throughout the day will be put on display and made available for pre-order. When the presenter informs you that the pre-order service is available on an item, this is your chance to put it into your basket online or speak to one of our brilliant customer service team members and be one of the first to secure your purchase. Don't want to miss a Jewelry Maker show? Then download our app for Android and Apple devices by searching Jewelry Maker in your relevant app store. Stay with Jewelry Maker wherever you go. Don't miss out on our amazing deals, inspiration, demonstrations, and of course, all the fun. Create, wear, share on the go with Jewelry Maker. strand of genuine gemstones is always exciting, but being able to use it in your handcrafted jewellery, then passing it on to its new owner with proof of its authenticity is even more incredible. Why not add one of our printed authenticity cards to your order and share that same feeling with your customers? You can also access online authenticity certificates through items you've previously purchased by looking at your order history on your account details. The certificate gives you valuable information about your purchase and is your guarantee of quality and peace of mind from Jewelry Maker.
The Jewelry Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewelry designer. Each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their account, and the runner-up receives £50. If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jewelrymaker.com or you can post your photos to Jewelry Maker Studio, Ivy House, Henley Road, Studley, B80, 7DU and make sure you don't forget your customer number. Get making and good luck. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. This shaft is actually deeper than Tanzanite 1. It's in D block. It's owned by Rahim, and uh, he says I'm one of the first Mzungus to actually be allowed to go down and see it. My, God. My gosh, it's pretty impressive. But you want to go down 800 meters and climb a step at 45 degrees. It's absolutely baking hot. And I'll tell you what, just recently I ran the marathon, and this is so much tougher. If you bought Tanzanite back in 2004, some of it wasn't that difficult to get out the ground, we'll be quite honest, they were quite close to the surface of the earth, but every time you invest in a beautiful Tanzanite today, the odds are it's come a lot, lot deeper uh, from the earth's surface, a lot, lot deeper. That makes it more expensive to get out, for sure, uh, but it does mean that as we get deeper, there was more heat from Mother Nature, and therefore the colours are sometimes completely natural. More expensive, certainly rarer, uh, and we just hope that on this new level that they've just got down to 800 meters, that we carry on finding tanzanite. And like we keep saying, back in 2004, we did say it was a one-generation gemstone. And that was based on all of the geological and gemological resources that we had available at that time. Today, my belief, there's probably two or three more generations, but watch what's going to happen to the price as the costs keep escalating. Very, very, very exciting times here. Uh, we are uh, joined by um, Jake, our gem investor. Oh, my word. Good morning. What have you bought with you today? <laughs> this is a really, really special show. Um, I can't wait to, to, to be running through today's show with you. Um, good morning. I hope you're safe. I hope you're well. It's an absolute pleasure uh, to be with you here this Thursday morning as we have our what is now a weekly feature, yes. the Gem Guide Show. If I've never met you before, it's an absolute pleasure to do so this morning. My name's Jake, and I know nothing about jewellery making, uh, and I'm not a professional presenter. And so you would be well within your rights to say, well, why are you here on Jewellery Maker then? Who are you? And, and, and what are you doing here? Um, but my role here at Gemporia, what I lack in jewellery making knowledge, and I, I want to say thank you to so many of the community who have welcomed me in, into your wonderful community and, and actually given me some ideas about what, how I can begin my, my own jewellery making journey. What I hope to give you in return for that is it's my job as the Gemporia group, which now thankfully includes the jewellery maker team once more, it's my job as the Gemporia group's lead gemstone investor to, between myself and the wonderful team I work with, we're the people who are <coughs> going direct to the mines. We're the people who are working with the, with, with the people behind the gemstones, forging those relationships, forging those friendships that allow us, that enable us to cut out the middlemen. Mm. And that's how we bring such extraordinary value for money. There's no mi magical secret to it. it we, we just go further than anyone else in the trade is willing to, to be able to bring you incredible, extraordinary value. And I've been doing this, I've been Gemporia's gemstone investor now for a decade. And over that decade, I, I've built up an extensive global network of contacts. And I want to share that network with you. I want you to be able to reap the dividends of that decade-long building of an entire global network. But more than that, I've been in contact with some incredible people in the industry. Eddie Levian, the, 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 the patriarch of the Levian Jewelry House is a good friend of mine. And when I've become friends with these people, when I've met these people, 
I've realised that they aren't superhuman. That, that Eddie is incredibly talented, don't get me wrong. He's a good friend of mine, he's incredibly talented. But he's not magic. He, he, he's not this godlike being. That's the brand. But Eddie, the man, is just an incredibly talented, incredibly passionate individual. And I believe that you are too. And so the question that I found when I first got invited uh, to your wonderful community two months ago, the question I found myself asking is, how do you, because you have the same passion as Eddie, you have the same talents as Eddie, how do you become the next Levian brand? How does your jewellery hit that fine jewellery mark and, and make an impact on the wider jewellery industry? And as I reflected on this and reflected on the likes of Lawrence Graff and, and, and all these other titans in the industry, I found the answer to, to that question to be access. <clears throat> access to very fine quality gem material, access to very fine quality material at an affordable price, at trade pricing, or even lower if possible, and access really to the market information that, that gem investors and those who are in the trade have got access to, who are privy to. And I think if you have access to the gems, access to the pricing, and access to the knowledge base, then I see no reason why you can't craft extraordinarily fine pieces of jewellery that will, I, I passionately <coughs> believe, that the next, the next Boodles, the next great British designer is watching this programme today mm. and, is, and the only thing that they need to get through that door is access. And so I, I can't share with you any, any groundbreaking jewellery te making techniques, but we have a wonderful team of, get, of guest designers here to do that for you. My job is different. My job is to help you, guide you through the gem industry, which is constantly changing. I'm going to be sharing with you some of the tools that I use to, to navigate the, the ever-changing gemstone market. I'm going to be sharing with you books and publications, uh, some of them, one of them that I've got here today, only ever a hundred of these books were printed. I'm going to be sharing all that information with you because the jewellery industry 15 years ago was this closed, this closed community. Very few people could get in, and it was very much those in the know were exploiting the knowledge gap mm -hmm. and exploiting the many. Well, I want to flip it on its head. I want to invite you behind the curtain. Let's go and see what the Wizard of Oz really looks like. And with that, with that power, with that knowledge, empower you to be able to go and create fine jewellery. Now, I, I want to make one thing really clear. I'm not knocking the other types of jewellery. Costume jewellery, regular jewellery, fine jewellery, they all have their place. And in many ways, it, it's a journey. So you, you, shouldn't, you shouldn't try to skip straight to the fine jewellery phase. Going through the costume jewellery, learning and honing the techniques, then moving into the jewellery and learning and honing those techniques, and then evolving to the fine jewellery. They all have their place. Please don't think that just because I don't bring you those other things, it means that I, I, I'm derogatory about them. Absolutely not. They've all got their place. But now I want to give those of you who are ready access to the gems, to the pricing, and to the knowledge that enables you to craft fine jewellery. Now we're talking about, in this morning, we've got, we've got a few things coming up. Later on, I'm going to be bringing you a size and a source of amethyst that I can tell you now, as the gem buyers, the lead gemstone investor for the entire Gemporia group, we're not going to be able to bring you moving forward. Oh. Lusaka Emerald. I'm going to be talking about why that, that, that material is widely regarded as the finest on the planet, why we can't bring it moving forward and why this little selection is, is, is able to happen. In the, in the middle section, we've got an incredible, incredible deal of the day. I promised you this week we would launch a new gemstone with you and that is what we're doing in today's deal of the day. The most sensational, sensational material. I absolutely love this. It is I can't think of a gem that captures the moment more than this one. I'm really excited to launch this deal of the day with you. We've got a load of other gems. We've got Zavrite Garnet. We, we've got extraordinary uh, beryl. We've got a, a, a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful um, sapphire as well. That's absolutely top, 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 top great. A parcel, not one gem, a parcel, because I have some feedback. With you. Sometimes the loose gems uh, you know, are almost too elevated. I'm going to be yes. bringing you a, not j one gem, a parcel <coughs> of Cuba PD Opal. That's all coming up oh. in the show. But before we get to that point, I want to introduce you. I talked to you a moment ago about, you know, they have these icons in the gem world, these absolute titans. One of them is Tiffany & Co. 
we know Tiffany & Co, the, the, the little blue box jewelers, we could only aspire to have the kind of market recognition that they do. But Tiffany & Co's, really, Tiffany Co's modern day reputation is in part built on the fact that they were the jeweler that launched a gem to the world. And that gem was Tanzanite. Now, this is a gemstone, and I've got here a piece from our very own museum. Um, those of you who are interested in, in, in buying this piece, um, you'd have to call up the call centre, uh, and it's around about £40,000, but we'll, we'll, accept, we'll accept that if, you, if you've got it. Um, but not everything is going to be at that £40,000 tier. Do not worry. I'm only joking. This is museum. I probably would never sell this. Um, <laughs> I might be tempted at 40. Oh, Jake. <laughs> um, anyway, that's not what this show is about. This show is not about £40,000. Um, what I want to do with you, because there's so many rumours swirling around the Tanzanite gem market today. Yes. There's so many um, questions that you might have, Carol, Definitely. about Tanzanite. And so many questions you might have. Tom, I want to make this show the most interactive show oh. we've had of the time. So, so any and all messages, I want to, I want to see them. And, can I uh, any and all messages, let's have them live. I want this to be a real conversation between you and I as we For demystify sure. a gem that has become one of the most mysterious. Oh. It's surrounded in rumours. Isn't it? It, 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 it? And it's imperceptible. I remember, I, went to, I, I do some work with an American network, um, an American shopping channel, and I went there and I broke some news on that channel. And honestly, within five minutes, their legal team and two other gemologist who are also guests on that program yeah. came into the studio and said you're lying you have to stop I what? Said, I'm absolutely not they, they cut they, they cut they went to a break and they went you have to retract everything you've just said you, you've got nothing back up. I went, I've got my network I've been to Tanzania I took my wife on a honeymoon to the Tanzanite mine do not do that it's not an advice thing <laughs> um, it did not go down how I planned it to it, I can't oh, recommend no. that uh, but <laughs> I've been to this mine my, my, my connections there are so deep and I want to share with you Exa Do you know what happened after that? Oh, so so I, I went, no, no, I'm backing you. I know that this is to be true. We're c I'm, I'm coming back on air and I'm going to repeat it again. And it's absolutely the fact. <clears throat> three days later, I got messages off each one of the three people who tried to take me off air saying, I, I'm absolutely sorry, you were 100% right. I've just heard from my guy on the ground. <laughs> and, and all it was, they didn't have access that you are going to have access to today. And that is what this show is all about. So, Tanzanite. Oh. What is it? Let's go right back to the beginning. Yes. Because I think at the beginning, the characters at the beginning are essential to why we have the stone we have in today's show. So let me share with you what this gem is all about. I've prepared a very brief presentation. It's probably about five minutes, but I promise you at the end of the five minutes, you will not, all of your questions should be answered. And if they're not, message live on the show and I absolutely will answer them. So coming on to that presentation for you, what is this gem all about? Well, this is a gem that was mined back in, it was discovered in 1967. Now, it was discovered by Manuel de Souza. Mm -hmm. But the first geologist <coughs> on the ground, the person who identified it as zoocyte, because that's what Tanzanite is. Tanzanite is the gemological name for blue-violet zoocyte, which is the mineralogical name. Now, Tom, if we could... Um, if, if I could get the presentation um, that I, I prepared, uh, then take a look at this. So this is from um, Dr. Shidem Lula, who's one of the most, one of the most, the most decorated, one of the most uh, qualified authorities on gemstones in the gemstone world. And this is from an article that was published in the Gem Guide. Now, I'm going to talk more about this later on in the show, um, but this is essentially the gem investor's key tool um, in, their, in their arsenal. And in, in, this, in this article, Dr. Lula, she writes, Nowadays, a world without tanzanite would be inconceivable. <laughs> and she's right. It's so, it's so prolific, it's so impactful, this gem, that actually a world without tanzanite may seem completely inconceivable. But... It is not only inconceivable, it's actually highly probable in today's gemstone market. And here's why. Let's go right back to the beginning. I, oh, talked, wow. about, I talked about John Saul, um, who was the first geologist on the <coughs> ground. He was the one who, who first took these pieces. Now, I know John Saul. Um, John Saul and the Saul family in general are, are, are actually quite good friends of mine. So much so that although Tiffany & Co. launched this gem... I've got here original letters from over 50 years ago. Oh, my gosh. From the Smithsonian Museum. Oh, you're kidding me. And 
the original mining sketches, 50 years old, both of these documents, 50 years old, the original mine sketches of the Tanzanite claims. How do I have these here? In fact, you can see... Goodness me! This is original, this is 50 years so old. So this is how the mining area was divvied up? This is or? before block A, block B, block C, block D, before wow. any of oh that my came gosh. to pass. I'm just going to move this if I can, just to the desk, yeah, go for so it. we can really study this. Before any of this came to pass, this is the original, original oh mining gosh, claims. Oh my gosh, that's incredible. 50 years old. Uh, and what, there's a few things you can see here. Um, the first thing you can see is where is Manuel de Souza's claims? Uh, well, Manuel de Souza is here in the blue. Mm -hmm. So he, he's, he, he staked four claims really, really on. Uh, Cosmo de Souza, his son, in the orange here. Um, uh, and just another big player in it was Medini, and he's in the green there. Now, we today... Today, we know about block A, block B, block C, block D, but I mean, this is a map that was before Tanzania was even called Tanzania. At the time of this map being produced, it was called Tanganyika. Um, uh, 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 so it's, we're talking a really old artifact here. Gosh. Block C is, do you see this dotted line running up here, across here, yeah, yeah, yeah. and then down it? That's roughly today's block C. Wow. Block A, block B, block C, and then block D would be further up. We will come back to this, but the, qu the question you should be asking Gosh. is, how do I have it? Yes. How do I have this? Well, because when the Saul family were looking for a custodian of their legacy, what is their legacy? Tanzanite is their legacy. When they were looking for a custodian of their legacy, and I include in that the original documentation that I'm about to share with you, but also the gems we have in today's mm. show, both of those form part of their legacy, <clears throat> They looked around the gem world. They looked at Tiffany & Co, who have such a huge part to play in the story of this gem. But they chose us to be the guardians of their legacy because they knew we, we would tell the story properly. We would tell the story faithfully. And also, we would take their legacy and we wouldn't ask ourselves how high we can get away mm. with. We'd ask ourselves how low can we go to share the legacy of the Saul family, to share the legacy of this incredible gem, and that is what today's show is all about. Now, John Saul, first geologist on the ground, he writes to his father, who is one of the top brass at Saks Fifth Avenue, uh, which sits just opposite the street of the GIA headquarters, and he sends some samples off to his dad. He says, Dad, I think this is zoocyte. I've never, no one's ever seen zoocyte like this. I think it is. Can you get the GIA lab opposite your office to confirm? So his father, Hyman, goes off, goes and gets it tested. They confirm it as zoocyte. He says, OK, now Hyman uses his connections and he sits down with Henry Platt of Tiffany & Co. And they go out for lunch and they go out for lunch and they actually have steak for lunch. All of this, all of what I'm sharing with you, I've heard firsthand from John Saul and Mark Saul. That's how I know that the, when, the, the meal over which the name Tanzanite was decided was a steak lunch in New York City. Wow. And... And so the Saul family, right at the beginning, were at the heart of everything they did. Now, remember what I've said. Coming up in this show, just a few moments' time, I'm going to bring you up to speed with what's happening in today's Tanzanite market because I think it's fair that everyone understands. We're all starting from the same level playing field. All the myths are debusted, all the facts are established, and then we go into the Tanzanite. But these stones are from the Saul family. And that makes them incredibly special because I've got here the original letter sent from the curator of the Smithsonian Museum back in 1968. Wow. And I want to share this with you. You can see here, Dear Mr. Saul, the complete story and occurrence of the ultimate distribution of all the zoocyte from Tanzania, they hadn't even decided it was Tanzania mm. at that point, would certainly be fascinating. So you can see the Smithsonian immediately are really interested in it. But this is what I love. This is from the curator of the Smithsonian Museum, and he says this. The best of it, that is the best of the Tanzanite the Smithsonian has, the best of it we have came from your son, John, and he, al and he also, uh, sorry, came from your son, and he has been wonderful about getting it into our hands. Oh, wow. The best Tanzanite the Smithsonian had at the time of that, right, that, that letter came from the Saul family, the same source you are about to have access to. Now, as we wind, wind forward, you, we, we know that later on, 
the Tanzanian government wanted to get in on the action. They wanted, to, wanted to recoup quite a lot of money from their natural treasure. And, and I'm not trying to say that in a derogatory way. Done properly, beneficiation is an absolutely right thing. And what they decided to do was divide the mining claims up. They didn't do it right at the beginning of the 60s. They actually did it decades on. And so by the time they came to doing this, um, essentially the Tanzanite seam does not sit a neat 800 metres beneath the earth. That's not how it works. If you imagine, if you imagine this red book, is, is, is the, uh, it, it marks about one kilometre under the surface. The Tanzanite seam is actually like that. It's sloping downwards along. And so it's much easier if you're mining at this section, because you only have to go down a few metres, as opposed to this section where you have to go down a thousand metres to get to the Tanzanite crystal. By the time the Tanzanian government started to act in this, in this way, some of the material had already been exhausted. Now, Block A and Block B are at the, 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 the shallower end. So mm -hmm. by the time the Tanzanian government had acted, <clears throat> Block A and Block B had already essentially, what were, would be now known as Block A and B, they were essentially mined out, they were done, they were finished. But there were lots of artisanal miners, you have to remember artisanal miners were the key players mm -hmm. really in the early days of this. And so the Tanzanian government came along and they said, right, do you know what we're going to do? We're going to take now the lowest hanging fruit. And they established Block C to be a single mining entity, now known as Tanzanite 1. And you can see, not all the blocks aren't made equal. Mm. Block C actually takes up about 50% of the entire known area where Tanzanite has ever been produced. About 75% of the entire currently producing area. They established that as their own, and all the artisanal miners were left to go to Block D. And... I don't want to talk on behalf of the Tanzanian government. I suspect that's because they assumed Tanzanian um, artisanal miners wouldn't have the technical know-how to mine a thousand metres underground and get the stones out. So they thought it was quite a safe bet. Put them all to the part where, where it's really hard to mine and the stones will still be there for generations to come. Mm. They massively underestimated human ingenuity because... What I've got for you here, you see, this is, so all this is a single mine, this is mm -hmm. Tanzanite 1, and then here, this is covered by hundreds if not thousands of artisanal miners. Now, I've got an aerial photo to show you this, di this kind of difference. Um, you can see Block C and Block D were not equal in the map. So we're only looking here about half, maybe a quarter of Block C, and then the entirety of Block D. But really, the key things to notice here, where is the mine for Block C? Mm -hmm. Well, it's actually slightly off camera, annoyingly. Um, but it's all underground. So you've got a big mining complex around about here, just off, just off frame, around about here, big mining complex, and then the tunnels it go underground and extend out across the whole claim. Notice in block D, you've got a completely opposite picture. You've got hundreds, hundreds of independent artisanal, two or three man teams, each operating claims all the way through. And this is the case. This is what the, 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 the entire mining area looked like as of around about three years ago. Then we come to the modern day and the situation has changed dramatically. Um, you can see here, the Tanzanian government, the first thing that the Tanzanian government did is they, well, actually, let me come back a step if I could before I come to that point. The first thing the Tanzanian government did is they sent in the army hmm. and they built a wall around the entire, not Block C, not just a bit they're part owners of, the entire Tanzanite mining operation, built a wall around the entire thing. They then had their military man the wall, so it's not a privately run wall, it's the government are running the wall, and so every stone that's mined out of the ground today goes through a military checkpoint so that, so that all the taxes and everything be paid properly, fine. They also, so Tanz, it's fair to say the Tanzanian government controls all stones to be mined. Absolutely a fair statement. They're also conscious of wanting to control all the stones that have been mined already. And so the Central Bank of Tanzania, if you think of the Bank of England, exactly the same thing, but the Bank of Tanzania, they were instructed to set up a fund and buy pretty much every Tanzanite stone still in Tanzania. So the Tanzanian government didn't just want to control all the Tanzanite in the ground, they wanted to control all the Tanzanite above the ground as well. And they're not doing this so that they can offer you great value. <laughs> That's not why a government goes to all this extent. <laughs> They're doing this for price control, pure and simple. Then, then, the, then the Tanzanian government, now you have to remember Block C being the most mechanised block, being the most <coughs> significant block, Block C controls, dominates the global production of this gem. 
the Tanzanian government suspended Tanzanite operations. They closed the biggest mine of Tanzanite. Now, they, 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 they'll have their reasons for that. That's absolutely fine. I'm not contesting that. But the fact is, as I stand here today, the world's biggest Tanzanite mine has shut. And so we all have the question of, OK, well, who's doing the mining then? Because if it's not the biggest mine, what's the state of play in Block D? How many miners, how many mines are operating Block D? Because we saw hundreds just a moment ago, mm. hundreds of those mines. Mm -hmm. I asked Mark Saul who is the third generation. You've got Highland Saw, who, who was uh, at Saxford Avenue, John Saw, first geologist on the ground, and now Mark Saw is East Africa's most premier miner carrying the family flag. I asked Mark Saw a really direct question. I'm going to have him share the answer to you here. Um, because remember Dr. Lula, right at the beginning of this, Dr. Lula said, a world without Tanzanite would be inconceivable. Well, <clears throat> this is what he said. I said, how many mines are currently operating? Mark said two or three what? out of those hundreds of mines that we just saw. And so today's collection, the Saul family collection, the Tanzanite from the same, the same family that we heard the Smithsonian Museum saying, oh, well, that is, you know, that, 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 that is the, the, the finest that we have our hands on. Um, that is, when I say moving forward, we aren't gonna be, I've got some really exciting things planned for you. Nothing like this. I can't do something like this. And therefore, Tom, I made a promise to the Saul family that we, would, we wouldn't ask crazy prices for this material. We could, but we're not going to. I made a real promise to the Saul family. That's why they've entrusted their legacy for us today. So in today's show, you're not going to get today's market value. Even in the trade, wholesale value of these Tanzanite stones, I'm going to give you the pre-war pricing that the Saul family enabled us to deliver. This is, this is such an amazing moment, Carol. Some of these stones are years old. I am absolutely blown away by, by the first one. This is only the first one, Jake. Colour. You know, with yeah. all colour gemstones, you want to go for colour over clarity. But when you've got colour and clarity together in a tanzanite like this... And these are big stones. They are in... Oh, my now, gosh. I want to say something right here. I know a lot of people find the A grading really helpful. I personally don't. My advice is one gem buyer to another is judge the stone. Forget the letters, because anyone could put whatever letters they want. Judge the stone. Because is this a double A gem? Oh my gosh! Absolutely not. Not in my view. Um, I always say buy the stone in front of you, not, not the certificate. Absolutely. Um, Tom, oh. let's go straight down, please, on this one. £329 oh, wow. on this one. Oh, my god! For over two and a half carats. See, we haven't got anything else this kind of size. Um, best of luck. We oh, wow. I don't mind telling you, the grading on this is absolutely off, because... The, oh. the, the, this is not this is not a double A gemstone. No. Um, Penny, uh, good morning, Penny. My favourite show uh, of the week. Oh, bless you, that's really kind. <laughs> I wouldn't miss it for the world. Thank you for your knowledge and expertise. Oh. Um, Penny, thank you for your wonderful welcome to your oh. community. It's the least I can do. Um, can you... And this is why I say, ignore. You're starting with a two and a half carat uh, stone with that colour. <laughs> I know, exactly. Um, and and it's, not, uh, it's not double A. It's not. When I go to a gem show... I do not listen, whatever the gem dealer's telling me, and they say, oh, you know, this is, <sighs> this is AAA, AA, quad A material. It, it's all irrelevant to me. I look at the stone and I make the judgment based on the gem. And that's what you should oh. do today. Uh, because we've said AA uh, uh, on the graphics for whatever reason. Um, I'm saying ignore that. Ignore, I know the grading system helps us, but it's, the grading system is there for if you haven't got the tools to judge the stone yourself. That's what I'm here to do, to help you judge those stones. In many ways, I'm the replacement for the AA system, the, the grading system. We're going to judge these stones in turn. Oh, oh. We're going to ask ourselves, is the colour, is the colour moderate oh, or is the colour vivid? Because that's the difference between AA and AAA. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my God. Okay, Tom, gosh. on this one, um, let's go... How much it cost us to make sauce? Okay, yeah, let's go straight down then. £399. I have, ne uh, Jake, I have never seen gemstones like this in my entire life. This is absolutely knockout. Three, nine, 
nine. Set into jewellery, Jake. Can you even imagine well, this the is, kind of potential this, is the, this, this is the would kind have? Of, this is the kind of jewellry that Tiffany set. One hundred percent. That's what this material is about. Huge congratulations, those of you who are getting it. This kind of material in the trade, it's around about six hundred dollars a carat in the trade today. Oh. Today's market value is around about six hundred dollars a carat for this kind of material. And um, you can go to any gem show, uh, and that's what you that's what you'll be finding as you walk around those halls. Well I've done, huge well done. I've still got one of those left just to let you know, but Kathleen's taken the first one. I've got Marion Melanie. Huge well done, Kathleen. Collector. With, with gemstones like this, Jake, I bet you, I bet, I can imagine there's lots and lots of people out there who would, who would love to own one of these, but yes. I can imagine there's lots of people out there as well. Once they get it, what are they going to do with it? I mean, well, that, that's, that's is this something you just keep in a safety deposit box? So, is so it? Some, people, some people just buy it to invest. Um, I know a lot of people do that. Mark Saul has talked about that extensively. I want to be really clear. I'm not trying to offer financial advice there. I'm just explaining mm. it. I'm not qualified to because you have to be a world of algorithms and spreadsheets, which I can't imagine anything more boring than. <laughs> um, that's not what I'm trying to do here. I'm just trying to show you what the Oh, what, what the options gosh. are um, a lot of people are just putting away for a few years yes and then really spending just oh. spending that time working out what piece of jewelry they're going to craft out of it and then they go and make their signature their you know their masterpiece um, out, out of this material um, oh. Tom let's go straight down on this one um, 259 pounds oh wow and now every single <clears throat> piece in the show is going to be certified Every single piece is going to be certified um, for you. Uh, you don't have to pay additional for that. Um, during these Gem Guide shows, that's Thursday, 10 till 1, everything you get comes with an authenticity certificate. Why? Because when I go to the Gem shows, I've seen certificates of authenticity go as high as $7,000 oh, wow. at a Gem show. Someone paid $7,000 for the certificate alone um, at, at a gem show there is huge value in yes. the certification of gems and that's why yeah, during my shows um, i'm going to offer authenticity tips with everything you don't have to do anything um, it automatically comes are these pieces cut in in india or are they cut in tanzania and um, um, no so these pieces are cut in in jaipur um, in India, uh, and, and that's where about 90% of the world's uh, Tanzanite is cut. Some yeah. of it works its way to New York to be cut, oh, some to Idar okay. Oberstein to be cut. The Tanzanian government are trying to get cut at source yes. um, in place, which, oh if it gosh. happens, will be a great thing for the Tanzanian people. The problem is the way the government are going about it. it it's that old age story of great intentions, poor <clears> execution. <throat> Absolutely. Um, th there is, oh my word, oh wow. my word. This is even better. The blue. This is the most vivid blue oh. we have seen all show. And oh. Do you know why this is so rare? To Go get on. this blue. So the way this gem naturally wow. forms is that you get blues down this axis. Yeah. You get the purples down this axis. Now, if you wanted to maximise your yield as a gem cutter, you cut the oval along mm. the length. Of course. But that brings out more of the purples. That's why we often see purple today. If you want to get the pure blue that you're seeing in this one, you have to orientate the crystal this way. Oh, gosh. Cut the oval there, but you sacrifice so much gem weight as a result. Absolutely. But take a look at the blues. This is what the rare sacrifice. So few people are willing to do it. The Saul family are pioneers of this. That's why this is more blue than any time I brought you. So, 379. The colours are, I mean, the. That's the most. Pure blue material. But there's turquoise we've seen. in there. There's there's cobalt blue. There's navy blue. It's beautifully a, cut. A stunning piece. Um, Sue, cool. I can't get my hands on this material anymore. This. Yeah. We will bring you tanzanite moving forward. I don't know when. I'll be really honest oh, with you. I've got gosh. some exciting gems planned. None of them are tanzanite for the next couple of months. We w but I will try and open up our tanzanite vault for, for, for jewelry maker here. But I don't mind telling you this. We haven't got Saul. This is Saul family material. Yeah, you'll, yeah, you'll see. Yeah. You'll notice it. The tanzanite I've got is beautiful, but it's a reflection of today's gemstone market. This is not today's gemstone market. This is from the Saul family, and in many ways, we're just the oh. we're just the people gently passing it on to you, uh, direct from the Saul family. Huge congratulations if you're acquiring any of these pieces. So, so if if tanzanite is arguably becoming becoming rarer, you know, we've just yeah. seen that. You know, the main mine is 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 looks like it's no longer operational when were these gemstones mined how many years ago are we talking so, so, 10 years ago so, so are we this, talking... this material could be mined roughly about 15 
15 to 17, 18 oh. years old, potentially mm. as, as old as that. Wow. It's been in, we've worked with the Saw family and Beautiful. we acquired these gems. Oh. It's been in our vault. It's been sat in my vault since 2014, 2013. Wow. So oh it's been gosh. in our collection for six, seven years. Um, Tom, how much does this cost the source? Let's go straight down, 379 on this amazing, amazing piece. Julie, well done. Huge congratulations. Again, top, top blues coming from this. That's over two and a quarter carats of tanzanite. That's amazing. Yeah. Over two and a quarter carats. And I remember being, being back over at Gems TV and bringing pieces to air. Obviously, they were one-off pieces. They were part of the Larique collection back then, set into 18 karat gold, but they would be one-off pieces. Yeah. These, are, these are of that calibre. Well, no, 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 this is it's from the same vault. It's from the exact same oh, vault. Oh, wow. So we, we've, not, we've not gone, oh, it's a different grade for Larique in here. We, the, the Larique collection is born from either myself or Steve have to hand select the stone and go, that's going to Larique. And we've done that for a, yes. for a large parcel. These Saw family tanzanites have come out of those selections. So in years to come, these may have been made into Lariques. Instead, today, Larique is, and, and for those of you who don't know, I apologise, Larique is the most premium brand that oh. the sister channel Gems TV offers. So we're talking starting price of £1,000 and up to around about £30,000. That's the kind of calibre of jewellery that we're talking about. And this is your access to oh. go and make that type of jewellery right now. This has got some beautiful violets in there. Yeah, absolutely beautiful. Um, lovely player chrism coming from this one. Tom, um, let's go £169. Wow, goodness me. Some beautiful violets in there. Kind of Liz Taylor eyes uh, kind of colour. It's absolutely astonishing. Yeah. The well colour done. just pops beautifully. Massive congratulations, uh, Judith, and a collector in Renfrewshire. Well done to you, my lovely. So what, what's happening here, most of these pieces are your, the, the stone you're seeing is the one you're going to get. If yes. not, it's a sister stone, so they're paired up. Maybe we were thinking of making earrings about, with them at the time. So the quality you're seeing is what you're going to get home. It's from the Saw family collection. And how can you tell that? What's your mark? Notice the quality of cutting in every single piece. Yes. Oh, and I can't is, stress this enough. This is really lovely. The A-grade system, I, I don't buy with it. If it was up to me, I've actually argued for about six <laughs> years unsuccessfully over at Sister Channel Gems to get away, do away with the grading system. I think it distracts people. I think mm. I, I, I get do. it. If you're, welcome, if you're into the, new to the Tanzanite world and you haven't got anyone helping advise you on what, what is good and what is bad, yes. the A system has, has its merits, definitely. That, that's why Gempori developed it 15 years ago. But... But you are in danger of not buying this stone, you're in danger of buying the grading system. Absolutely. Aren't you? Com com Carrie, you've just said it perfectly. Yeah. Because look really at this. This, now, this is a beautiful is a stone. Bespoke this one. cut, you've got an yes. elongated oval yes. here. Very, very rare to find. Let's I go straight down, that. £169. Whoever gets hold of this one, you're going to be able to make a really unique piece of jewelry. But oh. look at the quality of cutting. Yes. The quality of cutting here is extraordinary, extraordinary quality. Wow. That's a really, really interesting cut. I've never seen a Tanzanite Now, like I don't that. want anyone thinking that this show is a really exclusive show and you're not going to be able to get involved in it. We've got, <laughs> literally, we've got price points right the way through the whole spectrum. <laughs> yeah. uh, but then we're opening with this Saw Family Vault. Now, what, what, what is Tanzanite here at Jewelry Maker? What, 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 what's the future of? Well, I asked Tom, I asked Tom, who's producing today, I asked him, I went, scour the vaults, find me a Tanzanite strand. And do you know what he said? He couldn't find one. He said, he found, sorry, let me retract that actually. Um, it's not quite 100% true. Tom said he found a couple that have one or two in stock. <laughs> so just, you can't even bring them to air. There's not <laughs> enough available. You can maybe find them on the web if you're lucky. Um, I had to bring a necklace over from Gems mm. that, would, that I'm essentially oh I'm going to advise gosh. you to cut up and use the stones in, because it was the only way I could bring you a strand of tanzanite. Oh. Look, look, we're out. We have emptied the vaults. Wow. Beautiful. This is a Range. real step up again. Yes. Um, slap bang on the nose to carrot. Beautifully cut. How do you, so much tanzanite. Uh, Carol, um, I'm talking to Mark, by the way, about getting, uh, getting, bringing you and a couple of the others um, to gem shows um, moving forward in the future. Yes, please. But I promise you, when you go there, you'll see all the tanzanite of this kind of size in the market. Mm. It's poorly cut. There's windows. You can see it, 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 it's, it's just... It's really poor material. And is that because people are going for carrot weight, cutting for exactly what carrot weight over beauty? A hundred percent. Because yeah. the, 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 do you know what? We're going to go straight down. Three hundred seventy-nine pounds oh, for the most phenomenal. perfectly oh, cut tanzanite. Look at that. It, it, I'd say I'm going to say it's the most perfectly cut oval tanzanite I've seen in at least six months. That is astonishing. At least six months of in the trade. I, I see. 
thousands of tanzanite stones these every are week. These are engagement uh, and rings. And the cutting is just extraordinary. Uh, this is oh. super fine jewellery. Super Isn't it fine just jewelry. This is the kind of legacy. jewelry that, that if you go to the Tiffany Co site or, or, or any oh. of the big names, Bulgaria, or whoever it might be, you'll see they POA. have their jewelry section and then they have a separate section, fine jewelry. And it's this kind of stone that's featuring in the fine jewelry. Well, anyone who's acquiring Saul Family Tanzanite, oh, well Jake, done. Jake, the colour on this is insane. Oh. The colour is, is beyond belief. Okay, if you ever wanted proof, if you ever wanted proof <laughs> to ignore the A's on screen. Totally. Here you go. This is it, this is what I'm talking about. I told you right at the beginning of the show, we're all gonna ignore <sighs> the A grading system wow. because it just doesn't make sense. The way the A grading system oh works is this. Gosh. It's essentially, it, it, it's, it, it's a descriptor <gasps> in, the world, in the world of Tanzanite. So if you would use the word moderate to describe this color, <laughs> then it's double A grade. Yes. If you would use the word intense yes. to describe this color, then it is triple A. If you would use the word vivid to describe the color, it's quad A. That's, that's literally how the grading system works. So ask yourself oh, right now, wow. are you grading this as moderate. I tell you, I, I, I want this. Because if you are, it's double A. If you use an intense or vivid, it's triple or quad. Uh, Tom, let's go straight down. People are buying the stone, not the grading system. You get it now. You understand it. £389. That is perfection. Heather and Middlesex, you have got impeccable taste. And I have to say, and, if that didn't go on the live show, uh, I'm, I, I was going to buy that after the show. Love it. You can see, that's from this section of the crystal, isn't it? 100%. That's, cu that, that's cutting along. So the, the way they describe it is, that's the A axis. Wow. That's the A axis yes. along that length. Along this length. That, by the way, that's a natural face. We didn't cut this. That, that just happened Stunning. to form with this perfectly flat face like that. Um, this is the B axis. So the length, longer axes are A and B. And they always cut across the A and the B axis because that maximizes carrot weight. This axis Gosh, that's is really called difficult. the C-axis. And when you cut across the C-axis, my goodness me, that's where the color is maximized. But so few people do it yes. because you sacrifice so much carrot weight. Yes, I can imagine it being so much more challenging to cut. Well, it's, the, 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 the challenge with it is that it's pure economics. It's pure economics. In the marketplace, people go, oh my gosh, I love that stone. But the guy in the booth next to you, because oh. if you're at a gem show, imagine hundreds of Tanzanite dealers yes. all next to each other. And the challenge is pure economics. You go, oh my gosh, the blues are amazing. But the guy in the booth next door's got it for this for $100 a carat less. So I'm going to go and buy the lower grade. And that's basically how this happened. Um, Tom. Another stunning gem. We just dipped under two carats. Um, I don't know who's going to be successful. 159. Wow. Absolutely phenomenal. And of course, I mean, you haven't even touched on this, Jake, but the, but the romance surrounding this gemstone, the kind of the, the ideology surrounding this gemstone, the one generational gemstone, a gem of new beginnings, it's such a powerful gem in that respect it, 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 as well, isn't it? In terms of impact on the gem trade, I can't think of a stone Definitely. that's had greater impact. No. And you're getting it. The, the great thing oh. about this collection specifically, and I want to be really clear, it doesn't mean all Tanzanite I bring you is from this family. I of will course. let you know at the beginning of the show if it is it or if it isn't. But you are getting, this show, you are getting Tanzanite from the Saul family collection. You're getting Tanzanite from the same place the Smithsonian Museum go and get their Tanzanite from. Which is just incredible oh, to be able to say. Beautiful. As a jeweller, if you make any Tanzanite jewellery pieces, as a jeweller to be able to say, look, well, I work with Tanzanite from the Saul family collection. That elevates <gasps> your entire collection. That, wow. that, that elevates your entire jewellery line. And you're not saying, you know, I'm not saying mislead anyone. I, I'm saying, you mm. be really clear. Disclosure, is, uh, disclosure and trust is absolutely key to the jewellery industry. But be clear and be like, look, I'm not saying every Tanzanite in my jewellery collection is like this, but this stone here is from the Saul oh, family vault. Goodness me. Right, Tom, let's go. £349, please. Beautiful. The blues here are amazing. It's, it's the pedigree, the pedigree these gemstones have. And yeah. and if you're if you're if you're doing something like you're buying a you're buying a really beautiful sports car or something, you're buying the pedigree. Has it raced at the Le Mans 24 hour? You know, who's driven it? Who's owned it? With these with these Tanzanites, it's so much more than just the Tanzanite. It's the pedigree. It's, it's the legacy. It's provenance. the heritage. It's exactly what it is. P provenance wow. has a huge, huge amount of value in the gem world. And the great thing about it oh, is it's net provenance. The, the value of provenance has never been higher. It's going... The gem world, the gem world, the GIA tried to impose the four C's on the gem world. 
making value all about the gemstone itself. But even the GIA recently have had to say, okay, provenance really has to start mattering now. Yes. That's why for the first time oh. ever, the GIA last year announced that they were going to start certifying the country of origin on diamonds. They've never offered that before because they wanted to make it all about the stone, but even they've had to go, okay, the gem market, the, 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 the customer and the client and the gem market is valuing provenance more than ever before. Oh my goodness me, the oh, blues. No, that's this, coll this collection, I I'm going to bring you Tanzanite moving forward, but I don't mind telling you, it's probably going to be cut along an A or a B axis. It's going to have more violets in. It's going to be beautiful. But this Saul family collection is pure, pure blue. Tom, let's go straight down, £249. And, and if you want to, I'm, I'm going to address this really directly. You, you can see that the pricing per carat varies quite a lot. Mm. Well, that's because the Saul family, when we bought this from them, when, when they handed this collection to us, they said, look, the blues are the most valuable. They're the ones that you don't see in the marketplace. You know, today, in today's gem market, you're looking at about $600 a carat. Mm. So for a two carat stone, you're talking $1,200, it's about 950 pounds for the blues, just for those blues. And that's why, yes, okay, I appreciate there's a bit of variance in the show, I wanna handle that straight away. But it's because the blues carry such a high amount of value. Yes. And either way, the one thing I can promise you is that value for money against the market in today's oh pricing. Oh my gosh, it's just it, it's it's consistent right the way through. <laughs> yes, isn't it? Just this one here is really really interesting. You've got quite a deep gemstone. Um, the the pavilions on the gemstone are very very deep on this gem. You look at the colour. Beautiful tone. So, Carol, that's a, this is exactly the kind of thing you don't see in today's gem market. Yeah. So what you'll often find is, and the reason for this, by the way, is because in the Tanzanite good days, yeah. the, the cutting houses were the cutting houses in the good days when there were lots of Tanzanite rough available, the cutting houses kind of went, right, okay, we'll buy it all, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through it and just cut the stuff that's easy to cut bring that to market and turn that into quick money. Now they can't go get that rough anymore. They have to go back to their rejected material and go, okay, well, how can we get a cut gem out of this? And what that sometimes means is that the, the, the pavilions are really shallow, shallow. Uh, which creates a lot of windowing, or they're Close. uneven. Yeah. I'll, I'll try and bring you in a future show, I'll try and bring you an uneven one, not to sell, just to show you. It's like ski slopes. It looks like a <laughs> ski slope. Uh, and, and when you come with me to a gem show, Funny. you'll hear me say to a tan like, I'll, I'll be like, I've won, Tom, sorry, 159 pounds. Uh, Thank you for your trust. People bought that before I'd even said the price. That's why I've gone really low on that, um, be because I'm rewarding your trust, essentially. Um, I I I've turned around to Tanzanite dealers before and said, look, I can't buy this. I could ski on the stone. I could ski because it does look like a skiing slope. It's, it it's all it's wonky. Kind of it's this. asymmetrical. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's not the kind of... You look at the cutting on this, it's flawlessly it cut It really material. is. It really is. I mean, I can't even imagine how long a, a, a lapidus would have had to have been cutting gemstones for to be kind yeah. of let loose, if you like, on a gemstone of this kind of quality. This is a pear yeah. cut. It's a pear cut, and I can also, for, for the first time since the very first piece of the show, oh. we also have quantity, <laughs> okay? Well, I, realize, I realize we're getting excited about having five, but relatively speaking, we have oh, quantity gosh. of this. No, I'm gonna no say this, way. I'm gonna say it one time for no you. No way. One carat stone, no we're gonna way. break 100 pounds. 89.95. Oh, you are kidding. Why? Look at it! Look at it! 89.95. Tom, honestly, mate, I, I, that is a pear cut. One of the most romantic cuts. One of the most wasteful and, cuts and for any gemstone. And the colour is so consistent right the way oh, through the gem. stunning. In a pear cut, you often find sometimes, you sometimes in a, in a pear cut, you'll often find the colour is inconsistent throughout the gem because they, 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 they've not been able to cut to perfection. Blue right the way through. Huge congratulations. Absolutely phenomenal. Oh, just so everyone's clear, it is 89, don't worry. <laughs> that is absolutely phenomenal. Okay, um, next one. Oh, these pieces are so beautiful. Honestly, I'm looking at all of these and thinking, I really, 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 really want these. You want to buy which one? Oh, Tom, gee whiz. Okay, right, let's move on now to... Another beautiful um, uh, Tanzanite, oval this time. Yeah. This one's really, really lovely. I say, I say a little bit smaller, it's still 95 points. Yeah. 
You know, these are these and that's are a guaranteed big. minimum. I, w I want to be really clear here. That's a guaranteed minimum. If you get this home, the average mm. amongst the uh, amongst this mm. lot is mm. actually over a carat is 1.05. Yes. But when I certified for it, I want it to be a guaranteed minimum. Um, okay, that last price was a little bit crazy. We're not allowed to do that going forward. <laughs> um, let's go back to the to the real world now. Um, Tom, how much does cost the source? Okay, let's go. Let's go 199. Goodness me. Look at the blues and, though. The, and the, the saturation of the blues, that's the, that's the reason why. Because actually, when you get this level of blue in a smaller stone, it's even rarer. What do I mean by that? So getting the, acquiring this level of blue in a two, a three, a five carat stone is hard to get. But the saturation is basically how long has the light stayed in the stone. Yeah. So, so saturation of color is, is a combination of two things. It is how long has the light been in the stone to absorb that color, and how much is that color zoning strength within the gem material itself. In the smaller stones, the light journey is smaller, of course so it it's is, got yeah. less time to absorb all those beautiful saturations. That's why this material is absolutely a premium. 95 points for, for, for 200 pounds. Huge Amazing. congratulations to anyone who's successful. D give us an idea. In the marketplace, Jake, how much, how much do you reckon this would retail for? Okay, Tom, um, I'm going to make a loss on this one. What? Um, let's go 159. Okay. I don't look. <laughs> I promised Mark Saul we would share his Kathleen's legacy. Kathleen's bought two. She's going to be making earrings almost, almost definitely. Uh, uh, two of this one. Mm. Oh my gosh. Um, well, you, you, that's probably the savviest <laughs> buy of the show. I don't, I don't mind telling you that. Wow. I, I really don't mind telling you that. We, we, we're making a loss on that one. That's fine. Gorgeous. I mean, these are the kind of tanzanites which set into jewellery. A, I'd, I'd almost, and this is what we said with them. When we had Charlie on the show last Friday, you know, when he had the beautiful South Sea pearls and the Tahitians, and we yeah. were saying, you know, these are the kind of pearls that you really, you really have to, uh, you know, get valued for insurance purposes, not just to, I would recommend because that. you're curious, but for insurance purposes. I, Sorry, I, Tom, I, I would definitely never. recommend that. And if you're going to go down that route, and um, my advice to you, because I've recently had a bit of a debate with the head of the insurance body, um, is don't tell them how much you pay. Yes, 100%. Tell them it was a gift, and you, you, you're just asking for the replacement value of oh. that grade of stone. The reason for that is legally insurers aren't allowed to, appraisers aren't allowed to value something for higher than you paid for it. Oh, that's so ridiculous. if you let them know, oh do you know what, if you let slip how much you paid for it, I can tell you now that is what your valuation <gasps> is going to be. It's not going to be a true reflection of the market value of the gem. Everything Jake was just talking about, about the um, slightly smaller stones and the blue and retaining the blue is, is a symbol and a kind of like a hallmark of the quality of the gem that you're getting. Tom, Everything applies to this gem here. Match this the price for me, please, mate. I, 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 know, <clears throat> I know it's not exactly what you want wow. to hear um, from, from a numbers perspective. Uh, oh, but, but goodness look, me. Look at this. It's, it's the fairest thing I can do here. The quality of the blue is exactly this the is same, astonishing. so I'm going to match the quality of price. Well done. Wow. Well done. Kathleen, you are... I wonder if Kathleen is in the trade. I don't know. She's she's coming through to get a lot of these. And can I just say, Jake, at these prices as well, if you do get these pieces valued, they're not going to come back. They're not going to come oh, back no, into stock. Oh, my goodness me. You should send a money back guarantee. Go <laughs> yeah. and get it valued. Absolutely. And, and, then, and, and I'd love to know who's made the biggest amount of saving compared to the valuations oh. in today's show. Wow, wow, wow. Love these pieces. If you share your valuation, by the way, I'll pay for it. Um, if, if you share your valuation and we use it on screen, I'll pay for your valuation oh. for you. That's, Thanks, Jake. that's how confident I am that you're <laughs> going to be happy. Because the moment you go and get your valuation, you're going to be so happy. Share it with me, and, and, and if, I'm happy, if, you're, if you're happy for me to use it on screen, I'll pay for it. I've, I've, I've never heard of anybody being disappointed with their valuation. Gosh, look at this colour! Um, Tom. Five. Got another five. Okay, let's do the fairest thing we can do. Um, let's go. How much does cost us the source? Let's oh go 79.95. Oh, these prices are just, they are, abs they are so low. Every single item pretty much has sold out. Um, what a day. What a day. Can you believe? 79 well, um, From the Saw family vault. Now, I, oh, I've been really clear providence. with you here this, this morning. Um, I can't guarantee this quality moving forward. I've been really clear about a few things. First of all, ignore the grading system. It just doesn't make sense. Um, I, I hope instead I want to teach you how to judge the stones yourself um, so that you don't need the grading system anymore. The grading totally. system is a crutch, but I'm here to teach mm -hmm. you to walk in the land of valuing and judging Tanzanite. You don't need that crutch anymore. Uh, the second thing is I can't bring you tan Saul family Tanzanite every single time. It's just not. Uh, no. it, it, it's from a really exclusive vault, and, and that vault is, oh, this it, is, it, is ours now. Oh, this is such a beautiful little... Uh, this is a, an absolute beauty. This is bang on. 
half a carrot. Take a look oh, at this one. Oh, this is a gorgeous, oh look really at that. Really workable color. size as well. You don't have to be intimidated by this size anymore. For sure. Um, right, Tom, do you know what? I've just done about a hundred pound a carrot on that last piece. Let's do the same. I know it's a little bit bonkers. $49.95. Wow. This, this is how the gem world works, by the way. It doesn't, you don't pay a price per piece, very rarely <laughs> in the gem world. You pay um, a price per carrot. And so someone will, someone will go right for the oh, whole parcel, it's 100 connections. a carat. And so that makes this stone a 50 pound oh, stone. And um, good luck getting involved. Yeah, you can really see the pinks in there, can't you, Ollie? Um, the, 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 those secondary colours, lovely cornflower colours as well. That is absolutely beautiful. That's pretty, yeah, it's sold out. Well done. And I just want to clarify something now. I said someone in the gem trade will say 100 a carat. Very rarely in the trade will you see tans and I like this at 100 a carat. That was a hypothetical number. Yes. It, wasn't, it wasn't an actual indication of what you could get in the trade. And the reason I say that is because I don't want Carol and Tom and the team from here from Jewelry Maker, when I take them to a gem show, walking around going, oh, the tan site's all really expensive. I'm looking for that 100 a carat <laughs> material. Um, it, it's, very, it's really not out there. <laughs> right. Oh! Trillions. So, this is, when they launched oh. Tanzanite like, for the world, it wasn't launched at the Tiffany & Co flagship store in New York. They just opened oh. a store in San Francisco. Oh. And that's where Gosh. they chose to launch this, this material on, just off Grant Avenue. And what cut did it have? <gasps> it had a trillion oh, cut. Take a look. You are looking at this Tanzanite as this gem was launched to the world back in 1969. Oh. Um, Tom... Let's go 149 pounds. Oh, wow. Wow. Two available. Earrings. Oh my gosh, a pendant and a ring. The Trillion cut, again, another beautiful, but very, very wasteful cut. Two available. You think pendant to you, Ollie? It's uh, honestly 149.95. Huge, huge. Well done. Wow. Uh, I don't mind sharing with you a little uh, discussion that Tom and I have just had discussion, in my ear. Discussion, uh, Jake. I think it's more Tom, of an Tom, argument. Tom really actually you. wanted that piece. Um, uh, and so <laughs> Tom, Tom's really disappointed that I've got, I went to 149 because it meant it would sell out <laughs> before he had a chance after the show oh. to pick one of those up. Huge, huge. Gee, well done whiz. if you're successful. Okay, let's do our strand, shall we? Yeah, dinner of the day is going to be a little bit delayed. Whereabouts is it lovely? It's uh, not in here. If, 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 if it is, we, we've got about four minutes. We've only got three more Tanzanite opportunities for you. Um, it's, it's a beautiful... We're saying it's a strand. It's actually, um, it's actually a finished piece of jewellery that we're going to bring you and, and say... Gorgeous. It might be in the next hour, Neri. So, moving forward with Tanzanite, you're saying yes. that we will be able to get Tanzanite, but you can't guarantee it's going to be anything so like I, this I've kind of So, I've got in our vault in Jaipur some Tanzanite, not a lot, I must stress, not a lot at all. We used to have, we used to have one of the largest holdings of Tanzanite, because I bought big, like, waiting for when this kind of news about the wall and all that disruption of supply. That's, oh, beautiful, that's the one, fantastic. <clears throat> Thank you so much, Tom. Absolutely stunning. Oh, that's stunning. Now, I've brought this on, um, on our sister channel, The Gems, and I love this piece so much. It breaks my heart to say, <laughs> do you know what? Break it up. <laughs> but, oh. but, the, but this is literally, this is where we're at now. In the, in the, in the jewellery maker Tanzanite world, we haven't got any Tanzanite strands. We have a couple with one or two in stock. I said to Tom, look, I don't want it to just be a loose stone show. I want to bring strands as well. He said, well, we haven't got any strands. So I had to take this out of our vault for our sister channel and gems uh, with finished made jewellery and said, okay, well, I'm going to have to bring a finished made piece of jewellery and say, do you know what, break it up and oh, use it as a strand. But do you know what, if, if, it's what, if it enables you to craft the jewellery you want, you. then that, that's what we're going to do. There you go, Carol. Um, amazing, beautiful, oh, it's beautiful. Heavy. Yeah, well, it's over 100 carats. Over 100 wow. carats, and it's all been graduated <gasps> by oh, one of the best in stunning. the world at this. Um, his, his name is Sunil, he's a great friend of mine, and he is absolutely <sighs> world leading exactly this kind of thing. Oh. Notice how perfectly you start off with the largest bead at 11 millimeter, and then the grading is so subtle, it's right so the subtle. way through the graduating he's done. Oh, now, wow. what I always insist from Sunil uh, with, with our Tanzanite that I get from him is look, I, I'm not about the clarity. I'm about the colour. That's, that's where we blow it away. We want top, top colour. Color. Over 130 carats. Now... This is astonishing. The graduated, you're getting the silvers, you've got the wire, you've got all these components with value. Carol, well, what, because what, I'm quite new here, I, I've only been here for eight weeks. Go on. Historically, Tanzanite strands here at, at Jewelry Maker, um, 
Well, for, well, first off, I've only ever seen a couple of strands of rounds. Yeah, they're rare. Secondly, we've never had anything. In this central section, we've never had tanzanites of, these, of this kind of size. We've um, w uh, graduated strands of tanzanite. I can't remember a single graduated strand. So this is something so different, so unusual. Moving down to these kind of strands here, an entire strand, it would have to be triple figures. What, what we're getting today, 139 carrots okay tom oh, so many people are involved already i want to reward that trust thank you so much when i say everyone pays final clothing price i mean it tom 39.95 please that is crazy i i personally i wouldn't break this up the amount of work that's gone into graduating these is so it's a skilled job or, or enhance, it, en enhance it in the way that you know how oh, to. So keep gosh. it together until you're ready to use it because the grading work's already been done for you. You don't have to put that time and effort in. So keep it together until you're ready to use it and then you can you take them off and, and, and the grading work's already there for you. Wonderful. Those of you successful, huge congratulations. And literally, that tells you how little Tanzanite we have on site. It was the only way I could bring you a strand and it's the only strand we've got. Now, the next two pieces wow. are something special. Our deal of the day is coming up in just two auctions time. It's an amazing piece. But then this is the end of the Tanzanite for the show. Um, this is something else. Yeah, this so, is... So, again, I, I'm, gonna, I'm, oh. I'm not retracting my advice. I'm going it's to say, me. ignore the grading on screen. I think this is the first time ever I've said ignore a AAA grading. But I'm going to say it. Ignore the AAA grading. Judge the stones for yourself. Yes, that is the number one to. lesson I want you to take from this. <gasps> Judge the stones yourself. But take oh. a look at the colour you have in these pieces. Oh! Six and a half carrots, and Carol, you've got two in your hand, and I know already people are going, oh, I don't want to be caller number three, I don't want to miss out. You're getting both. Over three carrots each, they've been check and board faceted. One box containing both of them. Goodness me, you are kidding me. I'm getting both of these checkerboard cut checkerboard cut oval shaped triple a quality color tanzanite. color color now i know everyone at oh. home is thinking th this isn't for me it's too expensive oh. um tom let's go a hundred pound a gem what 190 you are kidding pounds. me that is less than a hundred pound <laughs> a gem for oh you. my gosh look at the <gasps> the quality the color Everything you are getting, this is a st uh, no way. Oh, sorry, no Tom, way. I just called out 195 pounds. 100 uh, if, if we could match that, please, I want to oh, honor everything sake, I say. Jake. 195 pounds, take another four pound 95 off for you, just because. Why not? <laughs> uh, look, we're taking literally everything out of it there for you. Oh my gosh. Angela, Carol Ann, Patricia, Michelle, Collector in Essex has got two, Julie, Kathleen's got two, Dawn, Collector in Middlesex has got two, Collector, Collector in Greater London's got two, Tracy, Lorna, Angela, Jonathan. Yeah. Jake! <laughs> says Fran, I know. That, it, is, it is beyond, Huge congratulations, beyond belief. Well done. There well is done. no mistaking that. No, I mean, the colour the color is extraordinary. Massive, three carat plus stones in each one of those there as well for you. I'm absolutely elated. Well done. You know the beautiful engagement ring that um, Angeline uh, Davies has? Yes. It's that kind of colour, isn't it? It is. It is. It's, you know, it's top. I mean, they, 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 it's known in the trade. It's known in the trade sometimes as royal tanzanite. Oh, of course. Um, other times it's known as sea axis tanzanite because, again, because that's how they have to cut it. Because that's how they... Oh, wow. 12 available this time, Jake. Um, yeah, wow. Which is less, by the way, than the no, last I'd... one. S say again. We have less. We have less available. We have twenty of the last one. Yeah, twelve you saw quick of this that, one. That, that. Again, very similar oh, proposition here for you. For those of you who missed out, cut. for those of you on a slightly smaller stone. This one cushion cut. We've gone for cushion cuts here this time. Um, so you've got the overs of the really last one. You've got the cushions nice. here. Look at the quality of the blue. Oh. Absolutely top. Um, Tom. Okay. In a solitaire gem. I mean, it's a solitaire ring that would be ridiculous. <gasps> 4.95 carats. Oh. Right, do you know what? Let's go straight down. £149, £75 a gem. 
Wow. Um, <laughs> these prices, first of all, these prices are no way near the prices that I've got written down on my poll sheet. They are literally half the price. I mean, I suppose yeah. it, it just shows you, you know, you want it, you're going to get it. And these have got such providence. I'm, yeah. oh, this is, this is, Huge, wow. well done. And, and I don't mind telling you, that is now, I'm out of Tanzanite for, for, for the foreseeable. We're not going to be bringing Tanzanite for some time here on the show. Um, huge, huge, huge congratulations. Huge, huge, massive congratulations. You've, amazing, you've blown my mind. After the break, yeah. deal of well, the day. Just before we go, Tom, I, I don't know, because... Are, are you happy? I'm going rogue here. I'm sorry. It's live TV. I might not be allowed. I might not be allowed back on the show. Go I rogue. I, um, I want to open the phone lines for the deal of the day. This is the deal of the day. Okay. It is, it's known in the trade. We've had a gem that Tiffany and Co have got a rich history with mm -hmm. that everybody knows about it. This gem, Tiffany and Co have a history that's even older mm. than Tanzanite with this material it is so exciting it's brand new here on the channel this new material we've never been able to play with this before it's known in the trade as plush diamond because this is a sunstone oh. of the highest highest oh highest caliber gosh. do not think sunstone and think what you already we're rewriting the rules when it comes to sunstone with absolutely. this absolutely this is sunstone it's known in the trade as plush diamond because in in oregon in, in, in the in, in literally the wild west, really. I've been there myself. I've been to the mine, and, and it's, it's actually my favourite corner of the entire United States of America. And the most memorable times there, I spent a week with the miners and um, were mining this material. It's just out. It's the nearest closest town is called Plush. That's where the plush comes from. And when Tiffany and Co thought they discovered this, it actually has an older history with the, with the indigenous American peoples. But when Tiffany and Co thought they discovered this, their gemologists at the time, we're talking 100 years ago, thought they'd found an immature diamond. They thought they'd found a diamond where the, the growth of the diamond crystal had been interrupted. And so they invested in the mines, they bought lots of this material, and they marketed it as the plush diamond. Now, this material has never been valued more highly by the wider gemstone market. I'm going to talk to you all about that after the break. But I'm opening the phone lines now so that if you want to guarantee... We've brought a deal of the day. Tom, you and I have brought a deal of the day. And Carol, we, we've brought a deal of the day with over 500 in quantity. I don't mind telling you now. We've got less than 150 of these. So mm -hmm. if you want to wait until you know all about the plush diamond, then by all means, wait till after the break. Uh, but the phone lines are open now if you want to secure your plush diamond. The clasp alone is, is worth not far off where we're closing the deal <laughs> of the day today. The clasp alone is worth not far off. Um, it's very high grade slider jewellery clasp. Um, good luck and I'll see you just after this. Hi, Alex the Mineral Man here. Hope you're all keeping well. Um, I'll be with you on Monday the 18th of May at 10am with lots of new lovely crystals and some considered purchases. So we'll look forward to seeing you then. Owning a strand of genuine gemstones is always exciting, but being able to use it in your handcrafted jewellery, then passing it on to its new owner with proof of its authenticity is even more incredible. Why not add one of our printed authenticity cards to your order and share that same feeling with your customers? You can also access online authenticity certificates through items you've previously purchased by looking at your order history on your account details. The certificate gives you valuable information about your purchase and is your guarantee of quality and peace of mind from Jewellery Maker. Maker are proud to work alongside some of the biggest brands in the industry. Keep watching for these brands and many more here on Jewelry Maker. You can now book Jewelry Maker workshops online. Just head over to our Jewelry Maker website and click on the workshop link. We have a wide range of workshops from beginner to intermediate covering a variety of mediums. 
Once you've found a workshop you would like to attend, simply click on the Book Now button, fill in the required fields, and then press Continue. This will take you through to the payment page. If you have any questions, you can contact our workshop coordinator at any time by emailing workshop at jewelrymaker.com. We look forward to seeing you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Tune into Jewelry Maker every morning at 8 a.m. for our breakfast club. We'll be bringing you low, low prices, last chance to buy, and end of line stock. Make sure you're watching because once the deals are gone, they're gone. Check out your Wall of Fame entries in this hour and be in with a chance to win a hundred pounds credit to your account. The Breakfast Club on Jewelry Maker. <laughs> Jewelry Maker have an extensive range of DVDs for all abilities. Each of our mediums has an introductory DVD to help you get started. If you're already an experienced jewelry maker, we have a collection of projects and more advanced DVDs to take your designs to the next level. So visit our website for more information. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join a community of over 68,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions, send photos of your designs and enter our Wall of Fame competition. Or if you need any help or advice, you can email our friendly help team. Make sure to get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Love Jewelry Maker but don't have an account? You can now purchase items on the Jewelry Maker website through our guest checkout. To do so, select the products you wish to purchase and head over to the shopping basket. Simply enter your email address and select continue as guest below. After this, the checkout process is simple. Select your quantity and delivery option and then check out securely. Enter your billing details and either a credit card or PayPal account and proceed to payment. From here, you still have the option to create an account if you wish, making shopping online easier for you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Buying with Jewelry Maker online couldn't be easier. Just head over to our website, jewelrymaker.com, and click on the register link. Simply fill in the required fields and you can shop 24-7. You'll also be privy to a faster checkout and personalised offers. Jewelry Maker, your one-stop shop for all your jewelry making needs. Did you know that when you book a Jewelry Maker workshop, you're given exclusive access to our Jewelry Maker shop? You can browse through special items and offers, be privy to selected discounts and deals that you can't get at any other time. Shop whilst you learn and grab yourself some amazing offers. For more information on workshops and available dates, contact our call centre. At Jewelry Maker, we're always looking at ways to provide you with a fantastic shopping experience. With this in mind, selected items throughout the day will be put on display and made available for pre-order. When the presenter informs you that the pre-order service is available on an item, this is your chance to put it into your basket online or speak to one of our brilliant customer service team members and be one of the first to secure your purchase. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join a community of over 68,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions, send photos of your designs and enter our Wall of Fame competition. Or if you need any help or advice, you can email our friendly help team. Make sure to get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker.
Welcome back. It's an absolute pleasure to be with you on this deal of the day. If I've not met you before, my name is Jake Thompson, and uh, I don't mind. I, I, I must confess, I know very little about jewellery making, but I want to thank you so much for welcoming me into your community. What I hope to add, rather than teaching you techniques, is um, my role here at the company is I'm the lead gemstone investor for the wider Gemporia Group, which we're thrilled now includes Jewellery Maker. And I've been doing that for the last decade. And over that time, I've seen some gems rise incredibly in value. I've seen some gems uh, go extinct. I've seen a lot in my decade um, as a gemstone investor. And my job really is to give you the tips the tools, what is exciting in the gem trade. And this next gem is absolutely at the forefront of all of that. Now, as a gemstone investor, I research vigorously. So my, my, my wife must really get wound up with me sometimes because mm -hmm. I often come home after a full day of work and just disappear into the office and, and I'm gone for three hours. Uh, I, I average three hours a day researching the wider gem market because I need to, as a professional gem investor, have my finger on the pulse for a huge wide variety of gems. I want to share with you exactly that research so that you are as informed um, uh, uh, as I am as one of the world's biggest coloured stone buyers. To, and, that, and that information itself is power. That information itself is power. It's not, it's not about whether you get involved in the deal of the day specifically. It's about having that in your knowledge base and then you can go and make decisions based on what you know. Now. What are we looking at here? I've said just a moment ago that this was known in the trade for the longest time as plush diamond. Now, specifically, gemologically, with the benefit of modern gemology, we know this material to be sunstone. But it's not like any other sunstone you've known. If you think sunstone and you think beautiful orange agilorescence with copper platelets running through, almost <coughs> semi-translucent to opaque, Rip up the rule book. It's nothing like that. This is top gem, world class material. It's only mined from one part of the world. And America's a big place. But specifically within America, we're talking about Oregon. Oregon is a state on the west coast. And even more specifically than that, we're talking East Oregon, right in the Oregon wilderness, the outback. Now, how do I know all this? Because I've been to the mine. Back in 2014, I spent a week mining this material with wow. the miners, um, with Troy and Michelle Newman. And Troy? Were, Troy, Troy, oh, Troy and Michelle Newman. Of course Newman. it's called Troy. They're, they're, um, <laughs> they're, they're a wonderful team. It's literally, it's, it's, a, it's a Ma and Pa operation out in the American wilderness, um, mining this Oregon sunstone. Since then, sunstone has been on this amazing, remarkable journey. The GIA have sent their field teams to the, to the labs. GIA is the Gemological Institute of America, which is the world's foremost authority on gemstones. The GIA have sent their teams, um, their, their teams to go and conduct surveys and interviews with the miners. The, the, the press uh, for raw surrounding this gem is huge. I want to share with you, because of all that, because of all this press and this news, um, uh, speculation could be rife. So I want, to, I want to come back a step and say, okay, what do we know? What is, what is the wider gem industry right now? I want to share this with you. This is literally a guide to buying and investing Oregon Sunstone. I didn't write this. This is a third party writing this material. Um, but I want to share it with you, um, you know, so that you understand. And the advice, I think, is brilliant. Get educated before you buy your next gem. Um, you can see, what is Oregon Sunstone? You see, Oregon Sunstone is extremely rare. Just towards the bottom of this paragraph here. Fully transparent. Top quality coloured or copper coloured shilly sunstone is not found anywhere else in the world. It's a single location gem. Value of this amazing gem ranges from about eight US dollars a carat. That's in the really, really commercial, you know, that translucent opaque material we we're talking about a moment ago. That material, certified Oregon source, eight dollars a carat. Um, all the way through to four and a half thousand dollars a carat for the really bright red material. Now, <coughs> we don't have here the bright red material, nor do we have the opaque $8 material. We have somewhere in the middle. But I will come back to that in a moment. So that's, that's third party advice on how to invest and buy Oregon Sunstone. Uh, moving through this though, and by the way, the phone lines are open, you are, you, you, you are, you are allowed to come involved. Um, this, is from, uh, this, is a, this is from the um, business um, Oregon magazine, Sunstone Mining in Oregon. Mm -hmm. And you can see, there's a lot of press being written, written about this material. This is why this material is called the plush diamond, because I said, this is a gem which is part of the Tiffany & Co history. Back in around about 19, uh, eight, 18, eight, 
eight, late 19th century was when this gem was discovered um, by, by non-indigenous American people. Uh, before that, the, 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 the indigenous peoples had known about this material. Tiffany and Co.'s intervention and, and moment, chapter, in this gem's history, and likewise this gem's history's chapter in Tiffany & Co. starts around about 1910, um, when the, 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 the diamond company at the time, Tiffany & Co., um, started to, because that's what they were predominantly, until George Frederick Kunz really got involved, uh, and until t the launch of Tanzanite many decades later, they were predominantly a diamond company, and they heard rumours of this diamond that had been found in Oregon. So they went, they sent their teams out there, they, they, they went and did the surveys, but obviously Sunstone doesn't cut like a diamond. But the brilliance was such, the look was such that they thought, okay, no, this could be a diamond, but it's not cutting quite like a diamond. And so you can see here, they say in the marketing, they, 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 the Tiffany Co. said, right, okay, well, this is what's known as a plush diamond then, named after the nearest town, which is still about 45 minutes to an hour drive away from the mine, named after the nearest town, the town of plush. They said, these must be diamonds that haven't quite yet finished crystallizing. These, they didn't have the benefit of modern gemology. These must be diamonds that we've interrupted the flow of their growth during, 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 their, during that. But actually, they are still diamond material, then we're gonna market them as the, diamond, <clears throat> as the plush diamond. That's what Tiffany Co. did. I'm saying no. We're naming this the plush diamond because there are essentially three grades of sunstone that I was able to mine during my week um, in, in America and able to source for you during there. There is the bright red material. Now, I have got some of that. I will be bringing it at future shows, and that's the $4,500 a carat material. There is what's known in the trade as serenite, which is for, for, for really those deeper champagne, champagne hues. But this is very rare indeed. In fact, we've only we bought this back in 2014. We've only really started cutting this material recently because we didn't we didn't want to experiment on this material. It was so rare, so represents such a few in it, within it. Look how near colourless these are. The champagnes are incredibly subtle, very mm. rem reminiscent of the Argyle diamonds yes. here. Um, the clarity is extraordinary. And so when we have the near colourless like we've got here, where you've got very, very subtle champagne hues, mm. this material is known as plush diamond because it's this material, this type of colour material that Tiffany & Co, back in the 1910s, back in the 1920s, this is the kind of material they were bringing as plush diamonds. What have we got here? We've got a ready-made bracelet because I have... I promise you I would launch something for you this week. Um, unfortunately, I don't mind telling you, I don't mind telling you, this deal of the day, um, I've, had to, I've had to work really hard with the management on because they didn't want me to bring this deal of the day. But I promised you I would bring you something brand new mm. this week. Gorgeous. Plush Diamond is that brand new. We were going to be bringing you some Serenite pieces, but the plane, the plane, because of everything that's going on around the world, the plane couldn't get here in time. So they're going to be delivered wow. tomorrow and we're going to be looking to launch those in the next couple of weeks. And Carol and I were talking about it. We have not got any plush diamonds to launch in the next few weeks. That's not what we're launching in the next few weeks. It's not plush diamond material. Let's break this down then because that's literally what you might do with this, with this incredible piece or you might enhance it. Take a look at what you've got. You've got here in 13 carats of incredible gem material. I'm going to talk about those in a minute. But Carol, we've got here a very rare type of clasp, haven't we? Yeah, so the sliding uh, clasp that you've got here. We launched these sliding clasp bracelets about three and a half years ago, I think, on Jewelry Maker. And year after year after year, when we look back at algorithms and we look back at kind of stats, they, they have almost always been product of the year. You've got a ready-made piece. You can very easily make that professional-looking piece of jewellery. And it's literally one size fits all as well, which is so wonderful. So what we've got here, and, and remind how much, sorry, one more time, how much did these go for? These kind of, these kind of um, sliding cast bracelets are around about 17.95 there 17, or thereabouts. 14.95. Sometimes 14.95. 15 to 18 pounds. Yeah. F yeah. 15 on a good day, uh, 18 on a normal one. Okay, so in the clasp alone, you've got 15 to 18 um, pounds in the yeah. clasp alone. And you've got 13 and a half carats of, uh, can we look at the clarity one more time? <laughs> It's absolutely okay. stunning, Is this it? the most commercial, <clears throat> opaque, barely translucent material, or is it absolutely bright and vibrant? Absolutely, yes. Well, we've just heard that for the lowest grade you can get, it's $8 a carat. 
So again, I'm going to help you, because this is a completely new way of buying gems. You may have never bought like this before. $8 a carat, so we have 13 and a half carats. So to work out the value of the gems alone, and I'm taking the lowest possible grade, not this grade, I'm taking the most commercial sunstone you can get your hands on. Mm -hmm. According to the article, $8 a carat, you're looking at $108 for the gem. And we know wow. it's not $108. It's a, it's a really weird one I'm doing here because I'm comparing it against <clears> the <throat> lowest possible grade you can get. Yeah. But $108, I'm going to put that into British pounds for you. Eighty-four pounds and thirty-seven p. Don't say I'm not accurate. Eighty-seven <laughs> pounds and thirty-seven p. So eighty-four pounds. You're looking at about a hundred pounds for the clasp and the materials here. Absolutely. A, a, a trade and jewelry maker established pricing. Okay. Mm -hmm. For today's deal of the day, are you ready, Tom? I know we, we were rumours about the £50 price tag. No, let's scrap all that. Lots of people have trusted me already. Thank you so much. I can't tell you how much your trust means. I really appreciate it. Tom, let's go straight down. 29 95 please. Good straight down. 29 95 for Plush oh. Diamond. I hope to bring you wow. some exciting Oregon sunstone in the next few weeks. Oh, but this Plush Diamond me. material is very, very few and far between. <laughs> That's absolutely astonishing. How can we possibly do that after everything? And, 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 and don't forget that kind of price um, that, that Jake was working on there is comparing it to the absolute lowest grade yeah, sunstone. Not this grade. Um, not this grade. Absolutely nowhere near this grade. Loads in baskets. People buying uh, two, threes, fours, fives, eights. Uh, well done, massive congratulations. And like Jake said in the last to her as well, we've bought a deal of the day to air with kind of four, five hundred in stock. This deal of the day, unfortunately, only 117 chances available. So please, please, please check your baskets out as quickly as you can. These are all going to sell out, Jake. Amazing. And, and what I would say is don't break this down just yet. It's yours, you can do with it what you want, but don't break it down just yet. Over the next couple of weeks, I've got some really, really exciting things planned with Brilliant. other colours of sunstone coming from this same mine. Uh -huh. So some more deeper champagne hues coming through, some reds coming through as well, some pink flash material. Oh, the, I, I'd say the next four to six weeks, really exciting stuff coming from the Oregon sunstone mines. And, and so keep hold of it for now. Acquire those other bits and then go, right, okay, now I've got a slider so clamps, now I've got, the, I've got the graduated rounds, now I've got some fatted stones, and you get to play and, and, and really get to have some fun with one of the most exciting mines in the world right now. Huge do, well done. Do you know what? Such an incredible gemstone for this time of year as well, don't you yeah. think? And, and Ollie's just asked me, any loose stones? Um, we have got some loose stones, and I'm not just going to be bringing you... If, I'm, I'm going to reveal it right I now. I'm going to be bringing you quite... reveal, reveal this right now. What we're going to do is, right now, my normal day-to-day -day job this time of year is preparing for the JCK show. The world's biggest gem show by headlines and news breaking and gems launching. That's what I'm normally doing because JCK show is end of May, early what June. What does JCK stand for? I don't actually know. <laughs> I, I, and I've asked this question. I don't mind telling you that. I've, I, I've, I've researched this question so many times. JCK. No one in the trade can tell us what we know. It's Ooh. the name of the magazine J that first headlined this. Something and something. I think it's jewellery something something, but we, we, we don't know. We, no one knows what JCK stands Jake for. Jake can kick it. <laughs> <laughs> no idea. Okay, sorry. So, no, so you were fine. saying. Um, so JCK show, huge show. Normally that's what I'm preparing to do. The gem world has not, the JCK show has been cancelled this year. Hong Kong was cancelled a few months ago. It's yeah. going to be cancelled again in September. There are no gem shows in the world right now. And so we're going in the next couple of weeks, instead of going to the JCK show, we're going to be bringing a gem show to you. We're not talking about just doing the odd loose stone here or there. I'm talking we're going to be bringing parcels of loose gems at better than trade prices because I think that 2020 is going to be the year when Tucson, Hong Kong and JCK all lose their place as the world's biggest gem shows and Jewelry Maker here, our community, becomes the world's biggest gem show. And that's going to be happening in the next few weeks, including with this serenite and, and sunstone material. Oh, how wonderful. How wonderful. Massive congratulations. Huge, huge, huge deal for you there. Um, just, just very quickly, before we move on to our incredible um, amethyst, oh, my gosh. Oh, my word. Can I have it? Oh, yeah. stunning. So this is from Fran. I'll show it to you, Michael. This is from Fran, who's a regular viewer of ours. Morning. Attached is a photo 
of the um, uh, gem collector tanzanite I purchased, made it into earrings using jewellery maker 925 sterling silver earring findings and a couple of pendant bales. Hope he likes, meaning you, Jake. Um, thanks for the lessons, uh, for the set of lessons uh, for my birthday. Um, best wishes to everyone, and that's from Fran. Aren't Fran, they I, gorgeous? I don't like. I love it. I absolutely love it. Thank you so much for sharing. How gorgeous! And, and, and my goodness me, think of the value that Fran has created here. Think Beautiful. of the value. There's not talk right now at the minute in the press about British manufacturing and, and, mm. and, and, and building things and creating value. Think of the value. Fran has created two sensational. Tanzanite pendants, they're classic, timeless in their appeal. Absolutely Gorgeous. love it. And I love you, I love you sharing that for us there, Fran. Thank you so much. Well done, lovely. Gorgeous. Have we got well any done, of the Fran. It's okay, don't worry, I'll ask you after the show. I'll, I'll ask you after the show. I want to send Fran a little something to say thank you. Ah. Come on. Oh, how lovely. Definitely. Say so that's that's nice. Right, okay. You're very, 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 very um uh, excited, I know, about what we've got coming up yeah. now. Colombian emerald. I, oh my god. I word. don't know. You, you, I need to be guided by you here, Carol. Have, have, have we ever had Colombian emerald here at the, at the channel before? One strand. One strand. One strand. Do you remember the strand? Um, and it was when Ray was working on Jewelry Maker. Do you remember that? So we're and... talking a few years ago. Oh yeah. What we're about to witness is the first truly, oh my gosh, absolutely this is stunning. fine jewelry Colombian emerald this oh. channel has ever witnessed oh. take a look at this oh the color this is so location um uh, uh specific in the fact that when you think of those pre-loved pre-owned i should say pieces of jewelry that you will go to an antique dealer and buy and you want to buy and invest in a world-class emerald if you're lucky, you can get a Colombian emerald. This is what really set the ball well, rolling. I want to help you understand the value of this material. Oh. So I'm going to turn to one of my biggest tools in the gem wow. trade, if I could. Wow. This is the gem guide. And what the gem guide is, is this is an industry publication. It's completely third party. And this is essentially a gem investor's one-stop tool. This helps them immensely. It's the industry leader. So it's the top, in, it's top class material. And because the gem guide the gem market rather changes all the time mm. it has to be updated every two months march april 2020 now unfortunately because of what's happening around the world with covid they can't print the may june issue oh, of this shame. because of what's happening mm. i have checked online and the pricing of colombian emerald as given in here has not changed between april and may okay. and so the, although this is now three weeks out of date, which isn't that out of date really, <laughs> when you come to think about it. And well, those three weeks out of date, it's not because I've checked the prices and the prices are still the same. What we've got here, if you've never seen this before, it's market driven. So it's driven by the gemstone market. What are the prices that gems are actually selling for? Not what's it listed at. What's the prices that people are actually buying and selling this material for? Mm. Uh, it's completely independent and it's a pricing guide. Now the way this material, this, this works, every gem of note that's widely traded has a gem table. Um, and the, ba you basically you, you look at the quality, then you look for the size of gem you've got, you match the two, and that's the price in US dollars per carat, not per piece, per carat you're expected to pay in the trade, dealer to dealer. So not, not end collector, dealer to dealer for this material. Mm -hmm. Now because Colombia is so highly valued, mm. because Colombia is so highly valued and so precious, <clears throat> it gets its own gem table. So not wow. just emerald, Colombian emerald gets its own gem table. And that's what I'm going to show you. Take a look at the quality. My question is, as you look at this emerald, as you look at this emerald, oh. ask yourself, out of 10, what are you marking it as? What are you grading this emerald out of 10 in? It's got beautiful Jardin. It's got a wonderful glow. It's opening color. The cutting is sensational. The colour is absolutely textbook. So out of 10, Tom, what are you grading this for? Tom is producing today. What are you grading this at? You're saying 10 out of 10. Ollie? 9 out of 10. Carol? 9 and a half. Nine, Only because I've got an emerald, which, I, which is my favourite gem okay. in the world. <laughs> I'm really strict. 
I am absolutely, uh, my, my sister-in-law hates me for it because she'll do, when we're on holiday, she'll do a dive in the pool. She'll go, what do you rate the dive? And it could be a perfect dive. Nine out of ten, because there's no such thing as a ten out of ten. Oh, I'm, I'm that person. <laughs> um, and, it, and it winds her up. Don't no be end. that person, Jake. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to grade this stone. I'm actually going to grade this stone an eight out of ten. That's how conservative. So when I give you this pricing, I'm not giving it you as high as I possibly can get it. Yeah. I'm saying for this gem. So let's come to the let's come to the, the value table. Emerald, Colombian. Now even for so melee cool. sizes, so for a three point gem, <laughs> you could be paying over a thousand dollars a carat. Whoa! For Colombian emerald, but we're not looking at a three point gem. We're not looking at a ten point gem. We're not looking at a quarter of a carat. There you go. We are looking at 70 points guaranteed minimum. The average, by the way, is 94 points, but we're saying guaranteed minimum, 70 points. Yeah. And then let's work our way across. To number eight. To number eight. $1,250 to $3,000 a carat. So I'm going to try and get this number as low as I can possibly get it. So, although we could, for this gem, see $3,000 a carat, I'm not looking at my phone just for because, by the way, I'm, I'm using the calculator. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Um, <laughs> not doing that. Um, although we could say $3,000 a carat uh, times 0.7 is looking at £2,100 for the gem in your hand, dollars, sorry, $2,100 dealer to dealer, wholesale yeah, value. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to go as low as I possibly can. I'm going to take that $1,250. So, you can see here. I'm really oh undervaluing gosh. the gem. Yeah. 1250 times the 70 points is 870 pounds. I'm going to put that into Brit at 870 dollars. I'm going to put that into British pounds for you. We're looking at around about a 700 pound gem in your hand right now. Right. Tom, Oops. remind me what did this cost us to source? Okay. Oh, how many do we have? Not talking. Not talking 700 pound. Let's go 195. And that's why I say move aside Hong Kong, oh my move gosh. aside Tucson, move aside all the big gem shows. Wow. This here, jewelry maker. Because that's what you pay at Hong Kong. That's what you pay at Hong Kong. Oh. This is jewelry maker. This is now the world's best gem show. £195 for certified. Colombian Emerald. Tracy's got two, Suzanne's got two, Julie's got one, I've got Alan Lynn and Collector in Somerset who all want the last one. That is astonishing. I can't quite believe that. Can't quite believe that. Huge congratulations. Oh. Now, oh. I'm not going to spend as long talking you through the gem guide. Now you're familiar Gee with it. Whiz. Um, but again, this next one, what we're looking at here is for very few times indeed, certified no heat sapphire. Yeah. Certified 100% natural, 100% natural certified no heat sapphire. It's coming from a new source actually. It's coming from the west coast of Africa. East coast of Africa, really exciting in recent decades, but west coast is where a lot of new discoveries are happening. This one coming from Nigeria, over a carrot. And what does the N mean? It means 100% natural, not even heated. Complete no heat sapphire here for you. And look at the blues. Honestly, I mean, it is absolutely phenomenal. I'm really oh. strict with my grading, but look at this blue. Oh, sorry. Not heated at all. I don't mind saying to you. It, it, it's I mean, astonishing. That's 9.9999999, even in my strict, there's no such thing as a 10 system. <laughs> it is Isn't absolutely it unbelievable. Now, the lowest price, the lowest price I could get for unheated, completely unheated sapphire of this kind of size and grade oh. is $3,000 a carat, okay? And we're looking at over a carat of gem here, $3,000 a carat, uh, that's $3,150. Let's put that into British pounds because that's where we are. Um, we're looking at over £2,000 for the sapphire alone, Carol. I can't bring you this material moving forward. Oh, this is a... Astonishing, isn't it just incredible? It should be two grand. I don't, I don't mind telling you in the trade. If I'm looking for this in the trade, oh my gosh! I, and I, I, I'm speaking to Mark about taking carry yourself or the presenters to gem shows. You will see. We go to a gem show, dealer to dealer. It's a two thousand pound gem. Top oh, ninety nine ninety five. Gracious me! And I have to say, and, and I said this to you when we launched this on the show a few weeks ago, that I've always rated um, uh, Burma for for ruby, for jade, for sapphire. 
This is, this has turned sapphire on its head for me. I've yeah. never seen sapphire like this. The colour is everything yeah, with this. It, it is unbelievable oh. material. Well done. Well and done. And as you say, it's naturally this colour, yeah. which is so Completely unenhanced. Completely unenhanced. Amazing material. Now, we've had the emerald, we've had the sapphire, we had the plush diamond. Ruby. And we're, we're going to round off the big four with ruby from none other than Mozambique. This is a Monte Pue. This is the Mozambique ruby, Tom. Excellent. Yeah. This is from Monte Pue, just outside of a town in northern wow. Mozambique called Monte Pue. Gem fields investing in this material. Yeah. Fura gems investing in this material. It Ooh. is, of all the rubies on the planet right now, this is the one where everyone is talking the most about. Oh, it gosh. has absolutely shaken up the old establishment in, 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 in the ruby world. Um, okay. What are we looking at here? We're looking at Mozambique Ruby. So let me find it. There is actually a specific gem table in the gem guide for Mozambique Ruby. Is there really? Because that's how much this material has shaken up the gem trade. Um, I'm going to read it out. What are we looking at? We're looking at a carrot of Ruby 1. here. 1.1, yeah. Um, okay, and, and what do you judge this material out of 10? Take a look at the Ruby. I, I, I actually, what quality is the colour? Absolutely beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, that is incredible. And it's so different to other rubies that you saw, you know, that are sourced elsewhere in the world. This has got the most beautiful, beautiful reds in there. Out of 10, Carol? I would give this definitely, I mean, that's got to be a nine, uh, eight, uh, nine, nine, eight, eight point seven. I Tom, don't know. how much does this cost us to source? Okay, I don't mind telling you, you cannot, you cannot get ruby from Mozambique, according to the Gem Guide, you can't get ruby. This isn't commercial. It, it absolutely is not. You've seen the gem. It's not commercial. But I want to show you. This size, one carat plus, you can't get it for less than $840 a carat. Oh my gosh. You can't buy it from Mozambique. You can't buy it for less than $840 a carat. It's not out there. It's not in the marketplace. That's for commercial. You can clearly see this isn't commercial material. Oh, Tom, um, let's just go $99.95. Amazing. Absolutely astonishing. The colour, the cut. Oh, there's such beautiful representations of the gemstones and what they are, what they should be. If you looked at the dictionary definition of yeah. ruby, it would be this colour. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, wow, just astonishing. Thank you so much, Jake. Um, no, you're more than welcome. And what oh. I want to do with this is kind of just do a quick whistle stop tour around the gem world. So we've had the big four there, well, big three, um, and then yes. the plush diamond there um, as, as, a, as, a, as an alternative to the oh, diamond. Oh, wow. Look. Now let's look at gems that kind of operate around that big four. This one is yellow beryl. Now, Beautiful. beryl is the same gem family that emerald comes from. And for a long time, this material was marketed in the trade as canary emerald. Mm -hmm. I'm not certifying this as canary emerald because there's no such thing. Mm. Um, but a long time, this material was known in the trade as canary emerald and achieved a huge value as a result of that. Uh, but this here, is, uh, let's talk about what it actually is, gemologically speaking. It is yellow Beryl, same gem family as the emerald, but with the most incredible canary colour. And look oh. at this, absolutely beautiful. You know those it? kind of natural canary yellow diamonds that sell for 30 grand a piece? This is that colour. This is that colour. It's astonishing. The cut is amazing as well. Beautiful cut. Lovely golden colours, aren't they? Sensational. Tom, That's let's go 39.95. Wow! Wow! Two carat gem, it's big. And somebody Where asked me once from? about the measurements. The measurements should be uh, on this the... Is, this is calibrated. Eight, eight by ten. You've got a ten by eight millimetre yeah. cushion cut. So whatever jewellery you craft out of this, oh. it's going to have a bit of an antique flair to it, a bit of an estate kudos. Totally. Um, whatever you make out of this. Totally. This is beautiful. Um, beautiful um, uh, from Brazil. Gorgeous, gorgeous quality. That clarity, the colour. But most importantly, I think the cut which just well unlocks done. it. That's superb. Again, dancing around the, the, the kind of the big three and the other gems that you can get around the big three. Um, this next one is, is, is a star sapphire. Now, when these, when oh, these occur see. naturally, Carol, if this were a natural star sapphire, in your hand you'd have about a quarter of a million dollars. So without diffusion completely. We, we, we're completely natural, it, it's, it's, it's about a quarter Ooh. of a million dollars. Now, talk about complete disclosure. This is not a quarter of a million star sapphire, <laughs> but this is still, th th there's almost three tiers of star sapphire. There's natural, and they're about a quarter of a million a piece. There is <gasps> where the star sapphire is painted on. 
and if it's painted on, it's actually, uh, it, it's not really truly speaking a star sapphire because asterism should be the reaction of light Absolutely. to the stone. And Absolutely. That. So that material is what I'd term commercial. It gives you the look of star sapphire, but is it really star sapphire? No. And then you have what I believe to be, that, well, as a gem investor, this is my pick, you have a star sapphire where the asterism is caused by the light. Mm. Absolutely beautiful. Take a look at this. Judge the quality of this star. What's happening right now? We've got too many lights, actually. Um, it's almost too receptive. There you go. Now you're starting to see the light come through. That is absolutely gorgeous. I do have a torch. I think I'm a little bit... Yeah, UV torch isn't going to be uh, here you good go. for this. Why don't you use just a regular phone torch? Don't worry, you don't need to do this at home because you have a single source of light readily available. It's called the sun. <laughs> and it's very useful. <laughs> when you take this material out of the sun, basically you can see you can see that you see the reflection, all the lights in the studios, and the star sapphire is so receptive, it's confusing it. So you're having like a whole star, a galaxy of stars. We're gonna see there if we can dip go. the Oh my oh. gosh! There is your star sapphire, Tom. $39.95. What? That's way too low, Jake. That's way too low. Star sapphire! Well, he said it now. And uh, Carol, Carol, just live, just live. Could you take the torch away? You know the star isn't painted on. If it were, that star would still be there. You bring the torch back in, the star's there. We take the light source away, the star isn't. That's how I would always test your star sapphire. That's essentially, that is the gem test. That's what I do when I'm looking for star sapphire. If it's natural, <laughs> it's quarter of a million and you probably aren't even allowed to hold the stone. Be aware of the painted ones. My big advice to you. I've so I've never even seen the painted ones. So, yeah, no, so, and, and there's a lot of them out there in the trade. So that's a really simple <gasps> test for you to do. And you just cut off all of the light sources, single source, and move it. The star should move with you. Uh, if it doesn't, it's been painted on, and that means avoid, avoid, avoid. There's no value there. Abort! Right. That was astonishing. Just turning off my torch there for you. Um, okay. This is one of my favourite, favourite sources of sapphire. Wow. In the trade at the minute, this type of sapphire is making headlines. I want to share with you exactly what those headlines are because they were actually in an assessment from the gem guide on the gems that are driving value right now. This is, this is written by a GIA trained graduate gemologist and every two months he writes an assessment of the gem world. And in that assessment he says, what's selling well, what's driving value, what's selling slowly. This was, his, this was one of his assessments uh, from the JCK show last year. So this time last year, this is what he said about this material. I want to share it with you. Here you go. Um, optimistic expectations, mostly misses Mark this year in Las Vegas. It wasn't as a busy show as they thought it was going to be. This is because the, it moved venue. It moved venue. It was held um, at the Mandalay Bay. It was held at the Venetian. And I was at the Las Vegas show and I got lost. I couldn't find my way around. That's why it wasn't as busy a show as it should have been. And he says that there, the new venue and size made navigating just too difficult in year one. Sourcing fine quality rubies, though, at affordable prices has become very challenging. This is the key part. Sapphire strength is in the teal and the blue-green colours. So what, we know that sapphire comes in every colour other than red. What type of sapphire is driving the strength in the Ooh. market? It's in teal and blue-green. I mean, he, could, he may as well be talking about this gem, Carol. Oh, that is absolutely astonishing. That's exactly, that's exactly so what the colour is, isn't it? it it's like it, a teal it's, blue. He's literally, he's describing Beautiful. this material. This absolutely. is the sapphire. The, way that it, the, the demand for this material is stronger than any it's other type made. of sapphire in the market right now. This is coming from Umba, the Umba River, River. And also, just like that Nigerian one, Carol, yeah. no heat at all. No, totally natural. Completely natural. Wow. So the colour that's most in demand you're getting here, not through beryllium diffusion, not through heat treatment, 100% Mother natural. Nature's intention. Oh. Tom, I want wow. everyone. It's, it's not, I don't mind saying, it's not the biggest gem. You know what you could do with this material? Because it's sapphire. If you work with clay, you can actually set it into the clay. Yeah. Put it in the oven. It doesn't damage the stone at all. It's how actually we set our sapphire jewelry on in many cases. We set it into the mould and then let the let the heat work around it. Uh -huh. um, Tom, I want everyone to get as many as they want. Parcel, we've got a big quantity of this. Probably not enough though. Let's do under a fiver. Four ninety five. Wow! Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. That is astonishing. Well done. Huge, huge reception for this. Well done. 
I mean, you could, yeah. Do you know what, Ollie? That's a really great point, actually. Director Ollie's saying, you know, if you if you if you wanted to, at that price, you could get five of yeah. them and set them into a beautiful floral design. Don't forget, you've got September's birthstone here as well, so you've yeah. got plenty of time to make that piece. If it's somebody's landmark birthday this coming September, that is amazing and such an unusual tone of sapphire it's just it's just it's absolutely beautiful isn't it and, and being able to tell people the story being able to say look you know this is this is a sapphire yes. it's come from the umba river which is on the northern tanzanian kenyan border it snakes through across the borders being able to tell them, this is exactly as mother nature intended beautiful absolutely gorgeous so the article we just that's saw there, that's, um, that's from a gia trained graduate gemologist yeah. um, who, who, who's talking about this material and saying uh, and G I, you can see here, actually, Stuart Robertson, GIA GG, that's Gemological Institute of America, graduate gemologist, and he's writing in an article wow. in the Gem Guide here. So, so he's trained by the GIA, he's actually their director of research. So when, when he says something, the Gem World listens. Um, and he writes it in here, and he's pu publishing an update, and he's saying, look, this is the strength, this is, where, this is where the market strength is in. Um, huge well done if you're picking up a few of those, well done. So, so if this is found near the river, is this, is this, how is this mine? Is it's it alluvial. Alluvial so it's mining. Alluvial mining. And the way that wow. this river works is amazing. It, it's very um, pronounced dry seasons. So essentially, the, 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 the stones, the, the, the river washes these stones out of the, um, the Usambara Mountains, which are in northern Tanzania. And that's really where the source of the Umba River is. Mm -hmm. And the, 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 this network of tributaries snakes down to, 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 the, to, the, to the, river, the river plain. And in the, re the wet season, all these stones are almost mined by the rain. The rain washes them out from their primary source. They wash down the river. And then the, then the dry season comes. Yeah. And so the river obviously loses water and dries up. And the, the stones just deposit on the bed. And then every, every, every year, nomadic artisanal miners just walk up the river <laughs> until they find the deposit wow. of where these sapphires are. It's always ah. broadly in the same place because the stones are roughly the same size. So every mm -hmm. year they wash down to a certain part. Uh, but there's no guarantee. And they have to do, uh, every year they have to go on a new round of prospecting. Incredible part of the world. This is possibly the most important location specific gemstone in the world. This is Solon. Yeah. Sapphire. This is this is the same sapphire as Princess Kate has in her engagement ring. This yeah. is same source. Um, both of them coming from Sri Lanka. Ceylon was the old name <sighs> for the gem rich island of Sri Lanka. Um, f f the, in terms of in terms of provenance, because of late, the late lady, uh, late, the, obviously late Princess Diana, and now Princess Kate's engagement ring, it absolutely set this up um, as a as a really sought after gem. Tom, I don't know anywhere else you can get certified Ceylon sapphire. For thirty nine ninety five, I'm really liking the thirty nine ninety five price today. Uh, even for Salon Sapphire, let's do it. Goodness me, how many do we have, Tom? Four. When people talk about Sapphire, you're absolutely right. This is the Sapphire yeah. they're talking about, Salon Sapphire. And, and again, Salon gets its own valuation here in the I'm Gem sure, Guide. Almost. I wish I had yeah. the time to, to go through that with you. Um, oh. It's hundreds of dollars. We've got some more Nigerian blue Sapphire, um, Jake. This is just. Fabulous. And, and, and what's so exciting about it for me is if you're brand new to jewellery maker, we're bringing you gemstones you've heard of. Sapphire, ruby, emerald. We're bringing you gemstones that you've heard of for prices which are... They are so affordable. They yeah. I mean, they're beyond well, affordable. My, my ambition incredible. is to make jewellery maker, our community, at the heart of the gem trade. <laughs> Benny, uh, it's been said quite a few times, maybe I am. <laughs> if, yes. that's a if that's a suggestive diagnosis, then yes, I suppose I am. Um, the, uh, it's my ambition to, especially in these times where the traditional jewellery supply chain has been so devastated, oh, I want to help you know, British jewellers, be they those who have their own sh stores, those who, <gasps> who have an ambition to own their own stores, those who want to work on other platforms, however you're However you, you currently work or you want to work, my ambition is to help you get back on your feet um, and become the new jewellery supply chain in the, in, in, in the UK market. We've only got two. When you look at that. Those Let's blues. go 49.95 for these, please, Tom. Nigerian blue sapphire, two available. This is my new favourite location for sapphire mining. Have you got the set into pieces at, over at Gems or not? Uh, we do, yes. In fact, I actually took a, I actually took a collection of this <coughs> material, this natural Nigerian. Um, I got invited over to a museum in Atlanta, Georgia, um, or Georgia, Atlanta. 
one of the way. No, Atlanta, Georgia, that's Atlanta, right. Atlanta, Georgia, um, yeah. I, I, I got invited over to give a series of talks, gemological talks, over Ooh. to a museum in Atlanta, Georgia, and I took a collection of these pieces over there um, to demonstrate this material. Uh, and it was one of the most widely, where obviously pe pe people were, 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 were dialing in, it was, it was broadcast out, and also people physically there, people were dialing in, clamouring to buy this material yes. um, at, that, that, at that show. And we were setting it into platinum. Oh, wow, well, yes. Well, yeah. that doesn't surprise me at all. Yeah. I can imagine this being very, very popular, the, um, the Nigerian sapphire over on Gems TV. I mean, the colour and the quality is so good. Burmese ruby. Yeah. Wow. So This so is the big one. Wow. Th th this one coming, this is a little treat coming from my, uh, from my trip to Magok, um, to, the, to the Magok Valley. Oh, it's is this it's rose cut? It's absolutely sensational Burmese ruby. Oh, Quarter yeah. of a carrot here you're looking at. Gorgeous. Oh, wow. Absolutely and beautiful. I'm going to say there is a valuation in here, but I don't think Tom's going to give me the time. Uh, 1995, please, Tom. Goodness me. Is this from the, your friend who we spoke to uh, this is a couple from, of weeks ago? Oh, yeah, Roshan. This yeah. is from Roshan. Um, so his family, Roshan is a Spinel dealer primarily, but he, him and his brother kind of broke away from the family um, tradition of mining for rubies. So this is from Roshan's extended family there. A quarter of a carat Burmese ruby, wow. 20 pounds. Unbelievable. Fabulous. Yes. Yeah. What? So, oh my gosh. Oh, this is. Talking about the stunning. ruby world. Stunning. Everyone now knows Burmese ruby as the, the pinnacle. Everyone now knows Burmese ruby to be the best thing in the world. But wind the clock back just a few years, that wasn't always the case. And so this remains one of those unique buying opportunities, this next one. I'm going to, I want to introduce you, if I could, perhaps for the first time, perhaps we're reintroducing, um, to uh, what, who really someone who's a distance mentor of mine, Richard Wise. And he wrote uh, incredible over an entire career spanning decades. Um, he really groundbreaking in the industry. And his most seminal work, his most famous piece is this, this book here. It's called Secrets of the gem trade. It's, it's, it's the second edition, he updated it. And it is, it's literally, it's a connoisseur's guide to precious gemstones. Now this particular edition, the secrets that are in this edition, this is the most limited edition he ever made. Um, only a hundred of these were ever printed. And I want to show you that here, look, you can see. This is number 30, uh, this is number 39 of a hundred copies. Ooh. You can see there, signed by Richard Jake, with my best wishes for Richard Wise, a really good friend of mine, oh, fantastic. and an absolute mentor of mine as well. People pay hundreds, if not more, for the knowledge that's in this book. I want to share it with you for free. I want to share with you what he writes about none other than rubies, because actually what he writes about rubies, the old knowledge about rubies, will be exactly why you realise this is such such an exciting buying opportunity. Um, Richard Wise, in this book, I'm just trying to find the ruby chapter, I apologise, um, um, here we go, that's nearly okay. there. You must ruby mention all the, big, all the big gemstones. Um, yeah, I was just going through Papadasha Sapphire, and oh. there we go, right next to it, ruby. Here we go, right. What he says here is, he says, and it's just... Da, 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 da. Here we go. There are, I'm just trying to find it, he talks about Burma, then he talks about Thailand. Um, in fact, here we go. What makes, what ma why is Burmese ruby so significant? And I have actually got, um, I, I've got a little PowerPoint on this part, Tom. <coughs> no, okay, that's absolutely fine. Um, what, makes, what makes the Burmese ruby so, so important? Mm. The Burmese ruby became important around about 1979, around about the exact same time, the exact same time, that he was unable, that Thai ruby, so Thai ruby dominated, and then the Burmese ruby came online, and they almost flipped immediately. Why? Two things happened. One, Kanchanaburi, as a source, dried up. So the Thai, the Thai mined material almost disappeared overnight. And two, the Burmese ruby had less iron in it than, 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 than the Thai ruby. So almost, nature almost went, right, okay, you've got this world-leading source in the Thai, I'm gonna snatch that away from you, and I'm gonna give you this Burmese ruby material. The problem, the problem is that old mine Thai ruby now never made a resurgence. They were never able to discover any deposits. So being able to get hold of certified Thai ruby in the trade is almost impossible. Gosh. So, so difficult to do. Absolutely beautiful colour. Incredible quality, incredible tone. Gorgeous. 
I can't. I can get you Burmese ruby. I've been to Magok. I've been to Magok. I've, I've seen those incredible. I've seen those incredible mines um, in the Magok Valley. I can get you that kind of ruby. What I can't get you is this old Kanchanaburi ruby. And this is a source that, 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 that for hundreds of years people were writing about. Della Lubert, the French envoy, 300 years ago, writing about this source of ruby. We just can't get hold of it anymore at all. This is old mine Thai ruby. Now, with all of that in mind. We, we haven't got a standard Thai ruby here in, in, in Jewelry Maker. That's why we haven't, no got, we haven't got one to offer you. Because it, old mine Thai ruby is incredibly, incredibly rare. It's incredibly sought after. If we were at £85, a pound a carat for certified Thai ruby, mm -hmm. there'd, be, there'd be uproar. There'd be absolute for all. Tom, mm. we're not going to go to £85. We're going to go less than <laughs> half a pound a carrot, thirty nine ninety five, and it is it is it is the first come first serve on this one. Wow, incredible! That colour, so striking, so rich, so beautiful. Ruby for me really does vary very much in colour depending on where you get it from. We've just seen that Mozambique ruby, which is beautiful, looks very very different to this rich, very, much darker, much closer to that kind of pigeon blood red. Uh, ruby that we're more familiar with, that classic ruby colour. Very, very busy. Loads of people coming through. Lots of people multi-buying as well. Um, stunning, stunning quality um, um, uh, I, I, necklace. I don't mind showing you. In the gem guide, in the gem mm. guide you, you have got a gem table for Burma. You have got a gem table for Mozambique, the source of, two sources we just explored. There is no gem table for Thai. Why? Because remember what this book is, it's market driven. Mm. So it can only give you a value for something that's market. readily tradable in the market. Yes. Old Vine Thai Sapphire is not available in the market. So you can't put a gem value table to it. That's, that's the simple reason why it doesn't feature in the gem Gorgeous. guide. Huge congratulations. We can't, uh, moving forward, I want to bring you more Burmese Ruby. Moving forward, I don't aspire to bring you more Thai simply because I can't get my hands on it. Yeah. Good call. Wow. Huge congratulations. The best of the best of the best. More ruby. Oh, now this is a beautiful yeah. now, piece. Now, talking of sources that are exciting, so that was the Thai ruby yes. um, just then. What we have here for you, I love the way that it's all been, um, what, what, what's, the, what's the phrase for this? Well, it's kind of braided. It's almost like it's been um, kumahimoed. Um, it's, it's, it's like a spiral twisted Kuma braid Hemoed. almost. what a word. <laughs> yes. Isn't that fantastic? <laughs> um, so this is from Montepue. Where is Montepue? Montepue is in the north of Mozambique. Wow. So this okay. is that same deposit that gem fields, um, gem fields are working, that fewer gems. We're literally talking about the deposit that is changing the industry right now. Record after record, every six months or six months to a year, Gemfields host an <coughs> annual auction of the Mozambique material. Oh, wow. It is consistently breaking records per carat, per carat, per carat. So much so that this Mozambique material, that the Burmese ruby miners, who previously said, oh, do you know what, we're just not going to sell our material, we'll just keep it all locked up in Mo Mo Magok. They've had to go, do you know what, we might have to open up a little bit, otherwise people are going to forget Burma mm. for Mozambique. Such is... That's Such gorgeous. is the quality. Beautiful. I love the way these have been cut. Beautiful luster, incredible consistency in colour and in the size and shape. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Um, okay. Ruby. We haven't got as many of these as the last one. Uh, Tom, take us to, again, we're not, we're not going even a pound a carat, which I can give you a valuation for Mozambique Ruby. Uh, it's not there. M the lowest price Mozambique Ruby in the gem guide, we are looking at, now, okay, uh, we're looking at $360 a carat. Now, well, admittedly, 67 that's for a half here. a carat gem, Oof. whereas this is, this is, these will be smaller. But $360 a carat, even at a pound a carat, I think <laughs> we're more than pricing that in. Um, Tom, $49.95. Wow. Fantastic, yes. <laughs> Please don't ask me to count these gems. Ah, uh, one, two. Uh, that is amazing. These are just beautiful. The These countless. are kind of your kind of micro faceted rounds. <laughs> I think, you know, you've got a ready made piece here. I love here. the micro faceting as well. Beautiful, micro isn't it? As someone, who's, as someone who's learned how to cut gems, but not very well. I can barely, I can barely, I can just about do a round brilliant. Anything else is beyond me. Um, I could tell you now, micro fasting just blows my mind. Yeah. The skill that's required to cut to this level of precision, oh, this level, of, it's just, it, it really is so admirable. And I, I'm talking to Mark about, um, I don't know how we're going to do it, but I'd love to take um, some of you, you know, uh, ateliers and jewelers, um, 
to India, to, 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 to the cutting houses of India, mm. um, to learn how to do some of this material, wow. to see how it's done. Um, and, and also, I'd love to just let you loose in the vault and see what you can do with it. <laughs> um, lots of fun ideas happening here at Jewelry Maker. But the, the point I'm saying is, I, I, don't, you, I think if you saw how hard it is to cut one gem well with regular size fasting, micro fasting would blow your mind. It's just the most incredible skill. Yeah, it really is incredible. Well done. That's almost sold out. Loads in baskets. So please, please, please do check out as soon as you can. Bengal Iolite. Oh, I Ooh, love this one. Which... So, I, I, I referred you earlier on. Oh. Do you remember the article I showed you from um, Dr. Lula? Uh, with the, where she said, a world without tanzanite oh, yes. and zavarite is inconceivable. Can I yes. share that with you one more time, really briefly? That article is actually um, Dr. Lula, one of the most qualified authors in the, in, in, in the gem world. Um, that's Dr. Lula talking about the success of when people brand stones. So talking about the success of Zavarite as a brand, talking about the success of Tanzanite as a brand. And she tips at the end of that article, this gem, Iolite, to be the next big gem. The next explosive gem. It's a huge gem we're looking at here. Well over a carat in size. You can see the dimensions amazing. Um, Tom, let's go straight away. It is the next big gem oh. in my view. Um, but you know what? I'm going to say today... I didn't buy it when it was the next big gem. I bought it at a very, very good price. I'm going to pass that price on to you. $24.95. Ooh. Can I just say as well? I, the colour. I know, it's incredible. And the clarity. I, I, completely natural. And the reason it's tipped to be the next big thing, by the way, is with the, with the diminishing of tanzanite, yeah. the gem world is looking for the next, next blue, blue, highly pleochroic gem. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. the fact it's 100% natural, well, that's just a big tick in the value box. Yeah. And we don't get eye light like this on Jewelry Maker. We tend to have the more bead quality. It's absolutely beautiful, and you can really see that lovely pleochrism, but you, but you don't... But you don't get this kind of clarity on jewelry makers, so anything like this. Just well, what I, what I'll try and bring you some more than moving forward. Yeah, what I please. love is I, 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 oh. I think the best combinations of the best, most beautiful jewelry I've seen is where they combine the grades. Yes, so you know, yes. you use that you use those strands that you already got in your collection yeah. To, yeah. To, to build the look and the mass and then and, and, and draw the eye, and mm. then you have these finer stones strategically mm. placed along the design that then elevate the whole piece of jewelry as an, as an entire ensemble. Oh my gosh! Yeah, Fran, absolutely. That's what it's about. It's about you know we we want to we want to Gem, Gem, uh, Jewelry Maker is now part of of the Gemporia Group. It's great to have you back with us yeah. as a community, and we want to help drive this community to the next level. And by putting it right front and center, the heart of the UK jewelry industry, we think we can achieve some amazing, exciting things that will be to your benefit. Absolutely. Thank you, Jake. This is astonishing. We launched this just the other week on uh, J. It is, it is amazing. This is your Swiss blue topaz, um, 8.9 carats. Tom. Absolutely gorgeous. Let's go straight down, please. Uh, so, uh, 59.95. Okay. It should it's have been huge. 79. Have you it's made done. a mistake there? It's on the screen. It's fine. I don't mind. It... Oh, no. No, no, no. How many do we have, uh, Tom? 17! Oh, my gosh. Julie's got two. Collector Gabby, Kathleen, um, Anne, Collector, Collector. Oh, my word. Helen, Julie. Oh, wow. That's absolutely and, flying out the door. And, and, and this is, by the way, well. this is the Brazilian materials. So this <clears> is coming from the Marambaia Mines. We've talked quite extensively about the Marambaia Mines. Yeah. Um, we haven't got anything else really moving forward of this kind of size. I have got some Swiss blue planned for you. The largest size I've got moving forward in the plan is 2.8 carats. Oh, gosh. So that's, that's just a, that's just a little Snudging snapshot nine. of where, where we're at. Still a big oh. stone at 2.8 carats, but not on this, not on this tier. No. Uh, Tom, uh, I mean, this opportunity, when is the, there is a deal of the day coming up with the last of the Marin buyer. That's on Saturday. Yeah. Deal of the day on Saturday, last of the Marin buyer. And then, and then, like I say, I've got some exciting things planned for you. Parcels of Marin buyer material, but none of these giants. This is the last of the giant kind of sizes. Yeah. Yeah, gorgeous. Well done, Collector uh, okay, Mikey Tom, B. Okay, Tom, you know, I'll take another £10 off. Um, I, I'm really conscious that time's winged chariot doth ever press on. I'll tell you who's coming through to get this, uh, Jake. Mikey B, do you remember who sent in that Mike, beautiful piece of jewellery? Well done. It's, Mike, Mike it, is, uh, it's Mike's in his got basket. an incredible topaz um, piece of jewellery, and, and I'm sure he's going to be crafting some more as well. Yes. I'm really excited to see what you do, Mike. Oh, another message.
Blessed. Oh, here we go. From Mike. Give me hi, old Jake. These deals are amazing. So tempted, but holding on for the opal. Ooh, the oh, the temptation. Amazing uh, Mikey, show, guys. Okay. Do you know what? Um, we'll do that next then. The, the, the opal the parcel. Because Mikey is someone who crafts jewellery out of the, these pieces. And so when, when, you, when you see these jewellery... Uh, can, we, can we bring it next, Tom? Sorry. T oh, you've upset him now. Uh, upsetting I'm his order. <laughs> Did you hear that? No. <laughs> All right. T T Tom, uh, I'm sorry, Tom. I've upset Tom a lot today with some of the prices and some of the, some of the jumping child. around. Um, I promise you, I'm not a professional presenter, and you just saw the unprofessionalisms there. Um. <laughs> <laughs> producer, he's producing from the floor again. <laughs> I love it. Go for it. Right, what, uh, what number, love? Are you sure? No, it's not. No, that's the tanzanite in there, love. Oh, we've got it here. The next, the next one along. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So Mikey, Mikey said he's Mikey said he's waiting, he's waiting for the opal. This is certified what? Cuba PD oh. material. Now we Gee have ten whiz. of these. <gasps> ten of these. I want to show you. Can we show? Can we? Quickly, just ten of these. I can't get them out of the box. Hey, do you want, it's, it's, it's in sealed. a diamond box. Do you want me to open it for you? Because yeah, diamond sealed. boxes, but diamond boxes by their nature are quite it's hard to open. It's sealed, closed, um, actually. But and can I grab the tweezers from you yeah, as well? Yeah, of course you can. But really simple way. It's for security. Really simple way to do it is, uh, yeah, you can see. So there's a sellotape there. They they put the sellotape on there, interestingly, because um, they don't trust customs. Um, so they put the sellotape on there so that people don't open it and pop a stone out. Um, so, or, or, well, not just customs, um, not just customs Shinkers. officers. Um, anyone, anyone in the in the, in the transport park. Yeah, um, not just customs officers. Uh, oh. Retract! <laughs> Retract! Postal workers. And ah! any, anyone, anyone in the thing. Um, no, so, be, be, not not so much, not so much ours, but on the way out, on the way out. Oh, um, but, uh, I'll be really honest with you. So, sometimes my own. So detriment. honest. Um, so once you've taken off the seal, you put your. If you've got a pair of tweezers um, or anything else. You just put it into the little divot there, you twist that and it just pops the top open there for you. Now I'm just going to open it partially, Carol, and then Okey hand you them back there for you. Um, we've got ten of these. This is certified Cuba PD. I want to put this out there right away. This is also certified semi-black grade. One oh. of the highest grade. I wish I had more time on this. We've only got ten. I wish I had more to go through the entire Opal grading system. We can't because I don't have time. But semi black is one of the highest grades of Opal. 100% natural. Now, we've got ten. Can, can we show the box really quickly or the whole parcel? There's ten. You don't get one stone. You get a parcel of ten. We've got ten people. You've got 10 parcels, each of them having 10 pieces of Cuba PD semi-black opal. And oh. you're getting literally, it's a, it's a jeweler's bargain, isn't it? It's a jeweler's wow. bargain. You've got over oh. three and a half carats. Um, wow. Tom. Oh, wow. Oh. oh, wow. Tom, let's go straight down, please. 69.95. Um, and also, while we're talking opal, I do want to retract something I said the other week. Um, I, I, I had a map up here. I can't. Yes. F did you remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I said that Cooper PD was over here. Yeah. And Lightning Ridge. Uh, sorry, I said Lightning Ridge was here and Cooper PD was here. I'd got it the wrong way round. <gasps> I realised after the show. Uh, thank you so much for writing in. Somebody messaged and commented. <laughs> I always retract things. If I get uh, it wrong, if I get it wrong, I'll always put it right. Um, and because and, that, that's how I build trust with you. Um, so Cooper PD is over here. Lightning Ridge is over there. And uh, the other way round. So um, thank you very much for messaging and correcting me. Uh, brilliant. Savorite Garnet. Now, oh. this is a gem. Um, just working our way through. Again, Dr. Lunas, they said, a world without a world without Tanzanite and a world without Zavarite is yeah. inconceivable. Um, I've got a really good friend, uh, Bruce Bridges. Mm. Um, his, his father, Campbell R. Bridges, is the discoverer of this gemstone. Yeah. And I, I, I asked Tom, I said, look, Tom, please, scour your vaults. I want you to find me any, any Zavarite Garnet because of the reception that it's had with you. And he told me, look, we haven't got anything. We've got no Zavarite Garnet here at Jewelry Maker in our vaults at the minute. And I said, okay, fine. I'll find something in my gems vault. So, again, I hope you don't mind. I'm bringing Not you, again, it, it, it's another slider clasp. Is that right, Carol? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, another slider clasp here. So you know that there's about 18 pounds in the slider clasp anyway. 18 carats of certified Zavarite Garnet. But take a look at the quality. Astonishing. 
Oh, this is the same quality that you bought us the other week of those beautiful round cut Zavrite garnets. That, that little parcel you bought us yes. the other week. It's exactly the same so quality. What this I'm is. looking for for Zavrite garnet mm. is brightness of colour. Absolutely. Every single time. That's what I'm looking oh. for. Now, the deal we're going to do on this, I want to share with you again. You may have seen this before. If not, this is the first time. I want to share with you. Bruce and I are good friends. We've been trying to do business together for some time. Um, this is an email exchange we had back in 2016. Uh, and this is from Bruce Bridges, the discoverer's son. He said, hi Jake, it was a pleasure seeing you in Tucson. Thanks for your email. I'd be very happy to supply you with Zavarite in the future. Please let me know what sizes and price points are of interest to you and I'll be better able to inform you of what may be possible. So I sent Bruce everything I wanted. The quality, the sizes, the prices I want, the works. What I was getting at the, at the time. Here's what he sent me back, and this is how good a deal you're going to get. I talk about being better than trade. This is what he said. Thank you. Hi, Jake. Thank you for the additional email. I'd very much like to see the kind of material you're dealing in someday. <laughs> for those kind of prices, I couldn't even cut the goods and should simply close the mine and buy from you. Um, well, Bruce, you said it. Tom. <clears throat> Let's get straight down. 49.95. Surely you can't do that for 40. Are we losing money on that, Tom? Are we losing money on that? Sorry, 40... mate. 49.95. How is that even possible? That's about £2.50 a carat. And you've got the uh, sterling uh, uh, silver. Oh, hang on. Yeah, let's take £18 off that straight away for the, for the, for the, for the clasp. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's incredible. Um, so again, you're looking at probably about £2 a carat. And that is why Bruce Bridges said, look, oh. for these kind of prices, I may as well shut the mine and buy from you. That is astonishing. That is amazing. 49.95, Christina, well done to you, collector in Somerset's bought three, Fiona's got two, Kathleen, Suzanne's got two, collector Leslie, I've got loads in baskets, Northumberland, Greater London, County Antrim, um, Cambridgeshire, Aberdeenshire, Dorset, Hampshire, Greater Manchester, that is the most amazing price, what an incredible deal, that okay. has got to be your Tom, price. I'm conscious, I really, I really want to do some amethyst as well in this show, um, there's absolutely no reason to do this, you've seen, it's literally lower than Campbell R. Bridges is saying he can mine and cut the gems for, take another £10 off, no, Ten pounds off, uh, and uh, and we'll go there. That that that, that is amazing <sighs> value. Wow, just incredible, incredible clarity, incredible colour. And as Jake says, the the power of Zavrite garnet is all about the brightness of colour. This is, I mean, this is neon. It looks like it's lit from within. It's the most incredible, incredible shade of green. So bright and vivid. Unbelievable saturation. And I just love the ombre quality you're going to be getting here as well. Yeah. It's just stunning. Well done. And is, is, that, is that our mixed gem consortium? Okay, excellent. So that was all the mixed gem. Now, what I want to talk to you about next is, <clears throat> again, we're going to go to the secrets of the gem guide because when I say ultra-fine amethyst, yeah. you might say Siberian. I know the material you talk about, the Siberian grade of amethyst. What I'm about to let you into is actually one of the biggest secrets of the gem trade which is that Siberian amethyst doesn't really hit the mark. Everyone talks about Siberian amethyst as if it's the... <laughs> <laughs> These are amazing, Jake. I've never seen anything like this in my entire Carol's life. Carol's reaction then was... <laughs> it's true, though. It, hardly, hardly anyone knows about this material, it, the, the sizes. We've got... Coloma? Oh, Jake. Sorry, Jake. Sorry, you so, carry on. You so carry Siberian on. amethyst. Go, 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 go. Siberian amethyst. The grade. People talk about, you know, you have double A, triple A, quad A, tanzanite. When we talk to si uh, amethyst, people go, ah, oh, top grade, that's Siberian. But the reality is Siberian amethyst never really hit that mark. Again, I'm going to come to Richard Wise in his Secrets of the Gem Trade. I'm going to come to the... He's done a whole new section, and this is what this book has that other books might not have. Um, he's done a whole section on amethyst. On amethyst, and, and, and he really proves the point. It absolutely demonstrates that actually everyone talks about the amethyst, but no one's ever really seen ultra fine Siberian material before. Um, writing, writing about 180 years ago, someone wrote, this guy called Gustav Rose, I don't know him because he's writing 180 years ago. Um, Gustav Rose wrote, and at the time, Siberian amethyst <coughs> used to be called Maminsk amethyst. Take a look, Ooh. this is what he wrote. Um, he wrote the Maminsk, which is what we nowadays know as the Siberian Amethyst, is at times very dark violet, surpassing that from Ceylon. But mostly, 
it's a pale violet blue and spotted or striped violet blue in colour. So even 180 years ago, they recognised that actually Siberian amethyst isn't, isn't the finest grade on the planet. Mm. And since then, it's, it's been this persisting myth that Siberian amethyst is, is, is the best in the world. And if you ever go, the, the equivalent, if you like, of the, um, of the Smithsonian Museum, it, 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 the equivalent, and that's from Secrets of the Gem, Gem Trade, the equivalent of the likes of the Smithsonian Museum in Russia is known as the Moscow Diamond Fund. And it's called that because most of the world's biggest diamonds that were mined in Russia are held in that. But also, as you would, it's where the, the, the Russian state jewels are held. It's where the finest Alexandrites are found. It's where the finest amethysts are found. If you ever go there, you'll be blown away by the quality of the diamonds. But the amethysts are a little bit underwhelming. Richard Wise recognises this as well. Now, this is the most important part of the entire amethyst section. What I'm about to share with you right now. It's just down here, and he says, as indicated by the quotation at the beginning of this chapter, the term Siberian is, a more of a bit, is more than a bit of a misnomer. He says, a personal experience of his with the gems on display at the museum at Moscow's Diamond Fund uh, confirmed that. Very little amethyst source ever achieved this final quality. If there is a best source for amethyst, it is, or rather was, the West African country of Zambia. <laughs> Gems from this strike were prevalent in the market in the late 80s and early 90s. He himself bought several kilos of rough of Zambian amethyst in Nairobi in 1990. This material contained beautiful dark blue zones, ju which juxtaposed, contrasted against purple, which when they were faceted, added a bluish secondary hue to the purple. The, mining, the, the, the mixing of purple with a bit of blue lent the amethyst a lovely rich hue. Very little material has been available from this source since the mid-1990s. Wow. So, historically, the best source in the world for amethyst isn't Siberia at all. They're called the grade Siberian, but it didn't come from Siberia. It's actually from this, uh, this Zambian amethyst, from Lusaka. Now, Jem Fields recognised this, and a few, about a decade ago, Jem Fields went on this incredible journey uh, to take over the coloured stone world, and went, right, we're going to find where the world's best emeralds are found. They brought millions, uh, millions, put millions into the ground in Zambia, and they continue to mine in Zambia. Where are the best rubies found? Again, they invested millions into northern Mozambique, and they continue to mine those rubies in northern Mozambique. They also invested millions into the Lusaka deposit, mm. trying to revive it. So by the 90s, it had <coughs> been, been deemed uneconomical. But obviously, with technology and advances, Gemfields went, OK, well, could we use all our mining expertise? Could we use all our new technology to bring this quality of the amethyst out in an economically viable way? They've done that for years, but they threw in the towel just last year. And that's why I say this material now, right. you can't get hold of it. It's, this is old mine, Lusaka amethyst material. You saw that the best of it was coming out in the, in the, in the mid-80s. I wasn't around buying in the mid-80s. This kind of size of material, these are, this is not typical of, this is not typical of Zambian amethyst. This is, <laughs> these are the giants of Lusaka. Now, why is it called Colomo? Colomo is the region that the Lusaka mine is operating in. So, Sometimes known as Colomo, sometimes known as Cariba, because that's also a name of yeah. a local town, and sometimes known as Lusaka. It's all the ah. same thing. The Colomo amethyst. Now, these are huge. These are giants of the Zambian amethyst world. These are some of the biggest crystals ever unearthed. Look at how clean they are. Look at the clarity Beautiful. of this material. Astonishing. Oh, one available. 27 and a quarter carats. What do these cost as a source? Let's go straight down. £149. Pounds. Suzanne, massive congratulations. And, and what I'm going to urge you to do, oh. we've got some strands later on in the show, combine them. Absolutely combine them for the signature piece. Astonishing. Huge museum Next. pieces. I, I, now, I've got an exciting amethyst thing coming up for you in about... Three weeks' time. What is it? No, no, probably longer. Six to eight weeks' time. What is it? It's not Zambia, though. Yes. Is it? Yes. <laughs> it is. But there is nothing of this size 
absolutely nothing of this size. And oh largest carrot weight is around about eight, seven and a half to eight carats. These are giants. You can't get this in the market anymore. Cushion cut, absolutely extraordinary. <laughs> We're gonna match the price, Tom. It's just about the collectors getting, all of these are one of a kind. This is the stone you're going to get home. Yes, absolutely phenomenal. Absolutely incredible. And it's just the right kind of amethyst to cut like this. It's absolutely beautiful. 149.95, completely sold out. Well done to Victoria in, North, in uh, Yorkshire. <coughs> when, when you craft one of these pieces, oh this gosh. is fine jewellery, isn't it? You can, you can feel it right now. You, you know you're making high, fine jewellery. The kind that could grace the likes of Place Vendôme, that could grace the likes of Fifth Avenue, instead Definitely. is gracing your jewellery. And rightly so. And why not? Absolutely why not? Because oh. this is, these are the stones. I said I'd give you access Ooh. to the gems that the biggest names in the industry get access to. Absolutely. This is that material right now. Look at this. Look at that beautiful... We're going to go beautiful. matching all the prices on this. This isn't about picking because of the price. The prices are going to be matched on all of them. They're all roughly the same size. It's all about picking the piece where you go, that's the one. That's the one. This is the rock upon which I will build the church of your jewellery brand. Oh. That's, about what, that's what it's about picking. Incredible. Completely sold out. Well done. All of this from that, from literally from the oh. same deposit that Richard Wise is talking about saying, look, mine that in the 90s. Had a brief little, re a little bit of reprieve when Gemfields first went there because they were to bring in all their technology, all their investment. But even after, even oh, after a few short years, it was quite cut. obvious that even the Gemfields with all of their... And, uh, do you know when I say it goes to, to high-end brands? Yes. Look at Fabergé. Because oh. Gemfields now own Fabergé. Uh, and all of the Lusaka amethyst, or a lot of the Lusaka amethyst, is the top grade, this kind of material, these yeah. sizes... Fabergé, you'll see Fabergé go emerald, 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 then this explosion I, of amethyst jewellery being produced. It's this gem. It's this material. I, I, I wouldn't normally show you the back of the gemstone first, but look at the faceting. Look at that faceting. And clarity. It's a great, great place to look at clarity for. Oh, my gosh. Look at the colour. We don't get... To, uh, do you know what? I'm going to make myself a promise. On the next gem, we're going to talk about the colour, and we're going to talk about it against the guide that Richard Wise gave us. Totally. Because remember what he said? He Let's said, look, the material has blues in the rough. <laughs> now, so blues in the rough, and then it you get this wonderful secondary bluish hue oh, once it's faceted. Well, let's take a look at this material. Let's spot those blues. Let's make sure they're now. I've not even seen it yet, but I know the quality Beautiful. of this material. Now, ignore the graphics. Clarity. Essentially, we've broken the graphics. There is one of these available. Oh, <gasps> you can see blues it down at the bottom. And oh, purples. my he said, he said the contrast. He said it's a rich hue with blues and overlapping oh. purples. No other amethyst like it. Top, top, top grade in the world. There you go. You, and, that's already gone. And that's important to mention, actually, Jake, because this is a, this is a million miles different to... I mean, it, it's all down to personal preference, but it's a million miles away from, from um, Brazilian emerald. Yes. Uh, so, sorry, Brazilian amethyst, because of the way it forms. It doesn't form in those so geodes. Brazilian amethyst falls in ge forms in geodes, which... Um, and they can be huge. You can get mm. uh, amethyst cathedrals, yes. they're called. Yes. And they can be 10 foot tall. Absolutely enormous. And the biggest ones I've ever seen are at Tucson. Huge, huge, huge pieces. Um, which always makes me wonder who makes more money at those, the gem dealer or the transport company that gets them from Brazil <laughs> to Tucson and Good back. Call. Um, but, but, but there oh, you go. Wow. Um, but this artist doesn't. It, it, forms, it doesn't form in a geode. So it means that you, do, you shouldn't, really, you shouldn't get this kind of clarity because of the way that they form. Mm. The geode acts as a shell that protects the gemstone crystal as it's growing. Wow, Collector in London, congratulations, well done. Have you ever seen the geode that um, I, I, I think was found in Uruguay and it was shipped to Australia? And you can, and, and it's as big as a, as a bed sit, basically. You can basically walk around inside it. <laughs> yeah. and it's absolutely well, incredible. Well, so a lot of geodes are, um, are about two foot wide, um, and they're about eight foot tall. And they're actually tree trunks that have fallen down. Oh, um, and, wow. and, and then they sunk down into the ground, and the tree trunk would, uh, over time, decompose, decompose. But it would leave a vacuum. It would leave, a, it'd leave this cavity in the ground. Yes. And then the geode would form inside the cavity. So a lot of them... A lot of them are roughly tree trunks, and you can see that um, our founder Steve um, at a geode. If you've never, sorry, if I'm talking about geode and you have no idea what geode is, it, from the outside, the, the skin it just, it looks, just like looks like a normal rock. rock. But when you go inside it, you get some wonderful <clears throat> gem treasures. These don't form that way. Mm. They can't form that way. Zambian amethyst instead is, is essentially these amethysts crystallised in a much bigger pool, a formation pool of elements, and that oh, gave it more iron. Baby. And because this material has more iron, it has a deeper hue. 
these are just so these this is just remarkable absolutely remarkable well done all cut in um, Jaipur, presumably. <laughs> Sorry, yes, they are. I wasn't laughing at your question. I was, I was laughing that. at Tom's. Not a funny question. Um, so, so at the same time, what happened then? Carol asked, are they all cut in Jaipur? Yes, they are. And Tom asked me, he said, we need to get more. Get like get like 100 for a deal of the day. Yeah. And that's what I just laughed at because I was like, it's not going to happen. It's that's impossible. It's never going to gonna happen. <laughs> Isn't it amazing how... This is why I need to take Tom to Jaipur. Because then he can walk around the vault and he'll realise what some of these fantastical requests he made. He'll be like, <laughs> oh no, in, 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 a vault, in a vault worth about £10 million with the gems in it, he'll go, oh no, there's one amethyst of this kind of size, yes. Tom. That's that. <laughs> Again, I've got to show you the back of this gemstone. The fasting is just so good. It's just supremely beautiful. And, and what, just while we're here, can we just look at, this is the best angle, by the way, for looking at the clarity of the gem. A lot of people, so when you cut it, you mask the clarity. If you want to ever assess a gem's clarity, look at the, through the back of the gem, and you're in a much better position to see its clarity. Absolutely oh, beautiful. That light traveling through the gem. Beautiful. It is. It's absolutely beautiful. It, well, it, it, <gasps> um, Ollie's just said that it's like a mathematical equation for the gem. That's exactly what it is. It's exactly what it yeah, is. That, that you have to work out the critical angle of the material. Of there is by gem gemstone. So you see the depth on these pavilions. It will be a different angle from the depth of any other gem. You know, different to diamonds, emeralds, rubies. Mm. Different critical angle. Then, and if you cut that too deep, if you if you cut this one too deep, you don't get any colour. Because it's all black, the light gets lost in the gem, it can't get back out. Colour is light going in and then coming back out to your eye. It's if the light available. can't escape, it can't, it, it, it can't, it can't, you don't get any colour. So it becomes dark, it becomes black, not an attractive gem. We call that extinction because the light exti get, becomes extinct, extinct in the gem. Yeah. Cut it too shallow, the light goes straight through. Mm. So again, you don't get the colour because the light can't come back to the eye. So really, it's complete science, uh, to be honest. And, but... When you have crystals of this, we're talking so few crystals ever unearthed in Lusaka that had the potential to cut a rough like this. And also, one of the things which is, I think is interesting about where this gem is from is that a lot of paleontologists believe this is found just around the corner from where life as we know it began. You know, Victoria yes. Falls, that kind of yeah, area. Yeah, from the, from, the, from the, you know, right, right from, the, from the dawn of man. Um, oh. Look at this, absolutely beautiful. Whoa, that is... Stop. And that's not even arguably the best way to be looking at it. You know, this way up here. Yeah, no, you're, yeah you're absolutely right. T -t -t yeah, face up is, is, is the way. Oh. Absolutely beautiful. And the, the saturation of the crown is beautiful. What do I mean when I say the crown? So at the top half of the gem, mm -hmm. uh, and that means the, the part where if you hold it face, face to you, you'll see you've got the big window facet, the table facet there, uh, window or table, both, change, both terms used interchangeably in the gem world. That's the big single facet. And then you've got all those facets that ring around the outside of it. They're called the crown facets. Mm -hmm. um, and the, the, the saturation of colour that you find in the crown facets is just, oh, it's beautiful. These crown facets um, are, have been expertly applied. Can you see? They're gorgeous. Yeah, o uh, Ollie, they're directing. Ollie, you, he's just, he won't mind me saying, he just said, I love the secondary tones, mm. the secondary blues that you're getting yes. out of this material. Well, that's what sets... If you ask someone, what is it oh. that makes world-class amethyst? It's not purple. A lot of amethyst is purple. Mm. The difference between good and best is not how strong the purple is, it's have you got any secondary blues or yes. reds. Yes. Um, this material has got the best secondary blues of any material I've found on the planet. Beautiful. We do have a strand coming up. Yeah, oh. those of you who think, oh, this is not a show for me, I can't get involved in this. I've you got can. some Zambian amethyst strands you because can. I want to give you the full range. The full range, so the range of price points, but also not just range of price points, I want to see you use both of these elements if you're yes. able to get hold of both yes. in the same design. I'd love someone, I'd love someone to create a design which uses the, the, the carrot weight of the strands and then has the centerpiece of a fine, fine Lusaka am uh, am am amethyst at the beginning. Astonishing, lovely elongated over that you're going to be getting here. And these pieces, although they are extraordinarily large, I can imagine them in jewellery. Yeah. Absolutely, in well, the, beautiful the pendants. Big in... pendants, big medallions. Um, you could, you could, if you wanted to create an absolute you know, crown jewel esque ring, you could yeah. a brooch, you, oh, you, a brooch. tiara. Oh wow! Goodness me! Everyone, everyone gets boxed in by the size and goes, "Oh, well, what can I do with it? What can I do with it?" Actually, with the creativity that I know you have, the, uh, there are so many options. Yes. The only thing I wouldn't recommend is earrings. 
<laughs> it's the only thing I wouldn't Ooh. recommend. Oh, goodness but, me. Well, a bit of neck pain by the end yes, of the evening. Exactly. Um, but, you know, and, I'm, and, and, and when we... Oh, this one... Oh, now, th this one is beautiful. This one's a plumper oval, I have to say. I think this really suits the more, gem... But, you know, more of a Portuguese oval. Um, Portuguese oval, that's an oval. interesting... So, so, okay. Um, you, old cutting. Remember, Portuguese were the people who really discovered the world. Um, and, and they brought these gems back from these distant places. Mm. Yeah, Portuguese are absolutely beautiful. Oh, look at those blues. This, <gasps> is a, this is a very fine one. And I do want to stress, I don't want us to get complacent. Yes, okay, we've just had a run of about, half, uh, about a dozen of these gems now. But this is all you're going to see Ooh. for years to come. And, and we could have scattered them. We could have said, you know what? And other companies may have done this. They work really hard to ask how high they can get away with. Mm. They may go, do you know what? We launch one of these every two weeks and we say 499, 599, mm. 699, mm. 999 for one of these. And it lasts us a year. That's not what we've done. We've said we're going to bring them all together. We're going to go as low as we possibly can. And it's a super show. And it's the kind of thing you should get now because two months, three months, a year, three years down the line, we're not going to be bringing more of this material. It's not out there. We don't have it. It's not even in our vault. Yes, that's it, isn't it? It's not even waiting in our vault to be, to be released. Oh, these are absolutely stunning. And I would urge you, and we've spoken about this before, Jake, you know, go on to the big websites, go on to your Fabergé, go on to your Christian Dior, go on to your yes, Tiffany's. Yes, what they're doing with And it. look at their coloured gemstone jewellery. These are the kind of amethysts that they want to use in their jewellery, whether they can get hold of them or not, or whether we've got them or not, I don't know. Di different, different brands work with different stones best. Yeah. My top tip here, and Carol, you, 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 you nailed it there, Fabergé. Mm. Go to Fabergé's website, because the Fabergé owner, the owner of Fabergé is Gemfields. The same people who invested millions into this mine and who, who mined this material. So whenever they found the, you know, some of the best stones on the, on the ground, what do you think they did with them? They didn't buy. They didn't buy Fabergé to go and put this best material back in the market. They bought Fabergé as the shop window for the finest Lusaka amethyst ever mined. Beautiful. Oh, another kind of more Portuguese oval. And when you're seeing these, by the way, you're seeing the one you're going to get. Yes. This is all yes. of a kind. So this is the gem you're going to get home. Yeah, that's what's so exciting. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're absolutely right, Tom. Imagine this in daylight. Just super one of a kind pieces. These are so, so special. Oh. Look at wow. this. Wow. Again, incredible. Woo! Incredible quality, incredible colour. Do you know what, Tom? I think you're probably right. You know, Tom's saying he'd, 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 he'd hold on to some of these and just, and just not do anything with them at all. I, I, couldn't, I can't blame you for doing that. So I, I, I think what you'll find with this, because we are, we are going to be doing some courses, by the way, later, back when the world goes to normal. We're going to be doing some how to craft fine jewellery courses and how to set these gems and things like that. Don't feel you're in a rush. These, I don't mind telling you, these have sat in our vault for around about circa 2012, 2013. So we've held on to them for about seven or eight years. That's mm. how much we value them. We've held on to them mm. seven or eight years. So to sit into yours for another couple of years, and then we later down the line, we learn together how to work this material, and you go and craft your masterpiece out of it. There's nothing wrong with that. That's absolutely right. But remember, there's no guarantee. In fact, it's highly unlikely we'll have any of this moving. Oh, pear cut. That is an absolute beauty. <gasps> okay, so we are dropping a little bit in size to just 10 carats. Oh, just the 10. <laughs> just the 10. <laughs> just the 10 carats. Um, but again, the size is still absolutely incredible, isn't it? Oh. Tom, let's go straight down, please. 74.95. Wow. And it's calibrated, this one. So that's what I was trying to read upside really? down. Yeah, which means, and, and this, should we show that the authenticity certificate? You sure. will get this included in that price. And you'll, you'll see, there you can see, Everything you need to know, where's it from, the Coloma Amethyst certified on there for you, and the measurements. So is the mine called the Coloma Mine? It's called the Lusaka Mine. Lusaka Mine, but it's from, so it's from Coloma. It's called the Lusaka Mine, and then, um, you, you, then the, the, the nearest town, I always get this the wrong way around, apologise if I do in advance, the ta nearest town is, is, is Coloma, and the, the region is, oh, the, it's just, I'm having a mental block now. Well, you said Kariba, is that, or is that Kariba, another thank town? Thank you, Kariba. Yeah. yeah. Uh, nearest town is Kariba, the region is Coloma. It's Coloma. That, that's the way around. <laughs> it's a bundle of Zambian amethyst. I think, I think important to mention as well, amethyst is a gemstone people feel comfortable with. People have seen it. People maybe have been passed down beautiful um, 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 amethyst. 
uh, over the years, you know, from, from, from previous generations. People are very, very comfortable with amethyst. Also, it's purple. Purple yeah. seems to be the kind of colour people so love regal, to go for. It? So regal. Um, OK, we haven't got many of these. You're getting not one strand, but two strands. And can, can someone clarify for me, are they 46 carats a strand? 92 what? Times two. So it's... You can't make me do that. 92 carats per strand. Uh, Tom's just told me a price. Look, I, I, Tom, I can't, I can't be on TV devaluing this, Jeff. Um, I'm not going to say it. I'm just going to write it down. I'm what? not going to say it. I don't want anyone. I don't want anybody. What? I'm not, I, the, the words are not leaving my mouth for the price on this. And I'm not going to talk about it. I'm going to pretend it's not there. You don't need me to say it because it's on the biggest writing on the screen for you. This is so wrong. You've got to pick up this strand, and then you've got to create an amazing necklace with this. Oh, they're beautiful. At the very heart with one of those big pieces. They are rings. They are rings. They're earrings. They're cufflinks. Yeah, there must be. Uh, yeah. Well done. Uh -uh. Oh, well, rounds. Ooh. I, uh, look, sometimes I say on the show to one, do I have to be here as we devalue, devalue Zambian I Amphitheater? Yeah. We're taking oh, you down no, with us, Jay. No, these are amazing. Rounds. Polished, not oh. matte. Pol and, and even in this material, remember what Richard Rogers was saying? He was saying, blues with the purples. Even in these orbs, these spheres, these globes, we're seeing those beautiful blues come in. Wow. 700 carats. Goodness me. Oh, Tom, let's go straight down 1995. That's price, wow. per, price per carat. Price per carat. I have not in my decade of gemstone investing ever seen <sighs> Zambian amethyst at that price. I, I think that even if you don't, don't adjust for inflation, go back to the 1980s. Absolutely. To where Richard Wives was picking up two, a couple of kilos of this material and ask yourself, ask Richard back in 1980s, what's the price per carat you're paying for the rough? Because even then I don't, think it's, I don't think it's on that. That's an amazing deal. I've got more rounds. Jake, I just want to share something with, 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 with everybody. Sorry, I've been slightly distracted. I'm just on Faberge's website. I just want to show a photograph of a beautiful pair of sterling silver amethyst round fluted cufflinks. They're absolutely gorgeous. We'll just click on the photo. Um, can I say how much they are? Those cufflinks there, set into sterling silver. That's a pair of cufflinks. They're £840. Look at the colour, look at the size, and they're set into sterling silver. Just going to leave that, that for you. That is Zambian amethyst value. That is the value of this material, this Lusaka deposit. And I told you, Fabergé are the brand to look at when, you, you know, when, you're, when you're judging the value of this material. You have got access now to the gem, to the price, to the knowledge that the craftsmen at Fabergé Ooh, have. Look at that colour. You're getting 700 carats of Zambian amethyst you know what? here. Those, how many missed out on that last one? A hundred. Tom, it's essentially the same too. It's slightly more open in colour, which is beautiful. It gives you slightly more options to work with it, oh, it, across wow. the two. Let's match the price. Oh, my gosh. Fantastic. Yes, please. And, and, you know, and, 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 and Ollie's just mentioned to me, Marla star necklaces, uh, macrame pieces. These are the kind of gemstones. And, and, and these are the kind of gemstones you could absolutely use. Bear in mind everything that Jake has said, though, all of that information, where this is from, the providence, the heritage, the pedigree of these incredible gemstones. I have to say, I mean, I've, I've always, I've always um, uh, preferred my Zambian amethyst over every other yeah. type of amethyst, but purely from the way it looks. Now I've got even more respect for it. I've well, got even more respect the, the, for the, it. What I want to do for you in these shows is we know, I, even my little girl who's three, Oh. I, she, I, I, I'm working with a parcel of gems, and she immediately, I, I've not told her anything about gemstones, she immediately, she'll come over, and she, eight, nine times out of ten, she'll grab the most valuable stone out of the parcel, oh. every single time. So innately, we know what a top quality gem <laughs> looks like. Cool. We know what the best in the world is. So, yeah, oh no, yeah, so many times, especially when she starts dangling, yeah, Ollie was like, can you imagine that? And you'd be like, ah, especially when she starts moving towards the mouth, you're like, no, 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 thank you very much. No. <laughs> <laughs> terrible, terrible thing. <laughs> um, but we innately know what.
what top gen material is. But what I want to help you do is understand why is it the top material, what's happening in the market with that top material, yes, yes. historically what's happened in the market with that Gosh. material. By giving you access to that knowledge, it allows you to talk to your clients so that they understand why the material is the top on the planet as well. 900 carats this time, Jake. How can we keep going up? This doesn't make sense to me. 900 carats. These are 14 mils. For any gemstone, a 14 mil gemstone on jewelry make is very, very, very large. And I'm not talking about, we're not talking about dyed quartz, we're not talking about dyed agates, we're not talking about anything like that. We're talking about your Coloma Zambian amethyst. This is unbelievably Tom, rare. Let's go. Uh, we've got what, another 200 carats here. Price per carat is broadly the same, 24.95. And these are bigger rounds, by the way. Yeah. These are 14 millimeters. Yeah. I've just noticed that. Yeah. They're huge. 14 mil rounds. Oh, this is absolutely flying out the door. Well done. Many congratulations. Um, beautiful. Uh, Ollie, that's a great point to yeah, make. Um, Ollie just said outside of the top four, uh, the big four being diamonds, emeralds, ruby, sapphires. This yeah. is one of the most well known gems. Well, actually, this is. The, 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 the big four is a really unique, weird construct. I don't mind telling you that. Historically, amethyst was valued as highly as the others, as highly as rubies, as highly as sapphires, as highly as emeralds. Then what happened is um, Brazil was discovered. Mm -hmm. They discovered Minas Gerais. Uh, they discovered all the big amethyst geodes and, and, and deposits there. And that brought the value of amethyst down because supply shot up and therefore the value came down. That's why amethyst fell out of that aristocracy of gems, if you like. But now we've seen the, 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 the demise of the Brazilian. But that was the last of the Zambian, wasn't it there, Tom? Okay, no, that's fine. We might have one or two more, possibly. Um, we talk about Brazil, though. I'd like to bring some Brazilian amethyst. Is that this one? Brilliant. The reason I say it is because at the time of discovery, four or five hundred years ago, there was lots of Brazilian amethyst being wow. mined. And that's what brought the value of amethyst um, to a more affordable good. price point. I want to share with you again another of the secrets from Richard Wise. Because we've seen discoveries. So, for instance, we, we, we know that this Lusaka discovery um, around about the 1980s is quite exciting. And uh, yeah, brilliant. That's absolutely fine. But the, the uh, uh, sorry, hello, and the, uh, but the, brilliant that they, we, we discovered Brazil. But what I want to share with you, if I take a look at this, sorry, I'm just flicking through the book. It's a really Go important part of this book I want to share with you because it tells you what's happening with Brazil right now. Oh, um, interesting. So four or five hundred years ago, we find loads of Brazilian amethyst. We find lots of geodes. It's really exciting. Yeah. Uh, 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 and everything's really rosy. That's not necessarily the picture are we, today. Are we talking kind of 70, 70 million years old, this amethyst? Or are we talking older than that? I mean, because this would have been created... Well, it, it, it's really hard to judge because of the nature of geodes. Yeah. Um, they can be really, really old, or actually they can be just a few million years old, which is young in the... In, 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 in the in, in a gems world, I suppose. Absolutely um, beautiful. And you can tell it's different. It's got different qualities to your, um, to your Zambian amethyst. It's definitely got different kind of colours coming out of there. Less of your secondary colours, so, I'd so, say. Well, so Brazil, Brazil dominates the global supply for hundreds of years of this material. Mm. And then we get new exciting discoveries like the Zambian that, we, that we, we've just kind of talked about. Um, and, and obviously the Siberian material. Uh, and in, in North Africa as well, which is something we hope to talk to you about in a few weeks' time. Mm -hmm. And everyone writes about those new discoveries. But one of the biggest shames in the industry is that we all took Brazil for granted. Mm. All of us took Brazil for granted, myself included. And Richard Wise is like the only person who didn't because, and he says this right here. Very currently, what's the today, what, what's today's Brazilian amethyst market looking mm. like? Mm. Very little gem material is currently being produced in Brazil. Surface deposits are worked out. And the increased capital outlays for deep underground mining, yeah. coupled with environmental regulations, have discouraged investment in gem mining. Oh my Let word. me put that into more layman terms for you. Mining is expensive. Yeah. It's really expensive. And it's particularly expensive when all the surface, those open pit mines are done, and you have to start investing in safe tunnels, underground, reaching out extensive net networks. That all has costs. Tell you what the cost doesn't have. $9.95. Um, Whoa! <laughs> Goodness gracious. Um, 9 95 I love an under £10 deal. Let's get them in the baskets. Um, so, so Brazilian mining has almost disappeared, certainly since the 2008. Gosh. So 2007, 2008 recession, a lot of mines closed down. They yeah. got mothballed. Yeah. Now, when you want to reopen a mine, you have to, you have to go through the whole process again. Yes. Incredibly cash intense. 
And so a lot of people just didn't do it because they looked at the mothball mine. Yeah. They realised viability wise, it doesn't have that much gem left in at the open pit point. I'd have to invest in tunnels. Then, then, then what do I do? So most people just never reopened their Brazilian mines. Mm. And that's why today, Brazilian amethyst, although it's, although it's the norm, it's, it's actually oh. far more diminished than before. Uh, okay, but we've got another Zambian selection here. Beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. So you've got 208 carats here of your wow. highly faceted... Zambian uh, amethyst, beautiful faceting on this. You're getting some lovely, lovely blues, I, aren't I love you, it. coming yeah. out of this? Sensational blues. That's that's what Zambia is the best in the world for. Yeah. Secondary blues, absolutely. Tea. Tom, um, let's match the price, nine ninety five. Wow, amazing. Uh, by the way, this is coming with a stiff of authenticity. That's on me. Um, okay, so you're going to get you're going to get a stiff of authenticity that will attest to the Zambian provenance of these gems for you. So it's from the same deposit as those big giant ones. I'd love to see someone combine one of those top pieces with one of these faster go on. Yeah, I mean, look at the these two together. Can you imagine the jewellery yeah. that you would be able to... Oh, and, the, and, that's my dream, and oh, I hope someone's able to deliver it. Look at this. Just superb. Absolutely superb. But we're seeing it happen now. This isn't, this isn't kind of... This isn't... Um, sorry, which number, Tom? This isn't... Um, in, in, information that Jake is plucking out the sky. We're seeing it happen around no. the world. You know, yeah. um, when gemstones aren't financially viable to mine for anymore, like, like the Argyle mines. Yeah, I mean, there the, are the diamonds Argyle, still in the ground, but the it's just too oh, expensive it's, to It's too expensive. Them. It's unviable to get them out. Absolutely. No mine ever closed because there's not a single stone left in the ground. Exactly. Yes. Mines close because they can't get them out of the ground, and for a price that the market is willing to pay. Definitely. Here we go, Zambian amethyst again. Oh, pear okay. and around pear cabochon. Pear and around cabochons, beautiful. First cabochons we've seen of the whole show. Yeah. Um, Tom, let's go 4.95, and I don't mean. Whoa! I don't, I don't mean per gem. For them both. For the pair of them. Wow, fantastic. Just wonderful. Well done. Almost all of you coming through to get two of these. That's absolutely brilliant news. Well, well done. done. I suppose that doesn't bode very well for gemstones like Imperial Topaz. No, um, uh, Imperial Topaz. Uh, the Morganite was the first one to go. Yes. The Brazilian Morganite was the, the first Galilea, one to go. Yeah. Uh, but you're right. Uh, topaz, the Baron Bayer mines, the Imperial Topaz over at Oro Preto, uh, the, 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 the Amethyst mines. Uh, this one, Brazil is such a source. Pariba, uh, again, we just know you can't get Brazilian Pariba. It's not, it's not possible. Um, or it is, but I once saw a pack of Pariba about this big for a million pounds. Oh. Um, and it was just like, I, I just... Um, amazing. Um, we're going back to Brazil now, um, which is a wonderful place to go to. Uh, back to Brazil. Have a look at the size. Oh, these are beautiful. Of these. When we um, very very popular on uh, jewelry maker is the gorgeous kind of sage amethyst, chevron amethyst, anything, a dog tooth amethyst, anything with these beautiful striations going through, and you really only tend to get that from your um, from your uh, Brazilian amethyst. Absolutely gorgeous. Huge carat weight. Top. Here we go. Um, the, the, I believe the lowest price anyone's ever paid for this is twenty four ninety five. Um, okay. Those of you who got this, huge congratulations, massive success uh, to you. That was a good price. The, you know, the, the great value for the size of these gems. That's enormous. But I've got Ollie in my ear saying, you've got about 90 seconds, Jake. Um, okay, 9.95. Oh, wow. And that's only because of the time pressure. Oh, only because of the time pressure they're putting me on. That's an amazing deal. No, let's not even try and work out how much it is, but we'll all, be, uh, we'll all feel it's slightly about ill, I think. 6p. Amazing. I'm not sure if you can even buy a carrot for 6p. Uh, that's believe, absolutely amazing. Uh, maybe not. Maybe actually my maths might be wrong there. <laughs> it's very low. It's very, very low. <laughs> I think it's 2p. Oh, my word. Um, this has been the most phenomenal. Sorry, Tom, you've got me deselected, Levy. I can't hear you. Yep. Oh, do you know what? We've got more amethyst coming up um, after the break with presenter Jenny. Acrophrase. Yeah, so we've got oh. some really exciting things. From next week, this, this, from next week, this Gem Guide show is going up a gear. I'm really excited for it because we're getting to play with a vault from Jaipur that I've been spending the last decade building for you um, and, and for the wider Gemporia group. There's some amazing treasures in there and I'm opening it up for the first time ever here at Jewelry Maker. Over the next few weeks, what can you expect on a Thursday between 10 to 1? Um, 
the launch of Aquapraise. At the JCK show last year, there was a huge furore because Levian made it the gem of the year. And ever since then, prices have just skyrocketed into the thousands per stone. We're going to be launching that on gem, uh, uh, here at Jewelry Maker um, in the next two weeks. We're going to be launching Serenite here at Jewelry Maker mm. in the next couple of weeks as well. I've got some amazing, amazing stuff. Big, big Peridot, some of the biggest Peridots. I think price per carat, I can save you amazing. more money on Peridot than any other gem Ooh. in the entire market. Price per carat, more money on Peridot. I'm going to be bringing you those savings. We've got Sveen coming up. Oh. We've got the million dollar Brilliant. emerald, chrome diopside, oh. big sizes in chrome diopside in emerald cut. So I've got emerald cut, chrome diopside. Oh. I've got a Sleeping Beauty deal of the day. The, the next, honestly, the next few weeks is Thursday, 10 to 1. You've got to set your alarms for it. It's going to be, we're taking it up another level. We've got Amethyst coming up on the mid show to start off with, uh, with Jenny at Jake's Prices, just to let you know, yeah. which is going to be really, really super exciting. Jake's back next with us, uh, sorry, back with us next Thursday. Thank you very, very You're much, Jake. Welcome. It's been awesome. Guys, thank you very, very much for tuning in today. Tune in for the mid show now. You've got Jenny, you've got Amethyst, you've got loads of incredible deals. Don't go anywhere. Join her the other Cheers. side of this.